So we're having a discussion, everybody out there watching, all you people out there, Carl and I are having a who's a beer nerd. And I say I am. I've had 10 years more practice. I've that, raised that's two cute. boys. That's, I've raised two yeah, nerd that, that's boys. That's cute that you think you're the bigger nerd. That's adorable. I've raised my kids to be the nerdiest nerds, and they're awesome. Yes. I guess it depends on how you have to define nerds. Oh, look, here comes Aaron. We haven't seen Aaron in ages. Aaron, Aaron said they start showing up once a month. Hmm. And I guess today is the week. Hmm. Oh, it's it's Hopefully, a, it's the, the so not hack version. Hi, Aaron. Aaron. So it's an Aaron with a knee, not an Aaron with two A's. No, it's an Aaron with a knee. Aaron's here because there's probably no baseball game or something playing somewhere near. Otherwise, you're on mute. Honest to God, I'm here. I miss you guys. Aww. <laughs> Really? Aww. I saw you when you commented on uh, who was it? Rob, Rob's taped arms. <laughs> yeah, his taped arms. I said, Aaron, when are you going to come back? You've been here like 50 games or something. And then that was like my encourage. I really have a hard time doing this on a regular basis. So I kind of dropped out. Being being up till one or two in the morning is a lot for me. But what are I've you... decided is mm -hmm. I'm coming back and you'll see me like once a month. Okay. All right. Just, just a little bit. Or you could come back twice a month and just only play till the second round or the third round. Lots of people do that. Yeah, lots of people. Lots of people pull the ripcord after one or two rounds. Yeah, they're like two I, rounds. I'm out of here. They take I the hate to bail. I, I hate to bail on my group. That's my biggest problem. Well, some people, <laughs> some people, it's just no, we're just you, you known just, that way. I know you can't you can't help it and. You just but, tag but, team as you go out. Somebody coming in late. It works out. Yeah, well. somebody comes in late. I just know ahead of time and I just put them on the team. Doesn't matter, Aaron. Whatever, just yeah, come here. I know, but there is no big sports thing happening right now, right? No, not really. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, <laughs> the real truth comes out. It's probably pouring rain over there or something in your life. I mean, it was a very sunny, very sunny, nice day. High around 75, 78. We're 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 all from America here, right? I don't have to convert to Celsius. Oh, no, so. Jim's in Canada. <laughs> He's in Canada. Hi, hey, Jim. Uh, yeah, I live in Kanakistan. <laughs> oh, look, there's Brandy. Hello. It hasn't Good been crazy day. hot over in Vegas, has it? It was 110 today. Yeah, mm. that's all. Just 110. <laughs> yuck. Mm. Icky, no. yuck, yuck. But we're going to have a cool down. It's been yeah. really windy and it's stormy. Mm. Looking What's stormy out. for you guys? 110, that works out to 40-something C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, high forties, I would think for you. Now, to, now today was fairly cool. Like I don't think it even got up to twenty C. But uh, a few days ago, it was a. Uh, it was it was thirty C. Uh, That's like seventy five here, I think, something like that. No, thirty is uh, about ninety. Mid mid eighties. <laughs> yeah, thirty is ninety. A well, little. I, let's see. I think it, I think it was like eighty six. And it doesn't it doesn't work out as it gets warmer but the but the general rule of thumb is double celsius plus 30. Yeah. now when you get to 30 degrees that plus 30 on the back end adds a little bit extra but yeah. if the oh. true value is 86 and i tell you it's 90 does the four degrees really matter yeah well the huh. uh the uh the precise formula is um uh, Oh, don't, don't I? I know the I know the formula. <laughs> I don't do that in my head. <laughs> Nerds. Well, the one thing I always remember is that eighty-two Fahrenheit is twenty-eight Celsius. Okay. You just yeah. reverse the numbers, oh, and that's a okay. good. You know, when somebody says it's thirty degrees, you go, "Oh, well, that'd be about eighty-two plus." Yep. You know, maybe yeah. high eighties. Yeah. No, and, I've seen people just and, say. It's and minus 30, four, and it's and so minus, hot, I can't handle it. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, uh, 200, 273 is Kelvin that, is 459 Rankins. Yeah. Perfect. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> what's, what's that in bananas? And, and, minus, and minus 40 F is minus 40 C. Yep. So, Ron, you joined at the true. perfect time. Please change the subject. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go to Kelvin. 
Oh my God, please, Ron, change the subject quick. We're yeah. converting but, uh, uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. and You double it and add 30. That's well, what Eric yeah. just said. There you go. That's the simplest way. It's not accurate, but it's close. And, and it gets less accurate as it gets hotter. Oh, yeah. But if it's that yeah. hot, who cares at that point? Well, that was what I said. I just, <laughs> somewhere along here, we were just saying that, that it was 30 Celsius. And I said, well, yeah. that's about 90. Yeah. And, yeah. You yeah. Know, but so, but you know, we were talking. It's really more like about eighty six, and I said anyway. four degrees doesn't. Oh my God, we're still having the same. Well, you, add, you multiply anyway. by five nine, nine fifths and add thirty two yeah. if you want to be accurate. But none of us are math majors, so yeah. Yeah. I, I don't do that. In I don't do that math in my head. I can no. do double plus thirty, but anyway, yeah. I guess the thing I was trying to get at was that uh, it was fairly low humidity, so thirty C was actually fairly comfortable <laughs> because. Not New Jersey. 30C is never too comfortable oh, New Jersey. I know. <laughs> I'll be right back. I forgot yeah. something. Because, uh, uh, because, yeah. because the humidity is usually high when the temperature is 30C, right? Yeah. 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 If it's, yeah, like if it was something like maybe 25%. South the percent, East uh, Coast figure, yeah. yeah. Yep. By the way, welcome back, Aaron. Haven't seen you in ages. Thank you. I haven't been here in ages. <laughs> I, was, I was saying to Susan, I commented on a, on a post that had Rob showing his taped up arms, I think it was at SciComp, um, show, showing off showing off the magic tape that various athletes hey, and all K, weird. K, K, Canibio tape. I, I, I don't even tape? Know. I think that's okay. a KT tape or something they call um, it. But I commented on that and Susan said, you know, commented to me about, you know, haven't seen you in a while, we miss you. And in all honesty, I just was in here, I said to Susan, I came back now because I kind of miss you guys too. I follow those that I follow. I see you posting on on Facebook and whatnot, and I see what's going. You know, I keep up with with people's Facebook lives, and I thought I'd come back and say hi and try to make this a little more regular. But I I, I said <clears throat> I'll probably be more like once a month than every week, but I'll be here. That's good. Welcome back. Yeah. So um, one of the things we're going to have to start talking about, I guess, we'll wait until we get into more people appear is what are we going to do about Saigon? <laughs> and more importantly, Ron, what did you think about Tiffany? <laughs> did you get the email today that said how trustworthy is Tiffany? Uh not at all. Know? I gave her <laughs> eight. What Tiffany are you talking about? From Luann. Oh. Oh, that that comic strip this. that only two of us ever follow. Oh, 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 oh. I, I I used to I used to read Luann a lot. I just see, haven't see? I haven't been a long time. It's getting really good, Aaron. There's all kinds of they're growing up and there's a lot of stuff I, sexual tension. I yes. had a period in my life about 10 years ago where every morning before starting my work day, I had about 15 different comics on gocomics.com that I would that's keep where I want to read it. And and then I kind of, I actually I got a new computer, and while I while I migrated all of my, um, I migrated all of all of my bookmarks over. Um, I didn't migrate them into. I, I had them all kind of on a shortcut on my desktop, where I just clicked on the shortcut, and it brought up the whole. It brought me into uh, Go Comics, and I just sort of drifted away from it. So yeah. maybe I need maybe I need to get back to reading it so that I can you know, be, be in these conversations. I'm telling you, Lou Ann is gone nuts. There's a have lot you of read the now. book? Have you read the book yet? No, I haven't gotten it. I don't care. Well, I can't read it if I don't got it yet. Sure, I you can. I read it. No, I don't have psychic powers. psychic powers. Come on. No, 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 no. But I'm telling you, this is going to be this is going to be really scary. They. Tiffany and Kip, oh my gosh, and Steph, they're picking her up at the airport today. Yeah. Yeah. Or sometime to this week because of course it takes forever to finish a day. And that <clears throat> well, well, my favorite part with the Go Comics is they have like the little icon for how many comments there are. Most of the comics have maybe 10, 15, 20 comments. They're up around 500 by the time really? I read it first thing in the morning. Oh, they're, I didn't they're, that. They have a real following for with this, uh, this Luann. Yeah, and it's it's 
like I said, it's because they advance and you grow up with it. I mean, I've been following it for probably 30 years or something. Yeah. So you, you, you know, start watching old. in the, I, what I do is when I go to bed, I pull up, I have like six comments, comics I read. And those are Luann and old Luann, Luann again, the yeah. black and white version. Cause I missed a whole segment of that somewhere in there with Aaron Hill and some things that happened. And so I'm going back and rewatching, rereading it now with, the two different completely different trajectories one's black and white one's modern in color and so those two always read and then mm -hmm. i have like four others and then a couple other things and then i can go to sleep or i can you know whatever Th then you can play wordle right no <laughs> never look at there's kyle this is the real kyle not the carl kyle that was here hey, earlier. Hey. good evening yeah. but um, no. and jane no i've been uh on the comics, on the comics, I've been following a couple of the Go comics ones, but but I follow a lot follow? of them that, that that are not okay. I follow I follow Fraz and Pearls Before Swine. Oh yeah, Pearls well, Before you Swine, have, you have definitely. To yeah, yeah, Pearls yeah. Before Swine, definitely. But mm -hmm. uh, but there's 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 a there's a bunch that just aren't on there that I've been following for quite a while, like Girl Genius. Uh, doesn't ring a bell. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We go to Comics Kingdom for a few of the ones that aren't on our like zits I like. Oh, I like that, zits too. Yeah. And and then I, I usually think, read well, it I, the paper. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh newspaper Rose, Rose that? is Rose. I, I vaguely remember. I've we saw them on the end of our, Rose, our driveway Rose. once this week. My nana talks about those. <laughs> See, here's zits right there. Yeah. All right, right there. There's no. so some of them are reading the paper paper. Um you know, some of them are okay. Here's Luian. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hmm. The ones that I really, really, really like are the ones that you follow. That they age and, and things like that. And that's for better or for worse. Yeah. Definitely. And to some extent, uh, Sally, Sally Forth. Sally Forth, yeah. They hmm. sort of age. Funky Winkle is another one. Who would? Funky Winker Bean, but they jump ahead 10 years every once in a while. To the point I can't keep track of who's who anymore. Sally Forth will do that once in a while. They'll go into the future a little bit, and I can't stand that time travel stuff. It just bugs me. It's like, you couldn't think of something to write this week? Why are you doing time travel? But yeah. um, And Pickles. Yeah, pickles that's, I love, yeah, I love Pickles. It's, it's not a growing up kind of thing, but oh my gosh, the grandparents and that little boy. <laughs> They're great. Yes. Oh, hilarious. And then uh, there's many a line that's very familiar to me in that. What? Just being that age. So if they have a dog, they don't have cats. Mm -hmm. so, yes. You know. No, they have a cat. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Just Muffy. Yeah. And the dog's name is Roscoe. Roscoe. Right? That's right. I think so. Yeah. Roscoe. Yeah. And mm -hmm. on uh, for better or for worse, Oh. to the dog next door and the and their dog is just mated it was like yeah, they're like little hearts over their heads and everything <laughs> like just, i've just... been uh i've been following the uh reruns of the far side yes Ooh, man that's an that's an amazing cartoon yeah they're they're constantly showing up on my facebook feed so there's some yeah what do you got in there yeah. that's Somebody popping them up some seeing them on a regular basis still and love them bloom bloom what was the bloom one? county yeah and somebody also keep i haven't seen that in a while but you know who else uh posts somebody else posts a lot of um calvin and hobbs calvin yes. and hobbs god they were brilliant those were so brilliant yeah we we still get that on our code comics um we have that on there and yes they're still classics Oh, it's been like 15 incredible. years since he stopped doing it. You know what I haven't really been watching, and I probably could, but you know, you get out of a habit of it is Doonesbury. I only get it in the Sunday paper. And yeah, so I only I haven't read his stuff in yes, for years. Since my God, that's so political. Yeah. It's damn well, they've, they've always been political. It's always yeah, been political. It's, yeah. it's really yeah. good. It's 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 by I mean, even, even when I was in college when it first introduced, it was young. Yeah. I was in college. He, he wasn't much born yet. Conversation now that we were a minute ago, we were talking about Celsius versus Fahrenheit. 
hygiene, hygiene. So what's, so what's the temperature inside Saikon going to be in Celsius uh, when, Cold. when you guys have? I tell everybody to bring a jacket because it is always <laughs> over air conditioned in those buildings, always mm. in the conference room. So I say bring a sweater, a jacket. Look at Kyle nodding his head. Oh, yeah. Always. And how you like the ambient temperature in, in the buildings you're in. And you could always put the jacket somewhere else. Most people are staying in the hotel. So if you really, you know, don't assume it's going to be really, really warm. But Jessica, oh, but oh no. disappear. Right. Kevin, Kevin, you got to get rid of that picture. Oh, we just Kevin. like. Get, I, get I don't know. Thank you. I almost lost my dinner. I'm sorry, it's left over from last week. I'll change it. Yes, Susan, thank, thank you. you. I think I might be going <laughs> now. Bye, <laughs> Carolyn. So, so, so do you oh. think Trump was aiming for the uh the Winston Churchill look? How's that? Not just that look. He practiced it. Can you imagine sitting? Can you imagine saying? I am running for president of the United States and I was president of the United States. I'm going to spend the next hour staring into a mirror to see exactly how yeah. <laughs> it's, it's oh, I can look powerful. Yeah. It's called the Kubrick stare. Yes. Yeah, it's going to it, share it, that. It, it cool. shows up in Clockwork Orange. It shows up in um, The Shining. Yep. And there's a third one that I've seen an example of and I don't remember what movie it is. Full Metal it, Jacket. Okay. That's a yeah. I've seen that meme passed around a lot. Yeah. But, but, it's, but it's like it shows up in any every Stanley Kubrick movie, yeah. and Trump. So so people were <laughs> yeah. probably telling him that's the look you want right well, there. Probably. I love his new thing where he goes never surrender. And somebody made some comment. Well, this is your fourth time. Yeah, and yeah you are exactly. surrendering. So <laughs> it's, even, even CNN has been pointing that out. Yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, are you going to go to the Free Thought Conference? So that was coming. Yeah, there's a st stare. Oh, I see. Clockwork yeah. Orange. I have. I I'll have you know if anybody's not seen Clockwork Orange, got to be one of the most frightening movies ever. I couldn't get through the whole thing. That's how frightening it is. Yeah. I'm oh gonna make God. you not want to drink milk anymore. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and and wear eyelash. One eyelash. <laughs> I mean, whoever <laughs> thought of that? Wow. I haven't watched that in years. I got to see that. Uh, to answer your question, yes, I'm. I'm going to be there i reserved a booth so if any other skeptics skeptic groups i just like we did last year how we just kind of coordinated instead of having different booths so i reserved the booth um She's i'm awesome. gonna order um i'm looking into ordering either a banner or a tablecloth that just says norcal skeptic so it encompasses everyone so i'll be there and if anybody wants to help out well, um, after the second, Hi, uh, yes, Lee, thank after you. After the second, um, yeah. thing, can we'll I bring a llama? <laughs> that would be even better. Okay, you bring I'll, a llama. I'm seriously, I'm serious. I'll bring, I'll a, bring a llama. Is that bring a llama on the Capitol so. steps? It's at, the, I believe it's at the Capitol steps again. Yeah, but but where um, would he park his thing? Because you have to park and like let your llama, llama. Yeah, you don't want to expose the llama to. Okay. Oh, okay. um, but it's just where would you park <laughs> i mean unless it's a llama with one l wait what's wrong with exposing a llama to some free thinkers yeah. <laughs> well no i meant in the parking i was um does you know, oh, get any idea yeah do, do, do you think trump was hoping to look like to to get that well that's not the kubrick stare that's the churchill that, stare yeah well i think that's he, what yeah some people were trying to say he was he yeah Oh yeah, yeah like there's a, a different a angle on that. Yeah. And I don't that think was, they let you do that angle when they do mugshots. That was that it's famous picture the where they, they couldn't get Churchill to pose and the yeah. photographer took away his cigar. Yes. And he was really <laughs> pissed and he just snapped that <laughs> just that split second when he pulled the cigar away from him. Wow. Great, I, great I want to, I want to be the person who took that picture because that is going to be the most viewed picture ever is that mugshot and nobody knows who it was can you imagine who, who said all right who's on photo duty today yeah <laughs> i mean would they be like in the know? police department yep oh, so, I, mean, I almost contacted you jane to go over to see if you wanted to go over to bend uh, yeah uh dunning and and yeah. uh uh richard saunders yeah. But yeah. I just didn't have it in me to drive over the mountains. 
Yeah. There was a reason That's why it. I didn't suggest that to you. There was something I had to do. What? Which night was that? It was Tuesday, right? No, Tuesday night. night. Yeah. Yeah. We had an yeah. atheist. Yeah. We had an atheist group makeup meeting that night. We canceled. Can you believe this? Atheist doing this. makeup. Uh, yeah, I am wearing this big heavy sweater today. But two weeks ago, we had to cancel our our atheist group because of the heat, because it was over a hundred degrees. And then yeah. Tuesday night, we had a makeup mm -hmm. meeting. And uh, see, I'm wearing this big heavy sweater because it's I know. so Isn't cool. it lovely today? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful today? I just can't believe it. I've been sitting on the deck just listening oh, to I saw rain. Your post. Yeah. yeah. Janine, oh my God. Janine's, so Janine's, oh, for, uh, Janine's Oregonians for Science and Reason uh, party closed the summer but shut down the heat, everything <laughs> turned cool right afterward. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it was perfect. I I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> you know, I mean, our worst forest fires start in October. So, oh, yeah. I, I have this app, you know, that shows my home and then all the fires burning all around. Eugene. You couldn't have gotten over to Bend. The road from Eugene to Bend was closed for that forest fire. It's like the, there's fire all around us, uh, Janine. Uh, we're surrounded by fire. I know. I know. I know it's terrifying. The ring of it fire. Is. Isn't that a song? The ring of fire. Yeah, but uh, uh, I worry fire. about it being my back hill. Right. Oh. Janine lives on like the, that. I'd be terrified. Wooded. Yeah. And I, my, my, I'm surrounded by woods as well. Yeah. And you're, you're in a tough place too. Wow. So. Hi, Vincent. Hi, Rob. Hi, Karen. Hey, Rob mm -hmm. is here. That's nice. I've lost my postcard for the eclipse. Oh, well, we can get you another one. I assume, I assume I'm going to be here temporarily, Susan. Don't put me on a team where I'm, I'm going to matter. I'm surrounded by Neanderthals, so <laughs> what are you going to do? What? what? <laughs> Knuckle walkers. Yeah. Oh, where he lives, he's saying. I'm just complaining about the people that are around me. That's that's racist. Neanderthals were our cousins, and they may have been almost as uh, good it's as Janine us. It's so. Janine and Kevin that anyway. and Brandy that are that, around that you right now. That's true. Yeah. I can see what? Right in that little area. That's what? what? Mm -hmm. Well, you're around him because your your pictures are right around. So, him. Gee, I think most of us uh, have a few have a few uh, Neanderthal genes in us. Have a little tiny, tiny yeah, well, most people around me certainly do. So. <laughs> I think I do. So Jane, I have some nice for corduroy. Really I don't know do if I have each any other's genes. makeup. Is that what it is? Oh, that, right. Yeah. Do you like, Actually, do each other's eyeliner? Do you braid yeah. hair too? And yeah, I need somebody to come do something like that for me today. A makeup. <laughs> she had. She said the atheist had a makeup. Uh, they they did a makeup meeting. A makeup meeting. So a meeting of makeup. You know. They, they I didn't know they'd broken up. <laughs> oh i didn't yeah see he took it one step beyond mine yeah. that's kyle, that's kyle kyle's for you. good at that kyle's good at I have that to glance down to make sure i'm saying the name right <laughs> so sad oh my god i'm such what a mess cindy's sort of here we haven't seen cindy in ages too has anybody seen bob what the heck where's bob been yeah I thought Bob he'd be back by now. I was going to Bob contact Meister. him on Facebook today, but you know what? His name that he uses on Facebook is not his name. So I'm looking at Bob and I'm thinking, wait, his name isn't Bob on Facebook. Isn't it some something else? You mean Flockmeister? Yeah, but he yeah. doesn't use Flockmeister. Yeah, is I'm that... just asking if that's who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I, I, I can contact him because he's on Recovering from Religion if you want me to ask him something. Well, just ask him how he's doing if he's coming back. You know, I I was just trying, like I said, I was just trying to contact him today, and I thought I started writing Bob, and I got a bunch of Bobs, but not <laughs> the Bob. I thought, is it Robert? No, he's not the not... he's not the only Bob on Facebook, especially in my friends. <laughs> Don't figure. I think we missed the, the chicken. They flock we to want me. to see the chickies. 
Yeah, Facebook, we haven't seen the chicken. Facebook algorithm should know if you type in Bob which one you're looking for. Well, they gave me yeah. several. <laughs> they gave me a bunch, and they're all my Facebook friends, and I've all written to them before. I mean, so it's not good. Hi, Gail. Well, speaking Whoops. of people who haven't played in a while, hello, Aaron. Long time yeah. no see. You I mean, haven't you I haven't have. seen me quietly being here every week for the last three months? Just hiding, yeah. <laughs> just changing your screen and everything. Hi, Rob. How are you? Yeah, I've been better. But yeah. Yeah, he looks so weak right now. Look at that. He's like, yeah. His, what's I, what like, happened? What, right. What's the matter, Rob? I I haven't been on Facebook all week. What what's yeah. going on? Well, I haven't been talking about it a lot. I had a, a kidney stone Monday. Oh, uh, and I didn't know what it was. And I, and I, you know, when they check you into the ER, they ask you a bunch of questions. One of which is, have you ever contemplated suicide? And they said, not until right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has, it has been compared to natural childbirth. I can't, you know, verify that, but other women have who've had both. So yeah, it's bad. So, uh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm laughing, but that is a good yeah. line. Well, I, I know what I you're had, going through. I've, I've had about Oh, I've lost count. Maybe oh, eight or no. nine. See, I was hoping this was going to be one and done, but I'm, I'm hearing that once you get it, it's not likely to just be one. Um, I did. I did it. Hello there. Um, Hi, I Alan. did. Um, once upon a time, I did this uh, benefit concert with uh, Itzhak Perlman. And, you know, he was Itzhak Perlman. He played, he played great. Mm -hmm. He did everything he was supposed to do, but he seemed to be, it was the first time I'd ever done anything with him. And he seemed to be really kind of a little on, on the surly side. Uh, but he played, he played beautifully. We found out only afterwards he was he was passing a kidney stone, uh, uh, so, and he was playing this concert because it was a benefit concert. He committed to it. And he said, "No, he'll come and he'll play." Never complained, and he just looked uncomfortable. And so you can imagine. So he was doing uh, doing all that with that with that kind of pain. When they say think, he was passing a kidney stone at that moment, does that mean like what I think it means? <laughs> Well, I mean, no, but he had, he had the pain. I didn't, I didn't ask him. It's a weird ask. It is a weird expression. It, 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 yeah. it could take six weeks to quote a yeah. book pass. Yeah. Or, means... or it may never pass without some sort of intervention. And and, that, and that's correct. They determined, I, I got very quick, you know, the medical system worked very nicely for me. Uh, I got a specialist appointment the, the day after I was discharged in the ER, which is amazing. They did an ultrasound and said, yeah, this is not going to pass by itself. You need to be done something immediately. And the next day, which was today, I was scheduled to have it uh, pulverized by uh, ultrasonic uh, waves. So that's what happened. Corporeal shockwave lithotripsy. That's right. Right. Uh, How I'm so sure. so My biggest one tonight. was eight millimeters. <laughs> my, uh, well, mine was Carl, almost. Oh, you that. shouldn't be giving away that kind of stuff. It's but yeah, really but the, the bad thing was they said, well, it's only come down like, you know, 10% uh, of, of the ureter. And uh, and the urea narrows from this point on. So it's like, okay, yeah, this is not going to be good on its own. So we got to do something. I don't know what happened before there was like modern science. Uh, oh, my God. People, People really, been... really suffered and didn't oh know why. And and Rob, I'm so sorry you went through that. And I'm grateful that you're yeah. getting that little sonic blaster. And um, they can treat it. They can do things to where you don't need to fear this is going to happen again to you. It is so painful. I'm sorry you went through that. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know so, what childbirth feels like. It's so I'm all, yeah, all the get, women who've given birth something out of the childbirth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a way to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was Happy uh, birthday, uh, Rob. You got to yeah. have a kidney stone for your birthday. <laughs> That's the gift that's going to keep on giving. Uh, you got to meet the doctor and see him the use the sonic yeah. screwdriver. Ooh, <laughs> right, right. I know that reference. Right. So, so, so today, so today I got home at about, oh, let's see, two, th two o'clock, three o'clock, something. And of course I didn't sleep all night because uh, it was bad again. And so I'm like half zonked out on that. And plus I'm not over this sort of, cause I got to go pee every like half hour. Or so yeah. Oh, so. thanks for sharing. Yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing fantastic today, but it's a hell of a lot better than if it was still stuck there. I'll just say that. Ooh. I just can't the visual. Alan, is that is that a matzo, Alan? No, this is. Stone? I didn't see the side. I didn't see the side view. <laughs> no, no, this I have to show you. Uh, as Sarah's home for the week, and she made Ted Lasso biscuits. I was so wondering these, that was so a Ted these, Lasso. What is a Ted Lasso? Oh, did they make if you ever saw Ted the Lasso? if you ever saw Ted Lasso? No, I yeah, never did. As was made clear these, when we had the trivia making these biscuits. And it's a little bit like short, uh, uh, shortbread. It's great. Yep, that's that's what they were. They were they were English shortbread cookies that he made cookies to us, biscuits to them yes. that he made for his for the owner of the club every day. Rebecca, yep. 
<laughs> well, what you're, what you're holding looks more like long bread. Yeah, like yeah, pocket. that's right. The only thing, I, oh, the only thing I didn't get was a pink box, but the, but this is very good. Well, there you go. Cindy's hey, you know, here. Wh- we haven't wh- seen Cindy while, pages. Wh- while there's a lull in in Rob's and uh, the sympathy we have for Rob, I just kind of want to put a thank you out to the number of you who quickly were on Facebook telling me, "Hey, I think you've been hacked." Um, I think you guys were, were part of the, the group that saved my butt on Facebook. I was able to um, change my password, um, do everything else I could to try to lock things down. And when I went to change my password, it gives you the option of, would you like to log off everyone who is currently logged into Facebook? And I found out that Facebook keeps track of things like my iPhone from four versions ago was still considered logged in to Facebook. But I also found that two days before this thing happened, there's a login from Costa Rica. And I guess that's probably who hacked my account. Oh, my gosh. I got hacked on Instagram, too, the other day. I've never had that happen before. It was I got people contacting me that I haven't talked to in ages. I was like, they were saying, Susan, is this you? And I'm like, no, no, it's a spam account. But I haven't heard from you in ages. How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, and Adrian had uh, Timothy Caulfield contact her in a very strange way, right? Which was a hacked oh, account. That's right. Could this be Timothy Caulfield? <laughs> Just yeah, like, probably I don't think not. You're, I don't think Leonard you're Leonard said something. Would that be the way a professor would contact you? Probably. Because oh, it was like, hey, hey, yo, or something. Like hey, babe, that. we haven't talked hey, in a while. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we better get started. Look, Cindy's here. I haven't. We haven't seen Cindy in ages. Good to Hello. see you, Cindy. Thank you. Where it's still chilly, she says. Okay, so let's, okay, before I create the rooms, I just need to ask these questions. And Adrian said she'll be here by eight, which is an hour and a half from now. So I have no. Gail first. In Kevin, is it all right to have you second? Maybe not. I don't see him is now. Is that eight your time or eight her time? No, an hour and a half from now. Oh, okay. Whatever that is. Oh, yeah, that's right. She said eight. I don't know if that's an hour. And... <laughs> okay. You know what? I don't know. I can't okay, I'm just it. wondering, like, what time? If she said eight, then that's in about 20 minutes. Okay. So then I'm going to change the order back because you're absolutely right. So it's going to be Gail, Adrian, Kevin, Karen, and Carl. We should just all start using universal time. I know. <laughs> why don't you go ahead and switch Adrian and me just in case? Do you want to go second? You're okay with that? I prefer it because as soon as I'm done, I drink a glass of wine or a beer. <laughs> okay, well, then that makes sense. I will be happy to contribute to your alcohol. And I refrain when I'm doing a category. Uh, uh, Until then. Okay, sounds good. So let me make the rooms now because I was kind of... I, I want to apologize for talking about Bob Baca last week. <laughs> Sorry. Did you? Kevin, shame. Did you? The In shame room, did. almost made you it to a hundred, but for you. Oh. Well, some somebody pointed out he made it to ninety nine, which is close as you can come oh, to one hundred without Barker. going over. Oh, you scared oh, me! You, yeah, you, without you, going over. That's oh my god! I thought you were talking about Bob Bob Flockmaster because I just oh. been talking about him. And I'm like, where has he been? And <laughs> no, then you pop up with Bob, and I'm like, and your accent, and in your accent, I thought you were talking about somebody else. Kevin doesn't <gasps> have an accent. Me. Kevin doesn't have an accent. We all do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you scared everybody me, has an accent. You, you are just in have to so go much someplace trouble. else before they tell you what it, that you got one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next week I've got three people so far. So, um, you know what? I assume it's Adrian that's doing a category tonight, not Romero. One of the two is going to do a category tonight, whether they know it or not. So, or or something that ought to be interesting. Somebody will be assigned a category in their room. <laughs> Okay, Gail's going to go first. That's right. So Karen's going to be second. Okay. But now you blew the KKK thing I had going there, Karen. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I it's had not something we strive for. G-A-K-K-K. I had ga. <laughs> Gak. Have you heard about the, the big That's a Klingon delicacy. What news? Uh, Krispy Kreme Donuts did. They have, a, they have a kids camp. And they decided to be cute since Krispy Kreme is spelled with two Ks, decided to spell camp with a K in their advertising. And it didn't last very long when they realized KKK. Brilliant. 
Oh, let's see what. Let's see. Oh, that's news to me. No, no, no. Yeah. I had that, a that's a potential board. subject for a future trivia round. I've contemplated <laughs> advertising disasters. Didn't we have that already? So that you was could, uh, you could that? have that topic a dozen times and still not repeat questions. Yeah, yes, really. All right, Aaron, I because you haven't been here in a long time, you've just been made co host. So you're in charge of blocking all those people that shouldn't what? be here, which never happens. Uh, you get to mute people, you get to open and close rooms if you want to, let people in the room. What else does Aaron get to do? Um, I don't know, something. <laughs> I'm sure there's something you get to do. So let me put let me put um, you guys into your little rooms. And also, do not forget, we got to get you guys all. We got to think about what we're going to do for PsyCon because it's getting up here real quick. All Thanks. right. Yours? What? Get psyched up for PsyCon? No. What are we going to do about trivia? Well, Ben can run it. Last year, we had like 10 people. <laughs> what? Let's, let's just won't be play on anymore. stage and do it do it there right carl who'd you say isn't going to be there ben won't be there so he could run it again like he did are last you year. sure he's not going to be there i'm 100 percent sure he won't be there oh man i thought this is going to be his year make seven up yours no he, he ended up owing way more on taxes when filing than he thought he would and that Aww. that blew his budget for the whole year well, if he was one of my GSOW editors, he could apply for a $500 scholarship. <laughs> I'd be happy to hand him $500 tax-free. But no. Go, oh, be free. Free, go make some names. I have great faith in my abilities of trusting you all. And I let the account in number two, four, six, eight, seven, zero. I allowed into here, not knowing. That was just me, yeah. It's well, I thought it was asking. I thought it was asking for the. Um... Is that our passcode? <laughs> That's so yeah, because it was a, there was a window there. So well, I I well now, to... well now we've recorded the passcode. Oh, everybody, the passcode. Oh, security now you have security to is our passcode. priority. Thanks, Deborah. Now you have are to... a very no hacking going on here. we are a very it's... secure trivia group. So well, you want you want more post subscribers, post right? <laughs> I, no. I thought it was our prison number. <laughs> you can That's you it. can kick That's them it. out. <laughs> You I can kick them out, not it? let them Deborah back. Deborah and in. Donald, they're a team. Yeah. <laughs> they both start with deep, don't they? That's I'm just going to be deep undercover. Yeah, wait, I don't want to be under no covers with them. Ew. No, I don't Ew. either, but, Ew. you know, I'd be going undercover to sabotage them. Oh, okay, Deborah, that's your role. Go for it. <laughs> Deborah Matahari <Yeah>. working. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. All right, so team. One, Cindy, Aaron, Gail, Rob, and Vincent. There is a lot of people on that team, but we're expecting Rob to leave. Uh, the 14th Amendment is a wonderful thing. Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it. 14th Amendment is a wonderful thing. He's a wonder. It's a wonderful thing. That's how James Randy would say it. It's a yeah, I got it, Rob. I put it on there. Yeah, it's in. So, Alan, Jane from Oregon, and Karen, because eventually Jane from California will come back. I don't know what's going to happen if you're both in the same spot at once. Both uh -oh. We're in trouble then. Hurricanes and wildfires and kidney stones. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, one for you, Rob. This is you feel special. It was your birthday week. So, um, Brandy, Kevin, and Lee. Ooh, that sounds like a song right there. Brandy, you, YouTube streaming. It's a Rico night in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring it on, man. Carolyn, Kyle, Ron. Coming to a theater near you, Frozen 3, starring Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh... Is it the creepiest thing in the world to watch that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Cindy I, I kind of feel sorry that. for him. It's, it's actually that sad. He's or... probably like having a mini stroke or something. Yeah, they're yeah. saying that yeah. something. Yeah, yeah it, it is very sad. sad that nobody's rushing to take care of him when it happens. Everyone just kind of stands there awkwardly. 
Well, that, my that, my my cousin is a, I, my cousin's a neurologist, and he's been posting. He says that any any doctor where it's their salt should know what to be able to do, and that he, he's also amazed that they're not. They don't seem to be doing anything to help them. You know, well, the, the, they don't, the, don't scene, know the scene that was that happened yesterday. There's a lot of talk about how his his aides didn't seem to react much, as if this is something that's going on behind the scenes, kind of regularly. Like they're oh, yeah. they're, yeah. they're aware, and they just simply move up calmly. But when they tried to, if you look closely, the woman who came up to him first tried to help him away from the podium. And he was like locked on, holding those edges, and he he didn't want to let go. Whether yep. whether it was part of he's just frozen, and and like even his muscles are, are I don't know what it was, but it looked it looked like it was kind of scary for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe he's you know when he's not frozen, maybe he gives him orders to like not do anything. Well, know? that's that's what I'm thinking is that it's you know it's something that they've all discussed behind the scenes, but they've also yeah. on CNN today they were also talking about. He had a concussion recently. Yeah. Oh, he had a concussion oh. in March. Was that? Yeah, I didn't know exactly when. They're saying he hasn't when. recovered from that. Right. And he hasn't recovered, but that's been like six months ago. Yeah. Now, one of but, my uh, um, a pathologist on my Facebook says he has a lesion. Okay. That any good doctor should know he has a lesion on his brain. And just and the other side to that is every good doctor may know that, and they're just not telling the public. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. Don't, don't concussions yeah. tend to have rather long-lasting effects? And oh yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah. All I know is it's 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 oddly compelling to look at, and in a way, I think it's good for science to be able to have these kinds of, um, I don't know, to see that kind of stuff for we understand this stuff. But you know, it pisses me off. They keep relating it to age. And at age, it's, you know, they're talking about, oh, anybody over 75 should have some sort of checkup and all that nonsense. No, 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 no. It should be health related, not age related, because, right. they, you know, there's a lot. I mean, Mitch McConnell is a bad person, but he's got long years of history. So does Joe Biden, who's a great person, I think. But just it shouldn't be age that gets you, uh, you know, a problem because all those years of experience and knowing things i think that just says so much anyway i'm off topic thanks carolyn kyle and ron for distracting us so janine jim and carl that was ron by the way okay thank, thank, you, thank you thank you thank you thank you we are mitch's glitch oh there you go uh. back on to the thing i mean it's sad i i really do i felt bad for him i'm glad he's not driving She's well, the other oh, thing too oh my is God. Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green couldn't wait to get on and say he needs to, you know, he needs to go. You know, he's unfit and stuff instead of, I don't know. What unfit. He, you know, yeah, she's unfit. She's a loon. But I mean, <laughs> that's just how cold blooded yeah. some of those people are. I, I think right. Mitch is unfit to serve and it has nothing to do with his health. It has to do with him supporting I the country, supporting I, the constitution I, I and refusing cold. to hold hearings Same on Obama's Supreme Green. Court nominee. Right. Okay, well welcome to political talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you damn. for joining us. And I mean for the first two years of this trivia it was Corona talk. Now we're into politics. I'm glad. Okay, we're not I can about I can continue this. I updated the page. I think I mentioned last week of Jenna Ellis, one of the co-defendants in Georgia, by mentioning her unusual mugshot where she's smiling like she's at a party, and I added the mugshot, which was in Wikipedia Commons, to her Wikipedia page, and I just got notice it's been removed from Commons. Like what? How is that not public record? The, the, well, do you saw what happened with Trump's mugshot. They couldn't put it on Trump's Wikipedia page, so. They did one better. They did a brand new age. Wikipedia page <laughs> just for the mugshot. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and that works. They has so there is a Wikipedia page called Trump's Trump mugshot. mugshot. <laughs> First <laughs> mugshot, they should say, I think, because there may be more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, there so, may be some things added to that, huh? Yeah, I know for reals. All right. So we have the 14th Amendment is a wonderful thing. Versus hurricanes, wildfires, and kidney stones. Oh my! Versus YouTube streaming. It's a Rico night in Georgia. Versus coming to a theater near you. Frozen three, starring Mitch McConnell. Versus 
Mitch's glitch. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so what are we going to do tonight? We're on game 176, season four. We have a uh, interesting night with all kinds of different things that is coming up to us. We have Gail leading off, then followed by Karen, and then Kevin, and then Adrian, who isn't here yet. She will be on team four, and then Carl. So I'm going to immediately put Adrian on team four. Is Gail here? I don't see Gail. Yeah, she's here. I see Gail. Oh, there she is, it right in the middle whoops. of my screen. So I'm sorry, I guess her Gail. category should have something to do with whoops. <laughs> All right, so Gail, you've got the powers. Go for it. Okay. Oh, there. there. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I get excited about these things. Um, I decided yeah. to, to uh, do something that's very different for me. I was channel channeling Carl tonight. So uh -oh. I'm doing a category that is something that he might have done and maybe he's planning to do, and I just stole it from him. Mm. But uh, it's one that is not typical of me, but I could do it because I didn't have to know anything to do the research. It is mistakes in movies. Ah. Ooh. So I'm going to give you descriptions of a movie, and you may or may not already know about the mistake, and you don't have to be very specific. You just have to get the general idea of the mistake. Okay. So if the mistake is that the eye color should have been blue and it was green, uh, you just have to say eye color, okay? But you may, even if you don't know about the mistake, recognize the movie anyway okay. from the description. It's, okay? Okay, great. Oh. Muting all. Uh, so, oh, wait, wait a minute. Are we supposed to name the movie or the, or, or the mistake? Most of the time made in the movie, but the question will tell you when it isn't. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Okay, are we muted? No? Yes. yes, we are. Okay, question one. What 2019 movie is described in this following scathing commentary? A nightmarish musical experience that boasts more mistakes than felines have lives. There are continuity errors and many errors in size. Think a dinner knife the size of the human spine or peas the size of eyeballs. Or a movie. Number two. In this 2012 film, there is a close up of a newspaper with the headline, Police Suspect Cat Burglar in Jewel Heist. Of course, it is a typo, and the word should be heist. What 2012 film was this? Question three. In this acclaimed Bond film, the sound editing was marred by screeching tires in a car chase scene. While they are good for effect, it is unrealistic since the scene takes place on gravel. What was the film? And I haven't given you the date because for many of you, that would do it all by itself, I think. Okay. Question four. There's 2,000 historical films as several embarrassing anachronistic moments. Some were almost inevitable, like modern planes flying overhead. But there is a scene where stunt equipment, that is a gas canister, can be seen in a toppled horse-drawn carriage. What is the movie? Question five. A classic historical movie from 1939 includes several continuity mistakes, but special note needs to be made about the light bulb in what should be gas fixtures in the street in Atlanta, since the setting is supposed to be 18 years before such bulbs were invented. What is the film?
1999 movie, Never Been Kissed, starring Drew Darrymore, includes a scene where she joins a math club known as the Denominator. There is a scene where there's a huge sign on the bake sale table that indicates that pi is available for 75 cents, and pi equals 3.145786996. What is the error that some argue was intended as a joke? Number seven. In this 1959 Hitchcock film, there's a tense scene where a young expert in the cafe full of tourists covers his ears five seconds before the loud gun trap. What is the yes. film? Maybe it wasn't an error. They were just psychic. <laughs> Must be it. Number eight. And this 1990 film includes a scene where Julia Roberts is eating a croissant from a hotel breakfast buffet. Somehow, it switches to a pancake when the camera returns to her. What is the film? Number nine. In Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, there is a scene where you can see and hear one of the stormtroopers make a mistake. Because of the costume, no one knows who the actor was that made this clumsy mistake. What did he do? That one I'll also take, not the specifics of what he did, but what character was it that did what kind of thing? The general kind of thing will do. Okay, question 10. Let's end with a current 2023 film. The anachronism is a lot of American flags with 50 stars, but the setting is before Alaska or Hawaii had joined the Union. What is the film? Question? Welcome, welcome, Adrian. Uh, on the one with the um, number two, is, is the apostrophe before cat intentional? Not that it matters, but that seems odd. Um, it's it's supposed to be a single apostrophe because it's a quote. No, you have quote. Po he, police she, suspect. She simply that... didn't. She simply didn't close the single quote after the T. Yeah, it's just that's where, cat that's, that's where, that's where the typo exists. Right. Okay, so cat was in single quotes as well as the whole thing being in double quotes. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay, I just All gave right. the questions to Kevin, who just joined us, and Adrian should have hers too. And Adrian and Deborah. Okay, Adrian, you're in room four. And Deborah, where am I putting Deborah? Oh, I'm going to put you in three. Very good. And Kevin is in great, great. Three. Okay, there we go. Wait, and we start now. Oh yeah, Gail. Gail should move out to another yeah. room. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to can, visit all. She can room. start here. She'll just bounce around. Yeah. Yeah, right. most people don't go to the room they're in because you can watch this one on the video because it gets recorded because of Susan. It's the only one that'll be recorded. Just so you know. Yes. I, I, I like to, to start and end in the room. Okay. So I end up okay. back in the right room. It don't matter to me. Can everyone see the screen or should I make the writing bigger? I, bigger. Big, bigger. Bigger would be bigger. nice. I can't read it at all. Okay. It's little ants walking. Oh, it's nice to uh, word. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It was WordPad at, at first and then it goes it, to It word. still uh, says it's WordPad. It is WordPad. Oh, that's weird. You see it now? Barely. Good. Barely. My screen is not that big. Oh, oh, oh. A little bigger. Okay. Oh, okay, that's that's good. Rob, you need to invest some money in a decent screen. Yeah. 
He needs know. more than one screen, but he says he can't do it. He's gonna have the first one is cats. Also yeah, known as, yeah, I thought also so. Also known as cats twenty nineteen. Yeah. Oh really? Are you into that, huh? I I, I saw this movie and I I've don't remember. It. I didn't see any of those continuity errors. That's interesting. That's because what they did was they um did they fix it? Out, they fixed it. Yeah, they sent out to all the theaters that had it um uh the 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 re redone okay okay so the initial release had these yeah. and then they fixed it okay that's it and then they fixed it kind of after uh, the beauty of, the beauty of digital movies they can it's update them on the fly interesting uh so number two is is that catwoman could be i was thinking it was pink panther I don't, I think, well, the original Pink Panther was way before 12, 2012. Well, I thought maybe somebody had. So, so, so yeah, because that's why I was asking about the cat, because why, because cat burglar is a phrase. Why would just cat be in single quotes and that outside the police suspect cat burglar? Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. I, I, now that I'm reading the whole question, that second, that the double quote on cat should have been a single quote. But, but you're right. Quoting cat is kind of hinting at something. So, yeah. Yeah. Was Catwoman for 2012? That sounds about right. Not I'm right. not positive, but it yeah. sounds about right. And it was called Catwoman? That's a stupid name. That was Halle Berry's movie. It was, it was, it's was just uh, a generic There's movie. Batman. It's just, it was, there's well, Batman and then there's Catwoman. Yeah, she, she's yeah, a superhero. But, okay. Or a super, vil, super It was villain. a stupid movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It didn't really connect to Batman exactly. It no. gave a whole backstory on how all these various women are cat women and are, you know, it, it, like it, went, off, it went off the rails and wasn't a very good movie. But Haley Berry was probably awesome. In it. So by the I way, is, it, is this going to be a theme with cats? Because that's two things with cats. I don't think so. Oh, it's I, not all I think, about cats. I think three is Dr. No, isn't it? I, I have no idea. I can't, I don't know the bottom. I was thinking it would be... Well, the one that they did not too recent, they did kind of recently, where the one where he's dead is they right. they have he's spinning around inside a yeah. uh, like a square in Italy, and it's just. But it's not a gravel. But it's not a gravel road. The, the Doctor No took place on an island oh. out in the Bahamas and okay. lots of gravel roads and stuff. And she <laughs> did specifically say she was not giving the year because that. Would give too much of a hint. So I why think it's Doctor No. I think it's the first one. Why, why would that give too much of a hint? I I wouldn't have known. Because if you gave the first year, and I don't remember 1962, I think a lot of people in the in these in in our group would know we the got first some here, yeah. would know the the first Doctor the first Bond movie and the year it was made. Uh, that was the first one. Okay. Yeah, Doctor No was the first one. So oh, number four. Um, is with that really, really well, I like him anyways. Um, uh, he's married to Angelina Jolie, or was what was his Brad name? Pitt. Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt, Brad Pitt movie. Um, it was, yeah, it was a historical movie, and they did have mistakes was uh, it the vampire movie no 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 that wouldn't it be was, historical it was it was a very <laughs> historical Red. it was um oh what the hell now, i hope by historical she doesn't mean period piece because yes then it could be a vampire movie or any no, other kind it's, of movie. Uh, empire he was the he was uh a general or something of an empire or an emperor I'm not there familiar. Was something controversial and there was controversy in the movie because they played him as a uh, um, bisexual character kind of thing yeah, yeah. Do you know what it I'm like about? roman times not ringing the bell yes. roman Ro times yeah roman times well i don't remember brad pitt being in a kind of picture like that but then i'm not a Brad Pitt fan. The, so. the movie I was thinking of, although I've never seen it, so I don't know, but I, I've heard of these issues with it. 
and, and was it called 300? It's kind of the one that oh, Ian Spartacus came out. Of. No, yeah. not 300. No, okay. no, not that far back. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, and I don't think they had horse drawn carriages in that period. Well, I was I wasn't sure what was meant by horse drawn carriage as opposed to a oh. horse drawn chariot kind of thing. What the hell was his name? It's a single name. All right, let, let's 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 come back yep. to that one. Okay. Um. Okay, the Wait. next one five isn't that Gone with the Wind? That's what I was thinking. Nineteen thirty nine okay. Atlanta. What else could it be? Yeah. yeah. Okay, nineteen number six. Does it mean that they're trying to say that you get three pies for seventy five cents? No, the joke, the, the mistake there is it's three point one four one five seven eight. Yada yada yada. No, yada. one one five nine two six. I know the first. Okay. Five. But, but but is that a phone number? One four five seven eight six nine nine. Yeah. No. Not, not not digits there. One, Although three one four seven eight six nine nine eight six could be. Is it? Hmm. So pi is seven over um twenty one, right? Twenty two. Twenty two. Seven, seven over twenty two. Well, it's not really. That's an approximation. Well, that's an appro why, yeah. Why are you bringing right. that up? Into? So if it was seven over seventy five, would that would that? No, be no, it wouldn't be that close. So I don't. I don't think. I wrong? don't think they're. I don't think those two parts are related in the bake sale. I think the whole idea is that this was the math club's bake sale, so they were putting up, you know, a a you know pie for seventy five cents. And pie is, and they gave a number. But where is area code three one four? Who knows? Anybody know? Um, yeah. But yeah. but yes, you're you're right, Rob. It's likely that it's a foot that it's most likely a phone number that's why it's intended right. as a joke so i don't know how much he wants i mean the first that's thing not is not a phone number well three one four five seven eight no what did i do wrong there's there one too many numbers in there you're you're right if it's well, one well let's let's just four, five, go with seven. the simple let's just go with the simple answer that pi is, pi, they have pi, pi, pi is wrong that's the yeah. error that's the error not not pie pi is wrong mm -hmm. I mean that's the error. That's the mathematical error. There is that that's not the value of pi. Yeah. So what would be the hit? Yeah, that could, that'd be good. That could be good enough. That had a gunshot. What? Question seven. Fifty-nine Hitchcock. Oh, we're going to seven. Seven. Okay. That uh, the birds doesn't have a gunshot in there anywhere, does it? Not that I recall. As a exploding gas station. Yeah. Yeah. She's in, um, she's in the phone booth. Where would there be a um, cafe full of tourists? South by well, there Southwest? Is, well, there is a cafe full of tourists in the birds. But there's but, no gunshot. But no gunshot. Yeah, but there's no gun. Yeah, no gunshot. It, 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 maybe, maybe, because the bird was in the, in, in the cafe and people were going crazy. Maybe someone, did someone take a gun out and shoot? No, and no, that was when they, they were in front of the gas station that was going to explode. What happened is that one of the gas pumps was leaking gas yeah, i remember that so that was about to set on fire get it get set on fire what about mm. south by southwest did that have any the north by northwest north by northwest <laughs> yeah, not the airline <laughs> not the airline <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm thinking of the of the musical uh um, cafe, down, cafe? Down in i don't remember that film well enough at all cafe full of tourists in it somewhere Mark um, says it's north by northwest. Okay. In fact, he said before I even said what happened. Oh, said, okay. There's a but, scene where there's a bunch of good. tourists in the in the cafe. And he goes, "Yeah," and somebody covers their ears. Good call. Okay. <laughs> um, is that Pretty he knows Woman? His Number eight. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. But God, she made so many films in that time period. Uh, I, I don't remember this error. I yeah. I've only seen scenes of it, but never really the whole thing. Yeah, I think it's. I, but, um, I, I think but, my nerd credentials are, are I need to well I don't like the way she said what she said after she read this I, I know the stormtrooper hit his head on the overpass on the on the yeah. door the door uh, what do you yep. call it right but that's not a mistake I mean not his mistake 
right? I mean, the, the, he was he was tall enough where they didn't have that set built properly. So first off, well, I don't like that way it's described. The stormtrooper makes a mistake. And really, oh, if, uh, if Luke is and, if Luke is too short to be a stormtrooper, all the stormtroopers <laughs> need to be tall. Very good, Aaron. And and then she said something weird, like I'll just take whoever did something. But she wrote right, right there, stormtrooper. Like what is she? What what? I don't we're, know. We're, we're good with number nine. Okay. Oh, do, number, do, door door frame. I think that that's what the, the word I was looking for anyway. His head on the, on the door frame. But anyway, yeah. Oh my good. God, we're getting to <laughs> here, guys. Did I do door frame? No, no, that's okay. No, that's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, your guy, what? <laughs> okay. And, and number number 10 is Oppenheimer. Oh, oh nice. that's right. I do I remember them talking about. Okay, somebody's gonna have to tell me how to spell it. Oh, oh, no, Go ahead. E -I. H. I think it's E I M E R. M M E R, right? Just like it sounds. Almost as easy to spell as Barbie. <laughs> and let's go back to was it number oh. two? Yeah, number four. Four, four with the his embarrassing. Uh, okay, so plan. there was um, but, hmm. the Roman Empire movies, and one name. No, it was the it was the Trojan Trojan. The Trojan horse. He was the Helen of Troy. Yeah, but who did she? There was a there was one guy that. Um, well, we need the name of the movie, not a guy. So it was one of her movie? lovers, one of the guys that yeah became her husband or whatever. You yeah. know, I forgot their names. There were two guys that were, I think, two guys. Wait, are we doing? Were... Are we doing four? Yes. Yeah. 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 So we'll we're we're, we're under the we're running on the assumption, Rob, that the guys is the name of the movie. Yeah, um, the, guy, the guy's name is the name of the movie, right. but I don't know what it is. Isn't there one guy who has something name of with a T? Something of Troy. Right. Helen, Helen of Troy? Troy? No, not oh. Helen of Troy. Or maybe it was just called Troy. Yeah. Was there a movie called Troy? That sounds Yeah, they probably familiar. would have just called it Troy. That sounds typical Hollywood. Well, they call the other one Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they would they, they, normally it probably would have been a longer name, but when Hollywood remakes famous movies or something similar to famous movies, they always shorten it to like one word or something. Do you know Troy what the original the like, original name of Back to the Future was supposed to be? I'm sure Aaron knows. The the, the Eric Stoltz starring starring movie. No, no. Do you remember <laughs> do you remember the name? So, I don't. I don't right now. Yeah, and I, I don't remember exactly, but it was something like "Strange Spaceman from Beyond the Stars." <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid name. Um, yeah. Speaking of Back to the Future, has anybody seen or possibly going to see the Flash that was out in the movies? No. Are we ready to close? No. Yeah, yeah, just about. I just want to. I, I just mentioned it. I don't want to give any spoilers if you're planning on seeing it, but if not, no. I, well, one, I, of, I'm, one, I'm one not, of the funniest parts I'm is. He went. Okay. He, he went back in time, and he broke. He broke time, and Eric Stoltz was the star of um, Back to the Future. Oh. Nobody had any idea who Michael J. Fox is. Oh, that's a spoiler. I, I thought that was pretty funny. That's so those of you watching this, that's repeat like all five of you. <laughs> you've just been spoiled. Yeah, a, assuming I recover well enough, I'm going to the Susan, play. I have a play on, for you. On sure. Um, when we go back, I have the answers on a PowerPoint with screenshots. Do we have to end and the video for that, or is just they're just they're not videos; they're just screenshots. No, they're fine. Okay, it's really like music is really the problem. I, I, I think movie. Susan's being too picky with this. I just watched an entire movie where they showed scene after scene after scene of old Star Wars movies, and you know it's just the guy's channel. It's just that I've had uh, well, Beatles are really bad. Anything Disney that just ring yeah. it they 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 you get a uh it just depends like i had seatbelt psychic on for a very long time clips for there and now i've been getting 
it'll like the TV channel Lifetime will say this is copyright material. Uh, there are a whole well, set of of atheist videos that are the atheist showing one of the apologists and talking. Oh, about wait a minute! We got thirty seconds. Can 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 you scroll it up so I can see what the numbers are? I didn't write them down from six on. What's six and seven, eight, nine? Six is oh, I get this thing in the middle of my freaking screen. All right, go ahead, Gil. All right, six is pi. Seven He's is just looking. North by northwest. Okay. Eight, eight is. Um, is they, oh, they, they show oh, the, okay. the the video from that the a YouTube video that when the apologist said about Christianity, and then they keep going back to the atheist person commenting on why what they're saying is wrong, and they show large segments of the video. Gail, I think the only pro the problem is it's fine as long as nobody notices it. Once it's pointed out to them, I think they could put a copyright on it. But things like I Disney and, and um, uh, the Beatles, that kind of stuff, they've got some. There's some kind of uh, software that goes through, and um, uh, you upload the video almost as soon as you upload it, you've got a copyright against you for some of them. Well, I have I one that's uh, that plays the song. Whoops, there it is. That song on one of my Thomas Don videos and I got a copyright right away on that too. Oh, but on TikTok, it's fine. But on YouTube, it's not fine. So I don't know. And the frustrating thing is how they, it, it, there doesn't appear to be much of a warning time. It's just, you're out. And they're getting a little, I guess they're changing it a little bit, but some people just totally lost things. They just pulled them off and that's it. No hi bye or kiss my booty. Mm -hmm. Nobody had contact to anybody. Well, in my case so far, they've just said this can't be monetized. But, but the takedown the take is part of the, I think it was 1996, the DCMA um, licensing agree licensing law. It says, you know, if if somebody files a takedown request, it gets taken down. I mean, it doesn't even necessarily have to be the one who actually has right. the copyright. They can say that's a copyrighted item. And, and you can just be gone. Real mess. All right. So that was a fun category, Gail. We yes. knew a lot more than I would have thought because I don't know much about movies, but that was really good. So let's go with the answers. What do you got? Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we'll go through the answers. Okay. We'll go through the answers so that you can see what where it was. and. Do I need to read the questions? You don't. You know the questions. Just sum now, up right? the questions so that the people watching will just like question one. This is the. Yeah. I'll, okay. So well, let's do question yeah. one. This was question one, and it was cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question two. As as Vincent explained, by the way, I saw the movie and didn't see any of those. I think it was Vincent who said no. They re-released it very quickly, instantaneously, and fixed everything. So most people never saw those errors. By the way. Oh, okay. There's a place I did didn't didn't say that. Cindy, your um, kitty cat's adorable. There oh, is the, he the Dark Knight Rises was number two, and there's that makes the sense. error from the film. Oh, we said cat. Oh. Number three, I think most of you got that was Doctor No. Oh, uh, I thought it was Moon Don't Rango. screech on a. Uh, I I will put these all in the chat afterwards. You don't what screech on gravel. Scene. So it made a big effect, but it is not a a physically possible one. Number four was Gladiator. Oh my gosh! The, <laughs> yes, the Pick the wrong one. Damn it. Okay, uh, number uh. five, Gone with the Wind. And there you mm -hmm. can see the light bulb mm. inside. Number whenever six. I, whenever I uh, see Gone with the Wind, I'm kind of always reminded of like people passing gas. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's nice to know, Vincent. Thank you for sharing that. I'll never six. look at the movie again the same way or hear the phrase. In this crowd, I think you almost all got this one. At least everyone I saw did. Um, you don't have to have the actual pie, although I've given it to you. Just know that the few, first few numbers are correct, but then they are not correct, as you can see. Uh, oh, my I, goodness, Gail. We were coming up with all kinds of reasons for the wrong numbers and what they might mean. <laughs> yeah, we were saying they were phone number. It was a phone Get number. Get smart. 
And they didn't, they, I think the only reason they said it could be a joke, because that was said by some of the people, was that only people who, who know pi past the first couple of numbers, everyone knows one four, right? But after that, would would know it. So they were oh. looking for the geeks. But that that's it. Good thinking, Jane. We got it anyway. Yeah. The, the, the well, well, did, did we get it? Did yeah, we oh. got it. Because we okay. knew pi was wrong. The pi okay. was wrong is all you needed for that one. There is the right person. one. That, the right answer is fine, but all you needed was the pi was wrong. So they You're expected. Right, I... Wow. So they expected not by not people. What? They were expected to sit there and hear a gunshot, and that was going to be okay. <laughs> well, they, he knew that the gunshot was coming, probably from rehearsal. So you see him. He's yeah. in there. He would got his fingers in his ears before the gunshot. Yeah. They probably did. They put the gunshot in later. The sound because. No, Gail, it's 1959. They actually had a blank in the gun and fired yeah. it. I mean, that's what yeah, yeah, it was so hurt all your ears. Yeah. Hey, did anyone know that, besides me, surprised to see that Gary Shandling was in this movie? No, he's not. It's Gary Shandling. I'm kidding. Look at the guy next to him. Yeah. <laughs> and that's I don't know who Gary Shandling like a... is, so. The point was the kid knew the loud noise right. was coming, so he prepared Or maybe it. he just always has his ears. And... <laughs> he's he's refusing to listen to his parents. Mom, shut up. Mom, shut up. I just got a <laughs> give me I a hot stand, dog. Stand by Number my eight, this is some pretty second. woman. I think most of you got it. There's the scene with the croissant, and then when it goes back to her, she's holding the pancake. I have seen that movie probably 20 times and never noticed that. <laughs> right. She was she was probably eating everything off the table. And they, they just ran out of croissants for the next yep. take. <laughs> well, they had to do it very fast because she it's the camera leaves her and comes back to her. Oh wow. Richard Weiss. Oh, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean it's fast. It can oh, yeah, be Richard you know, they, can, they can break down the take and everything. And there it there it is. Um, he smacked his helmet into the door frame. Everybody claims it looking at them. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. Copyright infringement. Susan. I know. There went our monetization. <laughs> My two cents. So we, we knew what that was, but I took exception to your description because if I was an actor, I wouldn't want to say I made a mistake because they built a set too small. Well, well you they don't know who the actor but, was because the, the whole point is fight. they 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 had to force the door open and they couldn't get it all the way open. They were supposed to have to duck to get under it. Ah, uh, so he didn't duck, is what you're telling me? Yeah. Which also makes it not really a mistake. I mean. If the stormtroopers are running along expecting the door to go all the way up and it didn't, some of them are. Plus, they, they plus were the standing outside the door and plus the visibility them. in those helmets sucks. I got to tell you. Yeah, they yeah. can't You've even shoot one, straight. Huh, they, they can walk straight. This is such a geeky conversation. I love it. Oh, okay. this, is where, this is where I say, yeah, Susan, you're definitely not as big a nerd as I. Am. No, no, I am. Right. Bigger. All right, all right. And the other guy said, uh, aren't, "Aren't you a little tall for a stormtrooper?" Me? I, yeah, we, we we made we made that joke since Luke is a little short for a stormtrooper. Question ten: Is Oppenheimer and there are the camp the, the crowd with the, with the flag? Ouch! <laughs> yeah, that's just plain a mistake. Yeah, right? the article I read about it says that everything was so much of this movie was so historically accurate they were really surprised that the flags were, were 50 state flags i mean All right, yeah so, so, so tell me they can't fix that in post with cj yeah now I'm where sure the heck, where the heck would you get a zillion uh you have to make them. out of date flags you mm -hmm. have to make them yeah when you're when you're making, could make when them. you're making a movie you tell them this is what i need and and the prop department makes it yeah yeah Hey, where 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 would you get a, a zillion stormtrooper outfits for Star Wars? Yeah. Oh, there, um, those are there's well, nerds out there that are just have those like in their closet. In, 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 in the, case, the, the first season of The Mandalorian, you you hot you hire a fan club that has their own stormtrooper outfit. I heard that. Yeah. Very good. Okay, Gail, that was really good. That was a lot of fun. That I'm glad good. you I can't, channeled your inner uh, Carl. Kyle, Carl, you channeled your inner Carl, and you did that very well. What would there's you think, a, Carl? How did she do? Video relevant uh, to question pretending one. she was you, Carl. Hmm. How did she do being you for the moment? How did what? She was you. How did she, she do? Did okay. Yeah, she did good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you just need a mustache. Well, she needs to. 
be viewed only in profile most of the and time. I go to, and I had a, yeah, go to well, well Carl, profile. she was asking the question, so she That's was true. facing the correct and it way. Wasn't the bonus round. So and, and she has to go into the rooms like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do our scores. So let's start with Mitch's glitch. Uh, nine. Coming to a theater near you, Frozen 3, starring Mitch McConnell. Eight. <laughs> YouTube streaming, it's a Rico night in Georgia. Eight. Hurricanes and wildfires and kidney stones, oh my! Six. The 14th Amendment is a wonderful thing. Eight. Well, strategically... Team two might get, win this because they went a point under, and that means they get the next person who shows up, probably. So, just saying. Good job. 7.8 there, Gail. That might have been a little too easy for us. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was going to be too hard. Never that, know. That was really well done. Okay, so. I like the clues, though, gave it some, you know. Yeah, figure outable. I mean, you didn't have to be a you know james bond yeah. fan so much if, to to do it okay so very good i, I give it two thumbs up <laughs> two thumbs up okay cisco <laughs> well that's that's really good it, you know i heard it also got that on cisco and ebert.com <laughs> <laughs> so we want to make sure that karen is oh drinking yep. so we gotta allow her to drink so we're gonna let her go next don't withhold my uh, hey, okay so i had this thing where i looked on um you know, on the Facebook page and I did a control search. I don't think we've done this before, but I have this almost every time I do a category where I think, okay, we've done this before. So if we've done this before, we'll just do it again. Cause I don't have a backup, but I remember talking about this, but I don't think we've done it. Now I'm just like, what could it possibly be? Okay. Famous Karens. I, I don't think we've done this before. It's called movie mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> all righty so here we go the category is the category is the phantom of the paradise and what is phantom of the paradise some of you will ask and then some of you on your team will know phantom of the paradise is a 1974 u.s american rock musical comedy horror film we've never done this yes Woohoo! Okay. Oh okay. dear. <laughs> okay. Um, I prefer people to not be muted, so I would like to um, hear whatever like you're saying. Raw. I will say, please don't ask questions unless you just didn't hear what I said, because you could be giving a clue to somebody else. What was that, Karen? I didn't hear what you said. No, <laughs> Karen, Karen, I didn't I said, hear that question. What I said, Vincent you? is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right. All right. Didn't hear the question, so just tell me the answer. Number one, the plot of Phantom of the Paradise adapts several classic works: the 16th century Faust legend, the 1890 Oscar Wilde novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and the 1910 Gaston Leroux, uh, Leroux novel. Blank. Fill in mm -hmm. the blank. What novel is that? Which is one of the three things upon which it is it draws okay uh number two per the internet movie database aka imdb the people and you're going to choose a, a letter here the people who worked on the film were nominated for you know various people uh, who worked on the film were nominated for a academy award for best music scoring original song score and or adaptation that's all one thing b Golden Globe for Best Original Score Motion Picture. C, Writers Guild of America Best Comedy, written directly for the screen. D, Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation. E, all of those. Or F, none of those. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes, you Which heard it right. Hard. You read it right. Or okay. any. Okay, so here we go. Three. Which of these are not opening lyrics to songs in the film? A, I was not myself last night, couldn't set things right with apologies or flowers. B, carburetors, man, that's what life is all about. 
<laughs> carburetors. <laughs> carburetors. Okay. C. B. A magical servant to make you whole. A promise kept if you gift your soul. D. Our love mm -hmm. is an old love, baby. It's older than all our years. I have seen in strange young eyes familiar tears. So there are four. Uh, which of those was not was not opening lyrics? All right. Uh, number, whoo, number four. Number four. How do I go back to the page now? There we go. Number four. This native of New Jersey has focused his creative efforts on making viscerally disturbing thrillers that were both stylish and violent, including Dressed to Kill in 1980, Scarface in 1983, and The Untouchables in 1987. Name this person who wrote and directed Phantom of the Paradise. That person, yes, that person did. Okay, for Canadians. Oh, I can't. Move, screen, move. I always get scared when you say, for Canadians. For Canadians. Okay. So this, No pressure. Oh, wait, wait. That's number six. Stop. Erase, erase. We, okay, we've only done four, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, beans. Right. Did, did, did I Four is the last one I see. Delete. Okay, so let me go back. Cut and paste. Just talking to yourself, you guys. Don't, just don't worry about it. Cut and paste. No, okay, no action five. needs to be made right at the moment. She's, she's uh, got it. Four. Oh, yes. Okay, here's number five, right after number four. All righty. Okay, number five. According to phantompedia.com, <laughs> okay, here are four choices. A, it was a nationwide hit. I left out A. It was a nationwide hit and broke box office records in its niche genre on the opening weekend. Or is it B? It opened in targeted markets, relied on word of mouth in lieu of traditional promotion, and was rolled out across the U.S. over a six-month period, which is, which has become a common strategy for lower-budget films not associated with the major distributor. C. Initially, it was a box office failure and was panned by some critics. Or D. New York Times deemed it an instant classic and predicted it would come, it would become an annual Halloween quote must see end quote for generations to come. Which one of those is a true statement according to Phantompedia? What's the word panned mean? Okay, your your group will know the answer. Okay. Okay. So what what are we up to now? Now you need to put in six. Six. Okay. Here's another person again. You know, just interesting trivia related to the film, but you'll be interested to know this. Number six. The person serving as the introductory narrator is uncredited. This was this was the last thing he recorded professionally before his death. You already have the year of the film. This Jewish American screenwriter, playwright, television producer, and narrator slash on-screen host was an outspoken anti-war activist, especially during the Vietnam War, and he advocated for racial equality. In an interview long after his death, his wife stated that he was often heard to have said that, quote, the ultimate obscenity is not caring, not doing something about what you feel, not feeling, just drawing back and drawing in, becoming narcissistic, end quote. Name this man. Okay, that was number six. Six, thank you very much. I will learn to count by the time this is done. Okay, let me take off an unnecessary open quotation mark. But well, don't forget that seven is the next one. <laughs> Just a while. Only, yes. only in Canada. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how to. There's an unnecessary quotation mark, and I don't know how to take it away. Okay, number seven. Which of these is not a song in the film? A. Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye by the Juicy Fruits. B. Faust by Winslow, C, Upholstery by the Beach Bums, D, Special to Me by Phoenix, E, The Phantom's Theme, Beauty and the Beast by The Phantom, F, Unmasked, Tempter and Jester by uh, Mephistopheles, G, Somebody Super Like You by The Undead. One of those is not a song. That means all the rest of them actually are people. 
I'm you got to watch this film, man. I, I wrote it down. I'm I'm okay. going to do that. Okay, so here we go. Number mm. eight. This U.S. American composer, singer, and actor wrote Three Dog Nights, an old-fashioned love song, Helen Reddy's You and Me Against the World, and The Carpenters' We've Only Just Begun, and co-wrote the Academy Award-nominated song The Rainbow Connection from the 1979 film The Muppet Movie. He stars in Phantom of the Paradise and wrote all of its songs. Name this artist. How have you lived without seeing this film? Okay. I, I know what the rainbow connection is. <laughs> Two more. Number nine. This film has become a cult classic. In 2005, oh, this is a Canadian one. In 2005 and 2006, a fan organized convention slash festival was held in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is in Canada, where the fan base took particularly strong root. What was that event called? A, Phantom Palooza. <laughs> B, Swanstock. C, where's the beef? Or D, the Winnipegger Faustival. <laughs> okay. And the final one, number 10. Uh, how do I go back? Number 10, number 10. Number 10. This future Academy Award winning actress was Phantom of the Paradise's set dresser assisting her then boyfriend now husband jack fisk the film's production designer she was 23 years of age at that time the actress would work with this film's director two years later on a project that proved to be a breakout success for them both name this person go to your rooms <laughs> wow as soon as i click this have fun Deborah, who keeps getting thrown out of her room because she's so rude to her, her internet provider. I'll put That's it fine. In. It must be it. I, I know it is because what else could it possibly be? Well, what it is is that all our devices decide to pick a different network all on their own without being told to. <laughs> and then it's, well, and it's, it's like AI like, has, has what its room own. room shall I put you in, Deborah? Oh, I, I can go to my room. I, would, I, oh, just, okay. I was finishing my sentence. Yeah, oh, she just I'm says sorry, AI is... Her her internet provider, her internet at her house is now AI. So good job, Karen. I've never heard of it, but I wrote it down. Yeah, good. <laughs> Not for my team, but yeah, it's, it's it, fun. I mean, but something new. Good. Oh, so that's going to be your favorite candy now. Yes. Uh, so, is it? Uh, can, Sarah just gave it to me. It's a milk chocolate uh, Harry Potter one. <laughs> so you should be eating that throughout the whole night. Yeah, really. I probably will. She should make sure she comes by. Calories, 240. I guess that's a lot. Or bite. So, Susan, I was just saying that two things. I have some guesses on some of these. And I specifically remember this movie and choosing not to see it. So I have not seen it, but I have some guesses on some of the answers. Well, that's that's a thousand times farther than I am. Because <laughs> I've never even heard of this. Oh, I think I, I definitely know the answer to number one. I know that author for sure. That's Phantom of the Opera. I'll write that down. I mean, I've already written that down. Okay. Phantom of the Opera. Okay. Yeah. Um, and number two, I don't know. Uh, I will tell you, I'm going to guess it's none of the above because this movie was, I, I am pretty sure this movie was a big failure. So yeah, none of the above. I'm going to guess. I mean, I, I'm, that's just that my sounds guess. good. All right. Number three. Uh, I think it's got it. Which one was not? I'm sure carburetors, man. That's what life is all about. Definitely is in there. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking the only reason I would think that that's in there is because that's just too crazy, you know? Um, well, yeah. it's also everything else is sort of life and love. Yeah, I think like D sounds like it fits the theme. Um, so uh, Alan, C have fits you seen the theme. This? The movie? No, never even heard the name. Which end should I start with? <laughs> I'll start with the point that worked. My... All right, yeah, go you ahead. Gotta, you got to eat it like this. <laughs> Try to get it all the way into your throat. So just all is one goal. <laughs> While we're filming it, of course. 
Yeah. I don't know which one do you want to put for number three. Okay, which well, of I'm, I'm leaning towards carburetors, but maybe that's too obvious. Um, magical servant to make you whole, a promise kept if your gift. You See, I think whole. C and D fit the theme. I was not myself. Okay. Well, so yeah. Can you think since you've seen the movie? The, the no, scene. I haven't seen the movie. She's okay. only heard of oh, it. you chose not to see it. That's right. I chose, but I know the story of Phantom of the Opera. I know the story of um, the Oscar Wilde. What's the Oscar Wilde uh, picture of Dorian Gray? I know the story of Faust. So I think C and D is the theme. Oh, is that the hand? It came, it spells, it spells, spells oh, and charms. So you can't eat it. the chocolate. You have I'll to have it. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No eating so, the chocolate. Well, uh, so Jane, you know more than we do. So Okay, so I was not myself last night. Couldn't set things right with apologies or flowers. Who were you? Who were you? E either boring. that or the carburetors. Uh, which, well, which The A doesn't rhyme or anything. Neither does B, but carburetors? Is it's 74? Was there cars in it? Well, wait, wait, wait. I have I have a logical, okay, I do have a, a logic behind this carburetor thing. Is that question number seven? So it, which of these is not a song in the film? And there is one called upholstery. So upholstery carburetors. Is there a is there like a maybe there was a car, car a whole car thing? Yeah. That's the okay. Only <laughs> well, let's put A then. I'm trying to be logical, and A just sounds just so bland. Okay, I th I have a guess for number four. Uh, I'm going to guess De Palma. Is that Brian? Never heard Brian? of him. Yeah. All right, I'm right writing down De Palma. I can, I, have you ever seen? Hi, Sarah. Movie? Hello. Have you ever seen Fan a Phantom of the Paradise? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're no help, Go away, Sarah. Go away. Come back <laughs> okay. later. Come back when you the category we have. We need some help on. And That's number five, you know. I wrote down. C. Wait, 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 wait. Does this have anything to do with meatloaf? With who? No, that I don't know if meatloaf was in it or not. But meatloaf was. You're probably thinking she of Paradise uh, Light. Rocky, um, you're probably thinking of Rocky Horror. Oh, but yeah. Paradise by the dashboard light. What was it called? Something at the Paradise by the dashboard light. Paradise. <laughs> I'm glad we're video. But the par this but called. this in this movie, I think the Paradise was a theater, like a movie theater. Oh. Like an old, I don't know. I didn't want I oh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the wording. That would make sense. Number five, my guess is I think it was a failure. Good. See, that's what I was thinking of too. Panned. Okay. So what does panned mean? Panned means that the critics uh, did not like it. Disliked it. Yeah. They slam They pan it. They slam it. Panned. He's never, he's never that heard phrase. that. That's a, no, that's a standard thing, uh, panning something that you didn't like. Never heard it before. Huh. Okay. So this narrator could have been... Let okay. me ask Mark if he's heard of this. Mark, have you ever heard of the movie called Phantom of the Paradise? Yeah. He's heard of it. Have you seen it? No. Oh. Um, what year was it again? The question's all about 74. This. Paul Williams. Paul Williams? Oh, Who's that? Oh, Paul yeah. Williams that's I wrote down Paul Williams for number eight. So did you ask Mark number eight? No, I just said, have you ever heard of this movie? And he says, yeah. So I wrote down Paul Williams for number eight. So I think that that's going to be correct then. Okay. But number six. The person serving narrator is uncredited. This Jewish American screenwriter. That's all of them. Yeah. Um, it's a Jewish question, so it's yours, Alan. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it was his last his last film before he died. He's Jewish screenwriter, playwright. Vincent producer. Price. What? Vincent Price. He's not Jewish. But could be. Well. <laughs> Okay, so somebody who died in 1974. I don't know if he wasn't. He could have been. Somebody who died in 1974. That's there's or right about then. But I don't know. I don't think he did any writing. I don't think he did any writing or producing right now. Yeah, he's got to be a screenwriter, a playwright, a producer. He has to have a really good, compelling voice. Rod Serling. Um. Who else is a really good narrator voice? Oh, let's see what he wrote. Oh, he was also an anti-war. Rod Serling was an anti-war. Was he Jewish? I think so. I think, you know what? I think it read he was. I don't know if that was his original name. Well, that's a good guess. He was very anti-war, racial equality. I, I'm putting it down because I, I don't know. He did. He Let's did write a lot of stuff, and he probably. But the only thing is, I'm not sure he wrote any plays either. Well, didn't he write some well, of the? Everything you, I don't know. He wrote, I don't know. Okay, well, which is not a song. Somebody super like you. I liked that one. I liked that title. Really, Mesopotamies. No, no, that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's the people who sang it. Okay. We I sort asked. of committed to the. We sort of committed to the upholstery one that we're going to keep. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I just put that in a mess with you guys. <laughs> This I is a category know. we really needed Karen on. <laughs> Karen, where, Karen, where are you? Um, okay, anybody leaning to anything? I'm just leaning to the awful one, G, because it's so... The Undead wrote a song called Somebody Super Like You. <laughs> I don't know. I liked that one, but I'll write it down. I don't know. I, I, I'm just... Everything else... Okay. Okay, I'll write it down. Eight is Pete who? Paul Williams. Was he that really skinny? Like no, he's kind of fat. He's short. He's got blonde, blonde hair that was like really cut. annoying kind of character he always played. Yeah, for. yeah. Mm, vaguely. He wrote everything back then. Remember mm -mm. all those sappy songs. But he was. You know what? Really he did write a lot. Like um, I think I could see him sing writing the Carpenter song. That's about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a film has become a cult classic. Well, I guess I'd have to. Convention Festival in Winnipeg. Fossicle. I don't know. What would you call it? Swan stock? That sounds... Where's the beef? Sounds stupid. Yeah, but you know, that used to be a really big saying back then. what would it have to do with the phantom of paradise that seems like it wouldn't know. fit but you know i can see phantom of palooza would would fit as a yeah but they didn't really have that let's see oh this didn't start till 2005 2006 and that was kind of a a big you know wording palooza so that might be that might be it the winnipeg or faustable sounds kind of nice but that's kind of smart too i think the phantom palooza if, if i was if i was designing a, <laughs> a conference a convention for a film called phantom of the paradise and i knew nothing about it i think phantom palooza would phantom palooza would fit okay i like swan stock only because the you know connotation with woodstock but i don't know what the swan Ooh, means Ooh, that's good woodstock fan stock Swans yeah, are. and you know, the fact that she threw that one in there and it wouldn't mean anything to us, maybe that's what it is. But also, I'm just wondering, 
could the swan have anything to do with someone who has something to do with the original movie which could go back to one of the earlier questions like who wrote it or something but paul williams wrote it yeah oh, and, and, or and then, brian de palma yeah and then i can't think of where what the swan would be was there a giant swan on the logo or something jane do you remember no I, let's say phantom palooza okay all right so number 10 so P set designer. Uh, so she was the Jackson. set dresser, and her boyfriend was the production designer. I don't know what a production designer is. Um, she was twenty three, and she was a set dresser. Wonder what that is. I mean, I wonder who that could be. Uh, oh, films director. Okay, so she worked with Paul Williams. So, no, Paul Williams wrote the score, the music. Okay, so who is who? Do we know who the film director is? The Palmer? we're guessing it's Brian De Palma. Okay. No, that he, yeah, that he was the, yeah, that he wrote it and okay, so produced it and produced it. So who was who was a breakout actress who starred in Scarface, The Untouchables, Dressed to Kill. No, that's not that's not what this is saying. It said she. It says she was the set dresser. She says she would have worked with a film dress director two years later on in a project that proved to be a breakout success for them both. Oh, she so, worked. Okay, so, so who, she's later in a film with the director. And okay. also right. won an academy. Remember, she won an Academy Award. Right, Susan Sarandon. She was in Rocky Horror. I don't think she ever got. She might have gotten an Academy Award. I don't remember whether she has or not. She. Karen, we needed you. <laughs> Alan goes. You know what this category needs is we need Karen here to answer these questions. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you. But you know what? I think you're going to be proud of us because Jane has heard of the movie. <laughs> Do you need more time? Yeah. We're, at, yeah. we're on 10. We're almost done. So you could you could almost get rid of us. We got two minutes. But okay. yeah, she's actually heard of it. I'm going to do close all rooms. It'll be two minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. Oh, sorry. That's my computer. That was Fiona. Fiona's Fiona. Fiona. Um, okay. So Scarface. The Untouchables. I didn't see any of those, and I don't know of any woman who was in them. I doubt it was Susan Sarandon. Uh, Scarface had, um, what's her name? Vanessa uh, Redgrave? No. British. It was... Um, Told me. Is it Sharon Stone? Was Sharon Stone in Scarface? She never won an Academy Award, I don't think. What about Tome? What's her name? Uh, Marissa Tome. I'm trying to remember because I read very recently about some an, an actress, I think, doing like sets or something like that, that, that initially. But I'm so, just I'm not... let me ask you a question, Seven. We didn't come up with a thing. We just gotta pick a letter out of the box. So let's do that quick. <laughs> What do you have, Jane? Do you have something written down for that? For which one? Seven. Oh, you wanted G, remember? Oh, Somebody okay. super like you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we did pick something random. <laughs> yeah. It, All right. Yeah. So back to 10. You know what? I wonder if it's <laughs> the Phantoms theme, Beauty and the Beast, for number seven. Oh, it, uh, we shouldn't go back. Let's just go forward because we don't know. So for number 10, yeah, let's just come up with an actress who would have been 23. She was a future Academy Award winner. Uh, I don't know who Jack Fisk, Fisk is. Yeah, eight seconds. Write something down. No pressure, Jane. Right. Down Whatever to you got. We, needed, we needed Karen so bad on our team. <laughs> Let's hope we were good guessers. Man, that was hard.
but Jane has heard of the film, so we did good. Okay. Oh, okay. I tried to put in clues that you that are like film. Yeah, they were figure outable. Film and celebrity stuff, even if you haven't seen the film. True. That right. Like true. classic literature. The first one is classic literature. The you know, and then the other is a television personality oh. that you all are gonna you all know. I know y'all know. And many of you know the director. I cited early work by the director, but this is uh I think you know, right. And, and well, if you did, built and if you good, built Karen. on it, you did you, good. I'm proud of you. Answers. I recognize them. Okay, Rob doesn't like it. When Rob doesn't like it, he wants to He's get... passing a kidney stone too. Okay. So, okay. He's trying so to... Mita, Aaron, you're you're, you're going just to grumpy. Yeah. Here's you number one. Find out last name. Yeah. Here's number one. Here's number one, which I thought would be easy. Phantom of the Opera. Ooh. And we All right, that. Carolyn. We got it. <laughs> figure <laughs> figure outable whether you've seen the movie or not. Right. And right. uh and what about number two? I mean, this is all over the place. Best drama, best comedy. What the heck? <laughs> all of them. All of them. Oh, oh, no. None of them. <laughs> it was nominated for all of those. Really? We put none of them. Yeah. And yeah, after, so did we. <laughs> after you see the film, you will be equally confused. <laughs> does, the, does the emperor have clothes or not? Okay, now for this, half of them were figure outable and half, I mean, were just kind of random. That's I why thought, we get a five. <laughs> I thought some people might know them, but uh, uh, what did I, what did I wrote? Oh, C, I made that up. I don't know what C was, but I made that up. A magical servant to make you whole, a promise kept if you're gift. <laughs> and I did that trying to throw people off because nice that kind of sure did. from Faust. And I thought yeah. if someone's familiar with Faust, they'll think that's real. And that I, was very we, good. That was we very thought good. It, and we thought it was B because carburetors were spelled wrong. And I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from this movie, I think that's probably a okay. Theme. If anybody, if anybody um guessed uh because the carburetors man is spelled wrong, uh you get a point because I retyped that. So that's my fault. But that oh. is one of the lines. We get a point. Is, man, that's we what get a life point. is all about. That's why we get uh, we'll, a take, point, we'll take the point then. All right. And we'll the beach, bums, the we'll beach bums do it because they're like a parody of the beach boys. You know, my woody car and all that stuff. Okay, number C. Number four, Brian De Palma, dudes. He oh, altered his it. carry class. That was his big breakout. You guys know Brian De Palma. And um, he did Carrie in 1976, an adaptation of Stephen King's first novel. And we have talked about that here. So um, and coming up, another question. So don't, so don't, don't, just when you hear, I don't know that movie, you know more than you think you know people's. Okay. So number five, number five was um, C. It was a failure initially and was panned. Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune gave the film two stars out of four, writing that what's up on the screen is childish. Richard Combs of the monthly film bulletin wrote, too broad in its effect, too bloated in style to cut very deeply as a parody. Um, it was, people didn't know what to make of it when it came out. I'm dying to see this now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I... I, I guess C because of uh, what, what was said in, in, in question 10. There you go. Thank you for paying attention, Jim. Okay, so number six, you all know who this dude is, Rod Serling. You have now learned more about him, that he's a Jewish American, oh, yeah. an anti-war activist. Yes, and there's a link to a one-minute intro on YouTube. It's uncredited, but there's one minute. Listen to it when we're done, and it's his beautiful voice doing the intro to the uh, film, which you must see this film. One of my heroes. Yes, there you go. Did you get it right? Yes, I did. Yep. Thank yep. you very much. Did you know Rod Serling was, a, was Jewish? Mm -mm. Yeah, yep. He was also a warrior. Okay. Now another one, I shouldn't have done this, but number seven, the fake one is Unmasked, Tempter and Jester with sung by uh, Mephistopheles. And I did that again. If someone's thinking, well, Faust is in there. I was trying to make up a name that was kind of Faustian. So but I made that up. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. But I did it. Okay. I think it's fun. Okay, now Aaron and others are gonna go oh, when I say this guy's name. You know him, you pictured this little guy, 
He's, <laughs> he's still alive. He's written so oh. many songs. Well, now he won't be now alive. Thanks, Karen. Karen. He just killed him. Paul Williams. Paul Williams. Paul Williams. Oh, oh, yeah. Paul Williams. I, I figured out Paul just before we got you out. But I couldn't re- you get couldn't it. You get it. remember the rest. No, no. You get it with Paul because I heard you describe him. If anybody put Mr. Williams or Paul or that little short blonde guy with the weird glasses, <laughs> you get a point. Well, thank so you. <laughs> well, the little generous. guy from Smoking well, the Man talking about John Denver. Okay. <laughs> oh. God, it's true. Okay. He so wasn't number, that little. Okay. This, it's, again, some of you reasoned this out. You didn't have to know it. But, you know, around that time, what was going on? Everything was a blah 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 palooza, palooza. right? Wow, it we was the out. Phantom Palooza. This we is their website. That. I included their website there, and here's a cracked article. If you like Mad Magazine and crack, there's an article by William uh, Kutenberg about the film's cult status, innovation, and influence on many other artists and art forms. So they proved the uh, uh, people wrong who did, they didn't get it at first. Now, anyway, but, but look right there, Phantom Palooza. Okay, Good there job, we go. Team. And then, and then the final one, again, if you go back to mm. when was this, okay, when was the film, who was the director, he had his breakout in 1976, and so did this actress. You put it together that the film was Carrie, and it was Sissy Spacek. Sissy Spacek. Oh, oh that makes sense now. And this is per Phantompedia, and there is the link to Phantompedia, which is all about Phantom of the Opera, and they have an entire page about Phantom of the Paradise in the Phantom of the Opera uh you know, uh, people, whatever you call it, that they love and like. All right, so here's one last thing. I'm going to give this to you. You may view Phantom of the Opera, uh, Phantom of the Paradise on Apple TV, Vudu, and Amazon Prime Video. You can purchase or view. And the soundtrack playlist is on YouTube. So there is the link to the music playlist. And I recommend that you watch Phantom of the Paradise. The end. That is really good. Thank you, Karen. Boy, talk about organized. Wow. I wonder if it's geo blocked. Do you know what geo blocked means? No. If you're in Canada. Yes, that's Scores. right. You that US, really good. U.S. people can't watch Canadian movies, and move, Canadian people can't watch U.S. movies. No, it's the Aaron. No. It's, no, they, it, they don't get it. They don't. No, get it has it. it has something to do Scores. with. Scores. Uh, visit one another. It's a good excuse to visit one another. Scores. Yeah. <laughs> Come to my house. You guys will watch it. Okay. Let's start with hurricanes and wildfires and kidney stones. Oh, my. Which is Karen's group. How do we do? Six. Not bad. All right. Everybody else has got eight. So let's go. The 14th Amendment is a wonderful thing. We also had six, amazingly. All right. None of us have ever even heard of it. (laughs) Uh, She wrote the questions well. YouTube started YouTube streaming. It's a Rico night in Georgia. Eight. <gasps> Somebody wow. seen it on your team, huh? Nope. Nope. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, coming to a theater near you, Frozen 3, starring Mitch McConnell. Thanks to broken carburetors, we got a six. Whoa. <laughs> and Mitch's glitch. Are you still in the lead? Thanks to carburetors, we got an eight. <gasps> wow. Karen, uh, look at that. Six despite feet, despite that's... nobody having seen the movie. Well done, Karen. Everybody. Karen, really the good. Were very good. Really good writing of those questions because coming out with a nearly a seven for something that has anybody seen this movie besides Karen? No, no. <laughs> now, the we're question is, has anybody heard of this? Movie? Movie. I've yeah. never heard. Yeah. Of okay, yeah. Heard okay, of hands up. Anybody it's... who's heard of the movie besides? I, I have heard of it. Two. 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 Yeah. Uh, Here comes <laughs> the name Let's sounds vaguely familiar. Ask him. He won't. You think? I'll ask. No way. Him. Put him on the okay, spot. Okay, no way he heard here. of it. Okay, here is Romero. Romero. Hi, Romero. Hey, so, we have a question to ask you. No pressure or anything. You ready? Have you, have you ever heard of a movie that was made in 1974 named Phantom of the Paradise? No. <laughs> so, just he's alive in 74. Okay. He definitely was. <laughs> Okay, so that's a okay. We just had a whole category on it, and 
people did actually pretty well because Karen wrote the questions so well that they were figuring the out questions. How. The questions kept it from becoming a lighthouse category. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly right. so. If the questions weren't that good, yeah. it would have been lighthouses. Okay, so let's do <laughs> Romero showed up just in time for the picture. Let's do our photo and then we have something else and then we're gonna go to break. Okay. So everybody get ready for your photo. You ready? <laughs> Pinterest chinks. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, let me scoop that up. Romero got here just in time to give me one person at the very bottom of the screen. Okay, you get your whole row. The whole row is to you, Romero. Hey, how many of you, when we get a picture taken, are looking at your face on the screen, and how many of you are actually looking at the camera? Camera. Thank you. Camera. I'm looking at the oh. face. It's yeah. kind of both. Because my picture, I'm different. way at the top. So if Bob's here, I look at the chicken. <laughs> my Everybody camera is right chicken. above my screen. It looks the same either way. I look right I in look the camera. You, Alan. I try to. Kevin, you silly. Okay, right so camera. we have we have an important thing we gotta do before That's we right. Break. Drink my beer. We have to we have to sing happy birthday to Rob. Did anybody else have a birthday? Isn't he in enough pain as it is? <laughs> I think we have to. That's it's kind of cool. no. He showed up. <laughs> Now, if my parents were still alive, it would be their 73rd an uh, wedding anniversary today. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. So everybody, give us your best. You know how this works because of Rob's frozen. He's got that. Why, why, why? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's got this Mitch McConnell look on his face. <laughs> 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 relax, relax, relax Rob. You don't have to do anything. No, yeah. no, no, no. I have, wait, I have something prepared. I have something better. My wife actually got me somebody who's flown into oh. space to sing happy birthday to me, and I can play it for you if you'd like. It's very interesting. Or can we sing along to it? Y yeah, He's you certainly can. He's trying to get out of listening to us. I, I am. So this is somebody who sings almost as well as all of you guys. <laughs> so, so, wow. so here we go. Here we go. Is it, is it Neil Armstrong? What? Buzz Aldrin. Is it Neil Armstrong? Everybody's got to sing to it. Oh, yeah, right. oh, is there a copyright? I've done a lot of things nah. in my career, but this takes the cake. This is so cool. You, Rob, today, it's all about you. You were born today. It's your birthday. It's exciting. It makes me want to celebrate. It makes me want to get up out of this chair. It makes me want to sing. It makes me want to dance. It makes you me want to make shout. shout. Kick my heels up. Shout. Throw my hands up. Shout. Toss my head back. Shout. No, really, people should be shouting your name in the street. Come on now. Sing, sing. that name. Sing that song. Rob, sing that Sing it alone. Oh, my God. I want to celebrate. Put it up in light. No one else deserves to be celebrated like you because you are the best. I want you to know. I want you to know. I said I want you to know. I want you to know right now. You make me want to shout. That's right. You make me want to shout because there really is no doubt. You know what I'm talking about because you make me want to shout. That was wonderful. Oh, oh my God. Who knew? Hey, Rob, you need to update Chrome. It's, <laughs> it's, it's almost as good as his version of MacArthur Park. <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you guys think? He didn't actually sing happy birthday to him. Happy no. birthday to, to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday No more kidney stones. You. Yeah. <laughs> it started out almost together. <laughs> yeah, almost. Much better. I think our version was better, don't you guys think? Oh, I don't know. Shatner has soul. I didn't ever know that. Was was better. Better. Our, our singing is better. Yesterday. His hair was better. Yeah, but you know <laughs> well, what? That's Shatner, who had to bring it up? He's got to be like 90, 
thousand now or something over nine thousand. <laughs> so somebody's just knocked them off, and we'll blame Rob next. It's, it's a it's a yeah, it's an AI generated Shatner. Yeah, very good. Well, happy birthday, Robert. Thank Too bad you. you had to spend happy a birthday. birthday. Mm. and pain wishing that you were not giving birth yeah the worst thing i was planning a trip into new york city a very rare thing for me still uh, to meet not only my niece and sister-in-law which we don't see frequently but paula serrano and her husband uh, were meet. Uh, that got canceled you could have gone i mean yeah, i yeah, mean no. alan said that famous yeah. uh conductor person famous person just passed the kidney and just was okay <laughs> Well, two years ago, Adrian did the same for me. She passed a kidney for you? No, 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 no. Did the, the we're not getting out. We so know there's an option. Yeah. You can pay somebody to do that? Wow. <laughs> I wish. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Five minutes, y'all. All right. Come back and we'll do, we'll do our... Okay. Anyway, anyway good night, y'all. Bye, 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 Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Keep in mind, we're still recording, so make it interesting. Oh, before I go, why, why yeah. did Carl, why did you say I have to need to update Carl? Oh, Carl's gone. I don't know why he said that. I don't did know. Jim was, leave? Was he like, playing or something? Is it only Carl and I on our, our team? Uh-oh. That means when he has a category... I'm supposed to figure it out myself. You get me. You get me, Janine. Remember, I am oh, Carl. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget. I'm as good as do Carl. We get, do we get Romero? <laughs> Maybe we get Romero. Not with a score of 17. You guys are in the lead. Romero yeah, goes, but there's Romero but goes to lost team two. the person. Uh, I don't know. All the scores are really close. No, you are way out there. You guys are in lead. Uh-uh. You're Carl, you're, you're Carl, you're dooming our team <laughs> by knowing too many answers. Wow. Wow, Lee. N nice llama. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just a poodle that wants a little attention. A lap llama. Actually, I should bring a llama in for one of these, which is just for fun. <laughs> You know, I think there's coyotes out there and they were barking like crazy. So I was just trying to get everybody to calm down. There were two squirrels in our backyard today. It just been, oh, fun. I shouldn't have said that word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I may have told Lee, I may have told you that just not too far from here, just around really a couple blocks away, there's a an alpaca farm. Mm. And uh um they they have two guard llamas. So they, you know, they, they use obviously they sell the 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 coat of the 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 alpacas, but the yeah. the um, the llamas are there for their nasty disposition and uh, you know to keep all the predators away. They well, some llamas have nasty dispositions, but mine don't. Well, it sounds like whatever their disposition is, they don't you, you don't want to mess yeah. around with them. Well. What it is, is they're very curious. And if something comes into the, their pasture that they're not familiar with, they'll go over to find out. And if you're a 35, 40 pound coyote and a 350, 400 pound animal comes towards you, you will hastily retreat because as a small predator, you can't afford to get injured. So, I mean, there some of the agricultural colleges have done studies and it's like sheep are like the world's worst mothers. If a coyote comes up, they just take off and leave the lambs to fend for themselves. Wow. And so they were getting about a 30 to 40% lamb loss in the spring. And they put a llama out there and the llama by default says, hey, I'm I'm the head of this herd, you know, because I'm bigger than all you little short guys. And so when the coyotes come up, the llama comes over and the coyotes will usually retreat. And a lot of shepherds went from a 30 or 40 percent lamb loss down to about a 3 percent. Wow. So it's uh, I get I get a couple of calls a month asking for guard llamas and I just don't have any left. Wow. Oh, come on. Llama, llama low. Yeah. Well. Okay.
No. <laughs> uh, okay. What? Obviously put together by an alpaca person. But we, <laughs> took me a little while. Reading, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> well, well, when I'm at a show and there's alpacas there, I just normally turn to them and I go, yeah, alpaca, the other white meat. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Actually, do do does anybody actually eat llamas? Not normally, simply because most of them you use for. Okay, come on, you need to get down. Ah. Most of them you're using for pack animals. In uh, South America, the indigenous people down there tell people it's like the difference between a sheep and a horse. You know, the llamas were used as pack animals. The Spanish conquistadores have tell stories of uh, like an Inca leading a pack train of, you know, 20 or 30 llamas down through the mountains. And, you know, they were basically the semi trucks of the Inca empire. That's how you got goods delivered. Where alpacas were a fiber and food animal. You kept them around for a few years for their fleece and then you ate them. You know, it's kind of like a, like a sheep. So alpacas are really sweet, but they're dumber than a box of rocks because there was no reason to try to breed for intelligence. Where a llama, you know, if you've got all your goods on the back of an animal, you want it to breed it for, you know, a good disposition because you don't want to watch all your goods go over a thousand foot cliff. So. Yeah, well, I don't trust any of those animals. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Well, I can I can play that game, too. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> uh, grown men playing with stuffed animals. On YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people uh people come to you know, when my, my when my wife was alive, she would collect every single llama thing you could find and we've got I don't know, three or four different China cabinets that are just full of all sorts of llama llama paraphernalia. Are we supposed to bring our animals? <laughs> I need right. to run cat mine. I think I'll get Bear. Bear would like to sit with me, actually. Good job, Carolyn. I'm figuring eventually my daughter is going to get a pet Highland Coo. Oh, oh, the cows? The Highland oh, Cow? Yeah, they're, they're yeah she's, she's into Highland Coos. Yes, oh, okay. I got dozens they're, of they're pictures beautiful, of them. They're beautiful, but boy, are yeah. they expensive. You, uh, that's, a, that's a much in demand. Okay, I need a favor. Help. I accidentally dropped my mouse talking about animals, and... Now I'm trying for some reason it shrunk to my the zoom picture and I can't figure out how to make it larger. See, I brought bear. How large do you usually have it? I have the full screen. You know, now it uh I, I don't know what I clicked on, but I've got it now just up in the corner. Oh, so you're still seeing like all the frames, but it's small in the corner. No, I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing four frames. Okay, um, I would suggest there's an option for view. It's it's also up in the upper right. Well, yeah, that's where I just went to. Uh, oh, wait a second. And that's a thing you're for you're back. Screen. Oh, yeah, that was it. I didn't I didn't scroll down. <laughs> I, it happened to me a couple of times too, and I'm like, "Oh no, what we happened? all have our animals." Oh, that's nice, Kevin. It's an army bear. Oh, oh, <laughs> mine's just bear. He's even named Bear. He has stories dinosaurs, about him. Do dinosaurs count? Yes. <laughs> yes, they were yes. once alive. All right. Yes. Get down. They count more than an army bear. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this one is Rory. 
Right. So we will rotate I animals. I some little plastic dinosaurs that were just perfect, and you like put them in front of lab equipment. Deborah's got a real good puppet. <laughs> yeah. well, we okay. have two oh, dogs. Look at the kitty. And we have two dogs. Oh, oh. And He's a... got another dog. That's I'm a cute sure. dog. I don't want to see your cock on the screen, Ellen. Get it off of there. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you said you exactly what you thought. Oh, yes. you <laughs> that to Bob. I said that to Bob once one night. Bob's petting his cock again. <laughs> I can't wait till this is uploaded to YouTube and I can uh, clip that that little audio. Community yeah. standards, people. I'm already fired here, and this is where Paula is. She sent us another picture of her view. Again? She had season tickets. She goes every other Thursday, so that's what she's seeing tonight. So that's Paula. She at least thought of us. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so everybody back. Yep. All right, so here we are, game 176. And we have, next week, we have a few people set up. So I'm not panicking yet. Not that I ever panic, but Bill, Peggy, and Rob so far. And then we need two more, one category and a bonus. But I think we'll have that, no problem. I can do a category if you need one. Okay. And then, um, so I just need a bonus. I want to start thinking about uh, PsyCon the week that we're gone, which most, you know, half is here. Oh, it, it's too. not going to go. We can let Bob and uh, Bob Ben run it. But that, when is that going to be? When is that? That's October 26, isn't it? 26 is the Thursday. So I want you guys, if you cannot go to PsyCon, please show up for trivia because it's going to be down to bare bones, I think. So it would be appreciative if you show up. It's a lot of fun still for for people to go there and they usually they usually uh uh we join in and wherever we are in the hotel how at the moment how many people on the screen will be at psycon that's a lot of us i Jane, can't raise on. my hand because i'm virtual and they didn't get and i think home. robin's going yeah 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 okay so that's more than half of us right here and there's you, you put a thing up about your flight but it didn't say what day you're going tuesday you're going Tuesday? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm leaving on Tuesday, and it turns out Carl's going to be there on Tuesday, right? Because you were getting there Tuesday, I decided to get there Tuesday. Oh, that's sweet. I think so. I'm going down Wednesday. My, my reservation's for Wednesday, but I tried to do my plane reservation the same time I did my um, hotel, and the website just kept not working. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm, whatever airline it was, oh, we're, we're not working mm -hmm. right now well we're going to go out of south we're using southwest out of san jose so, so okay, you're not going to fly out of monterey what days are psycon it's going to it's be a, you see my backdrop it's in my upper left of my backdrop. Through mm -hmm. sunday yeah but it's too small to read so it actually starts on thursday but people that's the, the 26th happy. the 26th yeah, but we're going to be there yeah. several of us are going to be there on the 24th Fourth, I I mean I that's a Tuesday. I would probably go on. And you should always third. stay overnight Sunday and leave on Monday. Yeah, and you always oh, try yeah. to Absolutely. leave till Monday because you know that's just the way. Jane, it is. are you going? Because Adrian may be talking on Sunday. I am probably going. She may you gotta be. go see Adrian. Yeah, I'm not talking. This is the first time I've never talked, but I'm still going to be around a lot. You'll see. You'll her hear her anyway. <laughs> you hear me everywhere. <laughs> So um, some of the things I want to mention. Understatement, Deborah. <laughs> yeah. So Rob, speaking of PsyCon, Rob has done two really good interviews. One of them is definitely about PsyCon. I'm going to put the link to it here. This is an interview with Stuart Weiss, who was the editor of. I just put it in. Oh, I was just looking for my my chat. He was going to the... be a mine. <laughs> he was the intern uh, editor for Skeptical Inquirer. Stuart Vice has wonderful things to say about the GSOW project and the facilitated communication project, which I'm also a part of. It was a very kind things and it made me remember about how much work the GSOW project has done and some of the amazing things we've done to to out, just absolutely take over. Uh, anything facilitated communication related on on Wikipedia and it's that was a fun nice interview the, the, I have one in the in submitted it might be out any day and it might have been the most fun I ever did because it was with a certain comedian uh, Leon Lord and we oh, talked Star, oh, Star yeah, Trek about right. half of the time 
And so he also did another video that I don't know if we talked about last week, but I would put it in here. It's Richard Saunders. And that yeah, was a lot of fun too. He talked about UFOs and that's not Psycon related, but it's um because Richard's never been to a Psycon or not recently. He, he yeah. might have years ago, but not. Yeah, I met him. I met him at Psycon, but it was 27. Who brought the musk lifesavers? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Who brought up. those? Oh, was up. that Richard? Yes. Yeah, I do have some still, and they're. It wasn't that many. They're, they're years starting to get a little better because they're on, on like year three or something, so they probably taste better that's, now. That's why he's never age. been back. He was banned. They age. <laughs> Mustics. So, Adrian, speaking of Skeptic Zone, do you have anything that might be happening on Skeptic Zone this week? Yeah, I know. I'm interviewing Kat McLeod from. Oh, no. Edmonton, she did some research for me about mouth taping because I started getting these emails for hostage tape. <laughs> <laughs> what, does, what goes into your mind when you hear hostage tape? And Not nothing pleasant. No. no, exactly. So I had to look into it without clicking on the links, of course. And uh yeah, so it read, went I went down a rabbit hole and she went down an even bigger rabbit hole and so we're you can you can learn all about hostage tape and mouth tape. <laughs> it's just it's bizarre with athletes and yeah, like Wimbledon athletes. Okay. Yeah, oh, find out about it. Cat was wonderful. She was extremely enthusiastic, but she needs to get a new mic. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm sure richard will send her a list i'm sure she will but she was very um articulate so it's not a huge deal it just yeah just uh as long as she's articulate he, he said it was fine and speaking of cat mm -hmm. that um um this is a little known fact out there that skeptical inquire online and in print likes to we're trying one of my sub goals is to try to help people write articles to be published in skeptical inquire or skeptical choir online um and it is the online ones are easier to get in print because mm -hmm. they're quicker you don't have to have you know you have, don't have to wait have a space problem like almost a year <laughs> yeah so there well there was reasons for yours being ah uh, yeah yeah but, there were some um, good reasons yeah yeah so the so if you are ever interested in writing a paper for, for either of those two, um, please be in touch. Um, Rob or Adrian or I, we've all done many of them. And so <laughs> Kat's uh, been talked into doing one. And yeah, I talked to her into the story. It. It's amazing. Oh. Her story's unbelievable. It'll be in print. So it'll be. No, I don't want to spill it. So, no, but it is phenomenal. And I was, Adrian was uh, zooming with me and she told me the story. And my expression for a good part of it was like this. <laughs> yeah and yes and i wasn't frozen that was how i was i was like what yeah this woman has gone uh, through uh, no what you're gonna hear a little bit of some of her health struggles in this upcoming mouth taping thing uh but yes. they're you know but there's no find out why taken. Yeah, the hostage tape stuff. Nobody's taking oh, the hostage. and she was so hilarious rob you know how i giggle oh my god do you <laughs> 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 i there was so much laughing she is hilarious she just and some of the stuff i had to cut because otherwise the skeptic zone would get <laughs> x rating <laughs> oh it was quite something is this going to be for like you know special a special version for the patreon yeah yeah we should do oh, that yeah, that's good the out and the after thing so it's so cat mcleod cat yeah, so if you guys mm -hmm. do ever want to write an article um, Jane, I thought was supposed to have one out already. I think Kenny assigned <laughs> it to her and she didn't get it done by Friday. Like she's supposed to Now I think I'm going to have to write it. Thanks, Jane. Uh -oh. but, um, <laughs> you know, it's possible to write these things, run them past one of us and we'll, we'll guide you on how to do it. And, um, yeah, why I not? It. it's not that you're going to get any money out of it. It's, no. but it's, it's fun. And we really want to get more of a diversity and, and, and some interesting topics and stuff. Uh, I was interviewed for a podcast in, and the, one of the hosts of the show was from South Africa and she's told me a story and I said, write that up. And she had it written up within 24 hours and she's, and it was published. It's on South African, like a, like a witch doctor kind of thing. It's she really good. 
no, it's good. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. Really interesting. So that, so yeah. you know, we all have different kinds of experiences in our life and you yeah, know, if you end up on a cruise with a bunch of people believing in something you've never heard of. Yeah. Yeah. So right let's, article. let's get these stories out mm. there. So um, <laughs> I wanted to talk to uh, Carolyn next. Carolyn, you're going to be pretty much hosting something that's coming up really quick that Deborah and I went to, and Carolyn obviously had gone to last year. It was a lot of fun, believe it or not. It was hot, but it was it fun. Was <laughs> a little bit of a drive, but what, what's going on, Carolyn? What are you, what are you hosting this year? So I'm not hosting anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. You didn't it's know Cal- that, did you? It's a California Free Thought Day. Um, David Diskin is the chair. And um, it's, you know, d- different venues or vendors rather um, celebrating, you know, secularism and stuff. But last year we had a booth um, for skeptics. So this time I reserved a booth for and i'm just calling it northern norcal skeptics hopefully there's not an official group called that because that's what i signed us up for and um so if anybody is in the area it's on october 8th it's in sacramento at the capitol and i'll need help yeah she'll need help (laughs) at the capitol grounds if if you do have materials if you can't come up if you want to email me or um, give me send me a message, I can you know just print out a flyer or something to represent your group. I would be happy to do that. You know, I'll have something made up for the about time project and stuff just to get the information available to. Right. Could, could you could you put something out for recovering from religion? I probably could. Yeah. They probably have their own booth, don't you think? They might. Yeah. the The atheist group, the Stockton. You should probably yeah. ask Rob. Yeah, I will. Yeah. yeah. So, and then the other thing I was going to say really briefly, and uh, Lee just asked me about um, my group, the Stockton Area Atheists and Other Free Thinkers. I am facilitating our very first rational roundtable next Wednesday. Cool. So, I'm trying to get skeptics in the area to meet every we'll meet every other month just to have an informal chat about skeptical topics like our favorite podcasts books articles whatever's going on in the community that type of thing is this in person it'll be in person the first one is uh going to be in lodi uh next wednesday i've so. been there and i didn't get stuck i've been there I, and we did get stuck it's a, it's a very nice place. Eight years old. So I've been stuck okay. for a while. So, <laughs> well, you were stuck, left, and came <laughs> yes. back. So, that's good. Oh, that's wonderful, Carolyn. I didn't know that. Did you mm-hmm. have you um met with uh, Eric Schaefer at CFI because he can help promote it and he can get it on um, in the newsletter? So, write this down. It's info at center for inquiry dot org. Mm-hmm. and and that will go to eric and just let him know that you, you know who you are tell him you know me drop my name that's fine mm-hmm. and uh but don't pick it up no drop my name and they have a newsletter and there's some stuff and he's got some things he could do with it and they can get it on the morning heresy the the yeah, newsletter that goes down. Saying, yeah. yeah so so get, let's get some publicity on it too and I've been working with three, four other groups and um, skeptic groups. So if you, for brand new groups that are just starting out, so if that's something that interests you, you could meet with us. We meet probably once a month on Zoom and we talk about how to get, what are we doing? You know, I mean, I could probably put you in that group because you're just starting out and you're, I mean, we talked about like, how do you get swag? Where do you go to get this and, and different things? So. Well, um, okay, so I'll, I'm going to write that down. So, um, Kyle, I hear you have a podcast, but you know, I want you to know, I want you to know, you did something to do with cuttlefish. Yeah, now, yeah. Um, I, I believe it or not, I've actually filmed some cuttlefish at the aquarium. And oh, I, yeah. This video of them, and I put them up on Wikimedia. So, if you ever go, I know you guys are just probably dying to go there. The Wikipedia page for cuttlefish. You'll see a nice little video of them swimming around. It that's my video. But, All right, I could look so I didn't that know anything about media. cuttlefish, but you know. Anyway, so you have a podcast. You give the birds to chew on, right? <laughs> that's always an option. 
Yeah, the podcast is Data Skeptic, and uh, this week we explore our recent theme about AI and large language models by asking questions about whether or not they apply to music. So historically, as most musicians will tell you, computer-generated compositions were obviously computer-generated, and uh, as may also come as no surprise with recent breakthroughs, new computer-generated music sounds awfully like human-generated music. So we discuss the ins and outs of that and how you build these sorts of systems this week on Data Skeptic. Oh, very good. I don't see my video, or if, I, if it's out there, I don't remember what it looked like. Very good. Cuttlefish. Where's my video? <laughs> That's I what I was about a, to ask. I might have a, I might actually have it on a page that is a name of a cuttlefish. You know what I mean? It might mm -hmm. be like a specific type of cuttlefish. I don't remember. It's been a couple of years. Who knows? Don't look, you guys, because my video is not there. <laughs> it might be somewhere. there's there's one video here of a cuttlefish. I don't know if it's I don't yours. I think it's though. mine. No, I'll look and I'll I'll put it. I'll talk about it later. So excellent. Thank you so much. Um, anything else going on that we should know about? Um, I don't have anything coming up. I'm going to be in Dallas pretty soon. Nobody in Dallas here. <clears throat> okay. We ready to start back? Anything else I should know? I've forgotten. I'm I'm so <coughs> about not having a cuttlefish on video on there when it was supposed to be. You know the answer to who shot JR then? Dallas. <laughs> I was like, where is this going with cuttlefish? There's Kevin. I oh cuttlefish. Kevin. I was gonna ask you. I was actually... still stuck on the cuttlefish. Um hold you on. You guys ready? I just made you, I just gave you your powers. All right. It's a mystery category. No. Oh boy. Fill in the blanks this time with words, not letters. I don't, I put one lat dash means one word, not. Oh, you, we caught on to your little game, huh? Because everybody always knows I do it the other way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, the blank, 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 blank. Act was a U.S. federal law aimed at improving public primary and secondary schools and student performance through increased accountability for schools, school districts, and states. The law was in effect from 2002 to 2015. Question number two. Lloyd Bernard Free is a retired American professional basketball player who played in the National Basketball Association from 75 to 88. He was known as the Prince of Midair, the Brownsville Bomber. On December 8th, 1981, a day before his 20th, 8th birthday, he legally changed his first name to blank. Number three, fill in the blank from the movie Field of Dreams. Hey, Dad, want to have a blank? Question number four. Name this t 1980 TV sitcom whose characters included wealthy playboy Edward Stratton III and his son, Ricky Stratton. Two words, blank, blank. Question number five. According to Chris Rock, there are people so rich they own the color blank. Fill in that number, that name. Wow. Number six, there are 16 balls on the table at the start of a game of eight ball. How many balls are on the table at the start of the game of nine ball? One word answer. Okay, number seven could have been a, uh, could have been a bonus category. I almost saved it, but it's not a bonus category now. According to Uber's latest lost and found report, in the U.S., the top five items most frequently left behind in Ubers are, and I list one through five, and I leave a blank at number four, and then I give you multiple choice. What is number four? Choose from the following. And those are actually six through ten with number four in there as well. So which one is number four? Number eight coming at you. 
Where is the South Pole Aitken Basin? Two words. Number nine. This American television sitcom that aired for six seasons on CBS from February 74 to August 79 is a spinoff of Maud, which in itself is a spinoff of All in the Family, arguably making Blank Blank the first television spinoff from another spinoff. Number 10. Who am I describing? Born December 7th, 1942, this American singer, songwriter, philanthropist, and hunger activist is best known for his rock folk and pop rock songs. He achieved worldwide success in the 70s. A Grammy award-winning artist and Grammy Hall of Fame inductee, he has sold over 16 million records worldwide. Hint, his name is not Billy Joel. Oh. <laughs> 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 Go to your rooms. That's hilarious. We know you know more people than Billy Joel. I had to put that in there. Are we sure? Well, he said so, so I don't think it is. All right, Romero, you are on team two, I think is what you're on. Let me see. Okay. Um. Yes. That's where you're going to, too. All right. Sounds good. One, three. And there she is. Bye. I know number one, I think, is No Child Left Behind. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, I think you're right. Yep. I, I think you're right. Yeah. Um, I said that's oh, pretty that good. Be? And it wasn't there a movie called Left Behind? Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there because it's a mystery category. So oh. okay. Basketball player, Prince of Midair. Well, his last name is Free, so it must be something like Air Free or. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought at first, too. Almost uh, Free or. Be, be Free. <laughs> be Free. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called something like that. Okay. Oh, like from the movie Filled with Dreams. Hey, Dad, want to have a, a catch? That's what okay. first came to my mind. The catch. Is number four silver spoons? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. What's the name of the show, huh? Silver spoons. I, I. That sort of sounds right. Yeah. Pretty sure the kid on there was Ricky. And Chris Rock. Purple. Mod. I guess this will give away the mystery category if you know the real color. Okay, number six is obviously 10. <coughs> I love to play nine ball. So you get nine balls and then the cue ball. So that's 10. Oh. Yeah, so it'd be 10. Well, yeah. glad you know I was that. drawing. Yeah. I was drawing the little diamond shaped holder thingy and then drawing little circles inside of it, going trying oh, to figure out how ball. many of it. Would be. Absolutely one of my favorite <clears throat> in the entire world. Yeah, it's a good one. I like it better than eight ball. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Huge strategies involved. Okay, so 
Wow. I'd like it better if I was any good at it, but it's still fun. <laughs> okay. Corded Uber's latest, lost some time in the U.S. The top five items most frequently left behind a phone, camera, wallet. Numbers was to choose from these. I, I think it's clothing, but. I was leaning towards clothing or headphones because kids today always have headphones. Have headphones, yeah. Where do you see yeah, clothing? I don't see clothing on this list. It's the first. It's the first. First step thing. Oh, it's just on a different line for me. Okay. You know, like you take your sweater off or you're holding your sweater because yeah. it's and they throw it in the in the seat and then you don't you don't get it. I the other things clothing. you'd be likely to have either on you or you know in your ears. Yeah, in your yeah. Pocket. I, ID would be in your wallet most likely. Yeah. yeah. He's, and I don't know. I don't know anybody. And the keys, I can't see you getting too far without your keys, because if you're well, being besides, dropped, if you're being dropped off at your house. Yeah, I, I mean, otherwise you're going out. Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. I could see, I could see sunglasses. They're not some just regular glasses. glasses. They stay in your head. I think it's clothing. Yeah. Clothing, like you said, it's a jacket or a sweater. Or yeah. It could be a vape shoes. thing though, too, because you'd have to <laughs> stop when you got in the car, maybe. But I think I think it's clothing. Yeah. The South Pole it can base I don't know this answer. Okay, clothing. South Pole. Where is the South Pole? It's in the South Pole. <laughs> <laughs> like, do we have to be more specific than that? <laughs> I mean, how do you how do you geographize the South oh. Pole anyway? Like, oh, it's you know, twenty five miles southeast of a iceberg. I mean, <laughs> are okay, so there? Question nine. Are there land quote mm -hmm. landmarks there? Is it okay? Question nine. Is it Mary Tyler Moore? No, no, it's only two words. That Six, girl. That, Could it be that girl? What was it? Spinoff okay, of Maud. I remember this. Um, which itself was a spinoff of All in the Family. I didn't realize Maud was a spinoff. No, of I that didn't makes know that sense, either. Though. Making the first telling story for the spinoff of a spinoff, huh? That girl, uh, who isn't that girl? Was that Shelly? Uh, I mean, uh, no, Allie it was Dan, what's it now? Thomas. Marlo Thomas? Mm -hmm. I can't remember what that girl was about. Because Maud was her best friend, right? Isn't that how it worked? And that's why Maud got her own show. They were like, uh, in a, that's why I thought it was Mary Tyler Moore. That was Phyllis. Mary Tyler Moore. I, had Phyllis as her best friend, and Phyllis, I think, got her show. Right. So, Maud. And I always get that girl and Mary Tyler Moore mixed up. Okay. <laughs> Attic, Attic and Basin, can we go back one? Yeah. You can. Because <laughs> I just remember reading, you know, with the Indian uh, landing at the South Pole of the Moon. Uh huh. That's where it is. It's on the moon. Oh, it's on the moon. Oh, uh -huh. oh it's a trick oh, question. Tricky. God, that's ringing a bell, and I just yell. Yeah. Okay, so is this I'm mystery just going to... "Dark Side of the Moon"? The song by Pink Floyd. Oh, maybe. That's hmm? okay. I don't know why, but that's where I'm getting the vibe I'm getting right now. But I might be okay. just ignore me for the moment. Right. Um. Well, number nine, is that the Golden Girls? Because didn't that spin off from Maud? But it's not like two words, right? Golden Girls? No, I don't remember that from Maud. Maud, can you, re can you remind me what Maud was about? Because it's the 70s, right? Yeah, Maud <laughs> was the, like, cousin of that was real liberal and used to just make him crazy and make they, who crazy and then she had her own show for a season or two and then i she think tall that's off and the golden girls she had like a real deadpan kind of delivery and she's tall who did and... she make crazy some guy was it the same lady as dorothy from golden girls no, um, no i've never yeah. heard of no she had a show before Four Golden Girls, too. You know, Maude yeah. had like short, yeah. fluffy brown hair or maybe gray hair. And did, she where was did she kind live? of, um, I don't know. It was it an apartment? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. I'm blending her with Phyllis. I know I am. Yeah, but it was, okay, wasn't it B. Arthur? Yeah. As Maude. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, sounds yeah, familiar. Yeah, that's the story from the Golden Girls. That's how I was saying. And she okay. had a show after between that and um, the Golden Girls, but I don't know what it was called. But okay, it's a spinoff of Maud, which is itself a spinoff of All in the Family. All in the Family, arguably Maude. making. Then maybe it's arguably making Golden Girls the first television how about the spinoff Jeffersons? from another spinoff. The Jeffersons was the spinoff of uh, All in the Family, wasn't it? Moving on up. Oh, Moving I up. think you're right. Yes, it yeah, was. Dry cleaning business, and it was yeah. near. Um, yeah. So, so you think it's you think it's the Jeffersons? Well, that's two words, and it's yeah. right after All in the Family. But I, it doesn't make any sense to my mind. I don't know who how B. Arthur would be in. But see, this is a spinoff of uh, Mod. A spinoff of a spinoff, yeah. But it was six it seasons. That sounds about so, right. So if Mod, if Mod is a spinoff of All in the Family, and this is a spinoff of Mod, right? So maybe it is Golden Girls then. That's yeah, what that's, I'm thinking. Okay, wait. Yeah. There are six seasons. It's a spinoff of Mod, which itself is a spinoff of All in the Family. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm going the wrong direction. Right. So it's and All the Golden the Family, Girls was on for many, Maude, many years, which. You know, six this. seasons sounds about right. Okay. Samson is singer, known. songwriter, philanthropist, hunger activist, best known for his folk rock and pop rock songs. It's in the seventies. God, I should know this. Maybe Hall of Fame and Becky sold over sixteen million records worldwide. Same birthday as my son and my half sister too. Oh, really? Pearl Harbor Day? This is your question. Pearl Harbor Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. My, right, my half-sister was always mad. With this, with this. Oh, we only have a few. Silver Spoons. That reminds me of a Beatles song. You know, Kevin's always... Oh, Silver Hammer. Songs. Silver Hammer. <laughs> or, or what was the one where... Well, Golden Girls and Silver. She comes in through the window... Oh, came in from the bathroom window? Yeah, she came in through the bathroom window. Didn't it have something to do with a spoon? And, um... No. And that was... Ten. Oh, ten. Could be uh, Bo Derek and Dustin Hoffman. Could these have something to do with Dustin Hoffman? Uh, he's not a, not he's not a rock singer. No, 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 no. The theme. Oh, Bo Derek or Dustin Hoffman. I mean, why would the number 10 just be catch 22? If he was born in 42, he's, yeah. I'm talking about the theme. Well, we ought to get an answer for number 10. Well, if you so, have the theme, it'll make it easier. Well. Just, you guys think about that question. I'm thinking about the theme, so. <laughs> I'm just there, right? Because I like the mystery. All right, so, hunger activist. Um, oh, rock, pop rock songs. Susan, what about that song that talks about Little Boy Blue and the Man in the Moon? Oh, um, Harry Chapin? Oh, the spoon. Yeah, so there would be a cow. Hey, diddle diddle. No, no. Cat um, in the film. No, no, it's the, it's the Harry the Chapin. With the silver spoon, little, little boy, boy blue, blue and the man in the moon. When you come in home, son, I don't know I when, don't know but when. we'll be together then. Could That's it... a Harry Ch Harry Chapin oh, song. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, what is the song again? It's um, the cats in the cradle or something. Cats in the cradle. I think it. Cats, cats in the cradle. Yeah. Cats I don't in the know. Cradle in the Just because spoon, we have the moon, the little boy spoon. blue and the man in the moon. I don't know when you're coming home again. Did it... Yeah, you've got it, Brandy. Okay, so child it's the word child is in in silver spoons 10 oh i forgot well 10. i suppose it could be harry chapin number 10 uh-huh why that was his song that was his song that was his song yeah that's the name of the guy that did that song He's not alive anymore, but the yeah. age is about right. Yeah, I was going to say the okay, age so would be right. Do the song again. All right, let's go with Harry someone, Chapin. Some I don't, of the no, lyrics will be in there. Hey, how does it go so again? Um, 
The cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon, okay. little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you coming home, dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together. Okay, so the color is blue. Remember, there's there's one on here. There's so rich the on the color blue. Um, is that cradle? Could the cradle be in here somewhere? Oh, well, how about number seven where there's those things left? Cats in the cradle and the silver oh. spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you coming home, Dad? I don't know when. We'll get together then. I know we'll have a good time then. Um, you know, um, I, the other thing that's in here, you know, one of the one of the clues in here, or one of the things in here, is keys. There's keys in that song. Uh, like, yeah. um, remember where he wants the car? Yeah. Oh, hey, Dad, throw me the keys, or yeah. uh, can I borrow the keys? We'll get can together I, then, buy... Dad. You know, he says, um, can I, something about the keys, can I have them, please? Yeah, can I have them keys? Um, so maybe we, maybe it's not clothing, maybe it's keys. It's keys, yeah, it's keys. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, it's in the cradle of the silver. Number seven. Little keys. boy, okay. little man on the moon. Okay, could he have changed his name to Little? Little Free? <laughs> or Boy Free? Oh. Cradle Free? Cat, cat free. Okay. All right. So we need nine and two, right? That's the only ones we're missing. Nine. Oh, we said Golden Girls for nine. Okay. Is there? Is that in the song anywhere? I don't think so. Um... I'm just remembering the chorus. Grew old together. Well, there's one where it says he came from college just the other day so much like a man i just had to say son i'm proud of you can you sit for a while he said i'd love to dad and he said with a smile um what i really like dad is to borrow oh. the car keys see you later can i have them please <clears throat> that's one of the verses that's excellent Deborah. wow i'm impressed yeah uh, Oh, we, we have this playing i would remember it but but that was good i know i know i can hear it and i i can't remember i still have this cd because it was my ex-husband's really one of his favorite ones and he may have taken it but <laughs> okay so um, nothing in there you said bad. something that had anything to do with a sitcom i don't think no can you think of another um, lyrics of and then the other one was um uh something about the when the son wants to talk and this or no he wants to talk to the son and he goes my new job is a hassle and the kids have the flu, but it's sure nice talking to you. Dad. Sure. Um, been sure nice talking to you, dad. Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah. The kids have the flu. Hmm. There was just really three lines. First, it was the dad was saying that he doesn't have time. Mm-hmm. And then well, it the starts off when team. about him, the kid being born, right? Or am I getting it mixed up? Yeah, he. Uh, yep, you're right. It's um. And the dad came says, to the world. Came in the world in the usual way. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Deborah. Um, trying to think of how the first part goes. Um, my son. I think it was my son was born just the other day. Came into the world in the usual way. Um, and I don't remember what the next words are, but. It's, you know, something about, the, you know, how the time passed really fast or something, but I don't remember. Yeah, that. which might be where the number 10 comes in, because I feel like mm -hmm. 10 years passed or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and it, there was a thing about throwing the ball and catching it, too. Yeah. Um, I remember that, yeah. And, and he says, yeah, it's like he'll, he wants, yeah, I'll do it some other time or something. I can't remember how the verse went, but yeah, he had a, he had a we'll new ball a or something then. wonderful. Yeah, we'll have you know, we'll have a good time then. Um, 
There wasn't any uh, sitcom called mm -hmm. Good Times or anything like that, was yes, there? Yes, there was. There was. There was a Good Times. Oh, could it be Good Time? Good Times? I think that was a spinoff, but I don't. Good. To what? <laughs> I don't think I ever. I Where think everything I ever... was a spinoff, it seems like back then. But Good Times, because <laughs> I don't think we have the, I mean, that fits. Well, that was a show. Was it? Okay. Well, in I didn't, a way that makes I'm... sense because they could have spun off of um oh god, what's it moving on up? You saw that was the, oh, Jeffersons. the Jeffersons. Yeah, the Jeffersons. Was the Jeffersons. Did Good Times yeah. spin off the Jeffersons? Maybe. Because that yeah. would have been about that well, same time. Jefferson's too. nowhere in the song, right? Right. Yeah, know. but but good times. We'll have a good time then, Dad. You know we'll have a good time then. Yeah. Has everybody figured it out, Kevin? Uh, two teams do not have the theme. One team has a pretty good score. <laughs> but they're not sure on two of them. Uh, Brandy Brandy some came people, up with it. I had some wild ideas off. and Brandy hit on it. And then Deborah seems to have the song memorized. So that's great. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to watch the, the aha moment on it's, your video okay yeah I did, I started, <laughs> it kind of was a slow aha it was yeah, that's what happened that's what oh i love the most it was like a, not really connected too much and then if you get them right they start to make connections then you get them all right or you get a, a lot well, of number right. two we're still stuck on um yeah because there's so many words yeah i think on. only one person got that retired American. you have to know basketball to know the guy's name so we can just pick a maybe his name is cradle Cradle, it, cradle it, three. It, uh, it is it is a word in in the song. Okay. <laughs> cat? In, in, How about in, cat in the very first few lines. Don't say anything because that's giving too much. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon. Yeah, but that's not the first one. Hey, that, don't that's tell the, us that's it, just Kevin. the chorus. Don't tell that's us just the chorus, <laughs> though. Don't help. We're being recorded. Doesn't it talk about him flying on a plane somewhere? Like when his son was born, he had to fly away. I think he was gone, but I don't remember. I don't remember if it was a plane, but um, could have been. I was thinking because this guy is talking about being prince of midair, maybe something to do with flying. Uh huh. Uh huh. Jump, fly. Yeah. A fly? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. fly was a pretty big uh, slang term back then. Yeah. Like a positive fly slang free term. Would be, well, I'm fine. Well, I say fly. fly I mean, it's, it's, else. it's a it's a word. Right. Yeah. It might be. Fly. Playing. number five can you remember the first the first thing again hey, the Ever? the uh the uh the the one on that we put catch is is can you teach me to throw a knot today um and then he said and that's okay so so we well, read the answer to that throw, not a catch do you want me to read the answers we have so far that we have yeah, I haven't read yeah but Good. Deborah are you saying number three is throw? Not well, I'm just trying to say in the song, um, there's he says, "Can you teach me to throw, um, Dad?" And he says, "And not today." And something, something. He goes, "Well, that's okay." And as he let's see, he turned. Let's say he because he 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 walked away or something, and he oh, shoot. What does it? What did he say? Um, but I think the word is catch we're looking for in number three, right? Because isn't yeah. well, that's hey, what Dad, I have written have down. Throw, or is it, hey, Dad, do you want to have a catch? What do you guys think? I I think catch. It's that okay. Well, in the song, better. it's can you teach me to throw? Yeah. But um, well, maybe it's in there somewhere else. Okay, we're done. Yeah, Good job, that's team. True. Oh. That was cruel, Kevin. I hope you guys like that. Well, Deborah has it memorized. It's fine, like memorized, and and uh, Brandy came up with the theme. 
and Deborah said, what? And then she started reciting okay. it. Okay. It's one of my favorite songs. Oh, and it's just the first sad. line right. is my child arrived just the other day. Mm -hmm. So that is the answer. No child left behind for number one. And then he came to the world in the usual way. And the guy's name was World Be Free. Be free. That's number two. Oh, oh. well done, Ellen. And then <laughs> there were planes to catch. Yeah. So that's oh. yeah, we got it right. Number three, Dad, you want to have a catch from the movie Field of Dreams? Yeah. And Bill's to play. Uh, blah, 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 well, it was a way. Uh, I'm gonna be like you, the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. The TV show yeah. Silver Spoons. Oh, yeah. Little boy blue. Little boy blue. So and that answer man. is uh, the I color. Chris Rock said there are some white people who are so rich they own the color blue. He was talking about Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany has ah, uh, registered okay. blue. Good job, Karen. There are 16 balls on the table, and there are 10 for the game of nine ball. What? And nine his son turns 10. Balls. My son turned 10 just the other day. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the ball, Dad. Come on, let's play. Mm -hmm. The uh, Harry Chapman. Harry, Harry Chapman. We haven't gotten that. That's, number 10. That's number 10. Well, wow. we haven't got there yet. Yep, number know, seven. Remember. The answer is keys. Mm -hmm. What I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow the car keys. Right. See you later. Can I have them, please? Number nine. I mean, number eight. The answer is the moon. Yeah, that place that is a, a crater on the the largest crater on the backside of the moon. Yay, Ramiro! Exactly. Yeah, we got that one. Thank Romero. You. So, so my joke answer of the Earth would also have been wrong. <laughs> the spinoff TV show was Good Times. Yeah, oh, man, that was that. We went all over the one because the song ends with "We're gonna have a good time My then." And dad, no, and no, of no, course, no. the answer is number 10, 10 Harry Chapin. Cindy knew it. Yeah. No, uh, only afterwards when he talked about the song. Oh, because I remember he sang that song. Mm -hmm. And that's one of your favorites, Kevin? Yeah, it's a great song. It's a sad song. It is. I love Harry Chapin, though. Well, it's a oh. cautionary tale. It's the King Lear of soft rock. <laughs> <laughs> so he you guys great. all know that, right? The song is Cats in the Cradle. Cats in the Cradle. I didn't get it was a song for sure, no. Yeah. With, uh, grown by up Harry Chapin. Just like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he Kevin and does he, a lot of songs. And that's my son, Little Boy Blue. That's Jake, the pitcher. Oh, so cute. With his tongue out. Does he uh, call? Yeah, he calls once in a while. He he <laughs> uh he does my wife's um Facebook FaceTime thing. But it's like right right now it's um one o'clock. Isn't he, he's, isn't he a little military. young to be in the uh, in the uh the military? Yeah, in the army, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was him when he was taking his oath right now. What did we lose? Him. Oh Carolyn, we lost Carolyn, right? Yeah. Did we lose Carolyn? Yeah, she left and during our session. There's my two boys. Aww. And All there's right. my two there's my two boys on a million dollars climbing on top of a million dollars. Were they storming the Capitol in that picture? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they were ahead of their time. Okay, ready? Here we go. Let's see what's the scores, gave everybody. All right. So um hurricanes and wildfires and kidney stones. Oh my. Ten. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Coming to a theater near you, Frozen 3, starring Mitch McConnell. We had five right out of the first six, and then five right out of the first ten. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I mean, five. That that's that's oh. a five. Oh, good for you. Five. Oh, oh. Did you get the theme then, huh? No, we didn't get it. Kyle, Ron, Adrian, and Carolyn. I'm just remembering that in my brain. Okay. Um... <laughs> All right, the Fourteenth Amendment is a wonderful. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. We had five, and I, I think two. it's four. Which five did? What do you think we had? Well, I said B was correct because he said it was the first word. No, I don't. Well, I don't know. Is that enough? Is that enough, Kevin? B. No, oh. wor world, world, yeah. world, world. B three. That's what mean, I You need the word world. Yeah. Oh, then it's four. Um, Okay, so you guys didn't know the theme. All right, so not at all. YouTube streaming is a Rico night in Florida, Georgia. 
Nine. Damn. Our team. I mean, great. That was our team. Thank you. Which one did you get wrong? Uh, world the free. world. Yeah, a lot of people didn't I've never know heard of him. Uh, Mitch's glitch, and there was a lot of words in that song that it could have been free. We guessed. We we finally guessed fly. Fly free. <laughs> Not bad guess. <laughs> world world be free. <laughs> never would have gotten that. Mitch's glitch. Nine. Okay. What'd you get wrong? Close tie. Uh, number three. Which one was three? Uh, catch. Oh, wow. You didn't see that movie. Field of what? Dreams. Oh, what did you put down? Oh. Uh, hey, Dad, can we have a what? I think we just lobotomy. Word. <laughs> Word. Hey, my uh, my team. Did we did we actually get the billiards? Uh, the billiards or whatever. We did, the, we did yeah. get it right. Okay. We changed it from sixteen to ten. You guys, you guys were when you sing the song, the number tens in it. So yeah, yeah, well, I but, just know how many but I was table. kind of screwing us up, saying, "Wait a minute, is there another verse where he's sixteen and he <laughs> it starts was, it, it was one of those. Um, what's the word for it? Um, you know, I'm thinking to myself, "Wait a second, how could I have got that? Wait, there's got. Of course, there's nine in the. It, there must be something wrong with this question. It's a trick. I know it. Okay, Adrian, you're up." Good job, All right, I'm, I'm taking off people. Sorry, but I'm. Hi, Rob. Thank hey, you for your care, care, Rob. Care. Well. See you next Feel week. Feel better. Feel better. Feel better, guys. Pass it, Rob. Pass it. Oh. So sorry. My sympathy. Uh -huh. Really hurts. I have way too much experience with that problem. I have never, yeah. ever, and I hope I never, ever. It happens a lot. Of people be. actually drink a lot of soda. Um, can do that, especially if you like if you drink dark cola. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. I've never heard that. Yeah, I've had about yeah. coffee. Yeah, no. yeah. I, I think you're supposed to just drink a lot of water, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Something. If you have a lot of uh, soft drinks with salt, lots of salt. Yeah. Oh well, I'm a I'm a soft drink and salt. I mean, I'm that's me. That's my life. Yeah, they they thought you were a milk dud. I was going to say milk dud. Sometimes lots of stuff, high calcium beverages. High calcium, so, not yeah. staying yeah. hydrated. That's uh, me. I, I I'm shocked they, that I haven't had this yet. You have kidney stones. They'll they'll tell you drink lots of water, and then you'll say, but I don't want to have to pee all the time. Yeah, yeah. And then genes, of course. Which, I was told you know, it was the tea. genetic component. A tendency. I was told I was drinking things. too much iced tea. That's what I was told. Yeah. And that caused I had kidney stones. Went to the hospital, and they said. Well, you're going to have to come back tomorrow for surgery. It's really bad. And the next day I went back to see an expert and he said, no, you don't have one big one. You have two little ones. So I didn't have to get the surgery. You also scary, can though. have bladder stones. I know someone who had two bladder stones the size of tangerines. Oh, oh my God. Not me. That's, it's not that's, me. That sounds deadly. Two black. Oh, yeah. It was a life threatening situation. Two bladder stones went in for an emergency procedure, but had been living with them and, and it didn't get it fixed. Everything was backed up all through the kidneys, through the, uh, you know, wasn't, it was, oh my anyway, God. He, he, he lived, he lived, but that can happen to the size of tangerines. Jesus. Wow. The ones I had, they told me if it was bigger than five millimeters, you have they, to have surgery. No, they never saw it. They were like having people come in and look at it because they had <laughs> never seen any wow. that large. He's in a book somewhere, probably now. <laughs> Boy, that's what I wanted. That's to that's for. about the size of your bladder, anyway. To get, I'd like my fifteen minutes. Well, then it gets big and it won't contract. Okay, people who are watching this, come play with us because you will learn these life saving yeah. tips here. <laughs> I tell you, my others. life is saved every week, at least once. Yeah. You lose the elasticity. Yeah, but Susan, if it's you're going like to have that like for a long time, and then clotted, you're going to you're gonna have like clots of milk duds. <laughs> They're gonna find a milk dud in your heart or something, you know. When she's ninety years old, she's gonna I have, have to rip the box artery. open today because there's only five left. They stuck in there. They're all stuck to the inside. <laughs> I just bought five more. I found a place I can buy them for an actually a dollar. I found it. The dollar store is only. I found a dollar store that still has their stuff in it for a dollar. I'm only buying them in batches of five. Are they real milk duds or are they knockoff milk duds? Milk duds. 
Milk dog. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. They're just really. You would be on. Milk dogs. Wait a minute. I think you milk dogs. If you've never, if you've never set foot in a dollar store, you should. It's absolutely amazing uh, uh, what they had to have there because it's just overstocks that they get. I know. So they, I, they I, have a lot of really, really good stuff. Um, that's for uh, yeah, and then they have some all brands kinds of you've chemicals never heard of poisons that are banned. Well, we don't, you don't buy them then. <laughs> well, they have a, a lot friend of them. mine had to call, I don't know, the health department or something because he was buying food from a dollar store and they had changed the expiration dates. Oh, on the, Jesus. <laughs> on the food. I'm not sure I could food there, but like we, we, we needed like desk lamp, a bunch of desk lamps. We were getting these really nice, flexible, um, led little desk lamps uh we, we 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 bought out the store we have like we've got like a dozen of them or more I for a dollar each the the plane. The yeah video. sunbeam right <laughs> i have the same ones all so right guys one. so are we just on stalling here so wait three can finish your question susan questions. remember when you couldn't find any milk duds i do the pandemic remember, remember that had to send me like surplus they were all at yeah, the dollar question. store next question <laughs> i know next we're all all right, I'm taking, I'm, four. Taking, I'm taking Rob's place now. Next question, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adrian, it's go. Okay, so should I mute everybody? Oh, I guess I shouldn't mute everybody quite yet. Um, so you may all know this already that Susan asked me to do this very last minute. Usually I proofread. There's been no proofreading. Uh -oh. Therefore, there much more be some really bad questions here. Just to be entertaining. You know how to spell carburetor? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to mute everybody now. And uh, my uh, because it was last minute, I decided to do something I've already done, which is science or fiction round two. So same thing as last week. So for those of you who weren't here. There's going to be two or three, um, or sorry, three or four statements. Therefore, two or three of them are true and one is fiction. And your job is to identify which one in each category is the fiction. Go SGU. So the first one is unusual names. A. Euthanasia Sherman Mead was a pioneer woman physician on the Pacific coast and the first president of the Women's Medical Club of California. B, there was a town in Austria named Fucking or Fuking or however you say it, renamed Fugging in 2021 that was, has a population of 106 people. The settlement was founded in the sixth century AD and the road signs were often stolen as souvenirs. And C, the gold digging ant, that's better, I just made it a little bigger so I can read it with my old eyes. The gold digging ant is an ant that lives in Ethiopia and often unearths gold dust when digging their mounds and tunnels and the people living in the area collect the dust to sell. Did you everybody get that? I'm getting a message saying it was too big. I see me. I see eight one A, B, and C fully. Okay, perfect. And one is not true. One of them. Yeah, one of them is not true. So so two, I'm gonna have to separate because it's a bit big. So here it comes. So number two is Freud. A Freud maintained that religion once necessary to restrain men, man's violent nature in the early stages of civilization in modern times could be set aside in favor of reason and science. And B is that Freud believed that most of a woman's sexual sensitivity came from the vagina and not the clitoris. He that bastard! <laughs> He believed that when girls became women, married, and experienced intercourse with their husbands, they abandoned the immature clitoral orgasms, and if mentally healthy, somehow graduated to the mature, mature vaginal kind. 
According to Freud, if women did not have orgasms during intercourse, they were neurotic sexual failures, and he referred to them as frigid. Since only a small proportion of women reported orgasms during intercourse, Freud concluded that most women were neurotic and frigid. And that is letter B. And that is just letter B. And we've got two it, more. It came in, it, it came yeah, in it as A. It came oh. in as A. But it is oh, B. It did. So that is B. Yes. Thank you. So I'll just write in here, actually. That last one what? Oh, I'm kidding. was no. B, not A. How's that? <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. All right. So Freudian the next... slip. Yeah, I'm going to have to. <laughs> it looks oh, like... I've been saying all sorts of amazing things. I was on mute. Dang it. <laughs> you were. Oh, uh, that's too bad. This is a fun topic. You're so clever. <laughs> so C, Freud recommended treatment for hysteria, a common diagnosis of women at the time with opiates, ovarectomies, and clitoridectomies. Hopefully I said that right. D, Freud believed that homosexuality in men is neurotic, but not particularly problematic. Lesbianism, however, he considered a gateway to mental illness. So one of those four is wrong. And the rest are true. They're true or he said them? Well, sorry. They're, they're, it's true that he said them <laughs> yeah, or wrote point. about them. Good one of the two there. either said them or wrote them. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're true to this date. Thank you. So I don't know if this is all going to come out. We'll see. That uh, looks like it went through. Next one is Thanksgiving. Something I've covered before. A in Newfoundland and Labrador, Thanksgiving and other holidays is often celebrated with a traditional boiled dinner mm. consisting of salt beef, turnip, cabbage, potato, and a dessert, and an optional turkey. This dinner is called Jig's Dinner. B. Canada and the U.S. are the two top two cranberry-producing countries in the world. The U.S. is first, and, the Canada, and Canada is second. C. According to some historians, that Canadian Thanksgiving is held to celebrate the self, the sort of self, the safe arrival to Canada of English explorer Martin Frobisher, or Martin if you're in Quebec, in 1579 after his voyage was plagued by ice and freak storms. However, it wasn't declared a national holiday until 1879. Then D. Cranberries were an important part of Indigenous people's diet and culture. The berries were often mixed with other berries and seeds. The mixture is called a eunuch. I put that little spelling there to try and remind me how to spell it, say it. I have no idea if that's right. Hmm. Next one is trains. A, the longest stretch of straight railway track, so straight railway track in the world, runs for 721 kilometers in Russia. It is known as the Trans-Siberian Railway. B, the longest train tunnel in the world is 57 kilometers or 35.5 miles long and passes under the Swiss Alps. Well, I guess it's good Rob's not here because I didn't convert the 721 into miles. So. Well, you need some big trouble. <laughs> and and, Freud, and Freud was obsessed with train tunnels. <laughs> well, that's true. And see, the big boy trains were 133 feet long and weighed approximately 1.2 million pounds, including the tender. Mm. And the next one's about my good friend, Mary. Marijuana. And the first one is A, it's, it is possible to get high on secondhand marijuana smoke if the room has poor ventilation. B, the song Puff the Magic Dragon by Peter, Paul, and Mary is a coded song about marijuana. And C, The Emperor Wears No Clothes is a nonfiction book published in 1985 by Jack Her Herer about the cannabis plant. Oh, and there should be one more. Oh, there it is. D, the Hindu god Sh Shiva, Shiva is described as a cannabis user known as the Lord of Bang. <laughs> I probably said that wrong, but it's more appropriate if I say it that way. And so was Freud. 
<laughs> well done. Well played. Okay. Adrian, um, yeah. one the um number four on trains yeah. only has three. Is this supposed to have four? No. So it will have either three or four guesses okay. for each one. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And the next one is Sarah Winchester. Susan, better not get this one wrong. <laughs> no pressure, huh? <laughs> no pressure. Hey, Sarah Winchester was called Sally by all who knew her throughout her life. Sally was her paternal grandmother and deceased sister. B, Winchester moved from the East Coast to California after she had gone to, Bos to a Boston medium named Adam Coons after her husband's William's death. The medium stated that she must move west and build a huge home to house all the ghosts that Winchester rifles had killed. And she must never stop building or she will die. That was the advice of the psychic or the medium. C, two presidents, William McKinley and Theodore Roosevelt, visited the San Jose area but did not visit Sarah Winchester. D. Winchester's house opened as a tourist attraction nine months after Sarah's death in September 1922, and it remains so today. Next one's photography. Susan, you better get this one right. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> stressing already. <laughs> this one might be a little harder. Okay, number seven, photography. A, P.T. Barnum, Bar it's supposed to say Barnum, not Barlam. You know, the guy, the circus guy, P.T. Barnum. Uh, it's a typo. So that's, uh, let me just do that. P.T. Barnum. Okay. So P.T. Barnum and A. And da -da, where's A? There it is. Testified against William Mumler for selling double exposed pictures as ghost photos. B. William Mumler took a photo of Mary Todd Lincoln, whose late husband, Abraham Lincoln appeared standing behind her with his hands on her shoulders. C. In 1875, Sophia Korb took an hour exposure photo of the library at Winchester Castle where a faint outline of a man's head appeared. She claimed it was a ghost. Edouard Baguette, a French spirit photographer who also had a studio in London, was arrested in Paris and prosecuted for fraud after making a full confession. He simulated spirits by wrapping dolls in gauze and attaching photos of faces on them. Hmm. And like I said last week, and I tried to make sure that they were all, they were either really wrong or opposite of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So they're not going to be one little tiny detail on the whole thing that's, that's incorrect. That makes sense. Next is haunted houses. We're heading into Halloween. I thought this was a good way to go. A, in Wuhan, China, the police have built a haunted house to train their police force by testing their nerves. They filled a dilapidated house with baked, severed limbs, bone skulls, and a frightening atmosphere that included lightning and rain. The house is also open to the public. B, the Paris Disneyland Park planners decided against building the haunted mansion because of the local cultural beliefs about ghosts and hauntings. Building the house would have been considered a mockery of their fear. Instead, they built an elaborate European-style castle. And C, during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, Indonesian lawmakers of the Sragan region, which I probably mispronounced, I apologize, on the island of Java, decided to lock people who did not follow quarantine guidelines in abandoned and supposedly haunted houses. It was an attempt to motivate a superstitious population when science failed to do so. Mm. The next one is cryptids and folklore. So A, the gilly goo is a bird said to lay square eggs so they won't roll down the hillside that they are laid on. B, the big muddy monster is another name for a Sasquatch that lives in southern Illinois. C, the merman of Lake Minnewanka is a captured cryptid that is part man and part fish 
that is found in Banff National Park. And D, the crasher squirrel, is a mischievous large squirrel that will fly from trees and poach food when campers are away from their campsites. It is thought to reside in Jasper National Park. Just to be clear, none of those are real, but this is what the beliefs are. Okay. are. Yeah. And one of them I made up. But may have a real name, if that makes sense. Lastly is collective nouns, you know, like a murder of crow crows, that kind of thing. So one of these is wrong. A, a kaleidoscope of butterflies. B, a coalition of male cheetahs. C, a menace of dinosaurs. Or D, a gulp of cormorant. <laughs> and that's it. Any questions? Yes, I, I have a question. Yes. How did you get through all of these without giggling? <laughs> <laughs> she, some of these I think came right off the top of her head because they're coming straight out of Wikipedia the pages she's written so some of them that's how, that's how I, I think that so some of these are just like she just sat there and wrote them down <laughs> I'm amazed well, I, I'm always I amazed at what she knows I just I just figured as she's reading off some of these the ridiculous ones I just thought she'd she'd break down and giggle at I was waiting for the clues well, she the was, Freud she, was the hardest. The Freud was the yeah. hardest one that's in the <laughs> you're, you're at your doctor's appointment today when you're writing these, right? So they yeah. just been like, why is she giggling? <laughs> I've had a lot of practice trying not to giggle <laughs> when I'm reading ridiculous <laughs> stuff. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, this looks good. Awesome. Okay, so Adrian did say that Susan should be able to get all of these for us. No, there were some, but no, I, no, I think she some. said all of them, so oh, we're I expecting that. You guys okay, that too. I'm the official scribe here. Mm. Okay, I know on so, question one, B is correct. Yeah, I was just going to say that, yeah. And I've never heard of a gold digging ant. I, I feel like I would have. Yeah. And I think I've heard of euthanasia as a person's name as a doctor. It sounds. So I think question one, it's C. C. Unless yeah. you guys have. Um, okay. So question two. So let's see. Um, I think A might be the fiction. I'm pretty sure B is true. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure C is true. I don't know yeah. about D, but why not, right? I think it's probably A. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanksgiving. And she is Canadian, so it's A. <laughs> a. <laughs> Canada, yeah. Well, she was in Newfoundland, Newfoundland. So I would be surprised at A that she got that right off the top of her mind. Uh, that's probably true. I think B is correct. Sure. I think C is probably the wrong one. I'm leaning in that direction too. Ron, what do you think? And I'm trying to remember what I learned about Martin Frobisher back in school. I seem to remember the cranberries. You know, they have that vitamin C in it, right? I think. And she said, I wrote this down so that I wouldn't forget how to pronounce it. So that just seems like something is real. Yeah. True. And you so know how factual Adrian is. So, yeah. so we're going we're gonna to go with Mr. Frobisher. Yeah. I never ate a cranberry till I moved to the US. Really? Yeah. Never used to have them in th at in Canadian Thanksgiving. Hmm. At least I never did. We've always had them. The longest, stretchest. Now, I'm thinking it's C only because I've been in the tunnel in B. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we did that back a number of years ago. 
Well, do you know the time or velocity? We could work it out. I don't know. Uh, I don't have a on. Somebody else said before. No, I don't. I mean, I, I thought that the Trans Siberian Railway was the longest. I think so too. That railway, felt... but straight stretch of straight railway track is something I didn't know about. But that would make sense. Yeah, I agree that that if we're wrong, it's because of the word straight. But I still think A is a, is the truth. Adrian, did you tell him that I would know all of these? Because that's what they told me. I know those are the exact words you used, Adrian. I she said should I know will know every a few one of, of them, these, but <laughs> not all of these. Well, you sh she should know quite a few of them because she's right. I took them from my Wikipedia pages, and she's read them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's a couple here I'm like, okay, no problem. But yeah, trains? but there's a couple too that I just tweak them, like I change the place and what it was, and they're sort of similar, so it can trick oh, you. Oh, that's cruel. I know, but you, I'm sure you'll get them. That's oh. fine. But yeah, trains and stuff like. But the the other ones I've actually done before for trivia. I took them from. Oh, that's why the trains one. I think you have done that before. Mm -hmm. I just reworded that it. your husband's category he wrote or something. Yeah. 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 So I don't know the answer because we've had this before. So I have no idea. <laughs> well, um, number number four, I'm voting for C only because I'm pretty okay, sure that when I did that, uh, when we went through the Swiss Alps, we actually went on that and through yeah, that tunnel. I've never heard of it. And it took less than 30 minutes, let's say? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number five, I'm leaning towards C. Oh, I was going to pick B. I thought that that's that's I one of those urban. True. I thought it was an urban legend. Well, it's one of those. You may be right. It was just something that was rumored. I think you're right. I think Mark's already gone to bed. Otherwise, he would tell me. But I think you're right. It's B. Yeah, I think I've re read somewhere where one of the Everybody three has of them. No clothes. That doesn't. I'm like, I've never heard of that used. No. But okay, whatever. I don't care. C. Oh, number six. You guys know six, right? Uh, is it C? I was gonna say C. No, it's B. B. East Coast. After she'd gone to Boston, medium name. Oh, no, that's true. Medium stage. She must move west. Go. It's all fiction. Oh, you're right. They did make that. Uh, yes, yes. It's, it's Thank part you. of the lore, but it's not. Oh, true. It, it it's fiction because yeah, I remember reading about it, but I didn't realize they were yeah, right, they're fiction. saying. That's no. right. She oh, yeah. will okay. be giving a talk on this at Psycon. Okay. I told her to. She's got to do something on this. She's so she's got this thing so good. And then on seven, I think it is okay. So A is correct. B is correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that picture. Yeah, I think C is probably incorrect. D. It's C or D, but and I'm leaning towards C as being the fiction. But I know for sure A is correct. And I know for sure William Molner. I just reviewed this book. Um, I mean, I just wrote it up for my channel. And Adrian wrote the Wikipedia page on spirit photography, and I read that many times. So I know A and B are correct. Um, I mean, in 1875, somebody took an hour-long photo of a library where a faint outline why would that be relevant yeah an hour long there's a faint outline that's a, a long outline. exposure yeah so i think it's c but c that's only because did, did they have the technology to run did they have technology to do hour long fo exposure photos back then i think oh sure that's the easiest something. technology the only question is can I you make just it keep dark the thing enough open. that's yeah. right yeah just keep the opening yeah i guess so yeah, I don't know why somebody would do that. And then, okay, so D, haunted houses. Okay, A is correct. Um, oh, it's got to be C then, I would think. Uh, I Well, wait a second. Oh, the Paris Disneyland Park planners decide against building. Oh, okay, C. I don't know anything about B. It just seems like it could be true, whereas C just sounds absurd. And like you have these haunted houses sitting around for this purpose. And I, Indonesian lawmakers, well, they, they I'm sure they'd be very superstitious. Um, yeah, I, I grant you that. But 
I know that in China and stuff like that, they really did <laughs> that they were scaring people. Yeah, I think it's well abandoned and supposedly haunted houses. I could see that being laying around. Um, I think it's C because B does sound reasonable. I know A is correct, and there's only three choices, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and nine. Looks they're going with C, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Um. I don't know any of these really. I think yeah. I've heard of the Gilly Who. Yeah. I've the not heard of the Big Muddy Monster, and I'm from Illinois. But at the same time, Illinois has a lot of like one-off folklore. I wouldn't know. I still remember. I've never heard when... of it called the Big Muddy Monster. I yeah, think. it's never heard of that. I remember her question about some cryptid from Lake Simcoe that I spent 10 years at growing up. Oh, I remember and this, and neither of you guys knew it. Not, neither Alan or I had ever heard of this thing. We've actually asked a bunch of friends up there, and one of them said they may have heard of one of the, the choices she had. So I don't know where she gets this stuff from. <laughs> he reads a lot, so who knows? So what do you guys want to put for nine? Do you have a four-sided uh, coin? I put B. But the only thing that... about... B is it could be the same case like you're talking about, Ron. So like one time there was some Chicago category and they were talking about a second fire. I'm a Chicago and there is no second fire. But no. if you look around long enough, there was probably a second biggest fire. So it could just be something I've never heard of because it's not big, but it exists. Right. But I feel like I should know about the big muddy monster and I don't. Crasher squirrel. I've never heard of that. Have you? No, but it's like a, it's innocuous enough we might not have known about it. You know, it's almost not a cryptid. Well, except for C, it says it's a captured cryptid. Oh, yeah. The Merman of Lake Miniwaka is a captured cryptid. Oh, there's the cue right there. You got it, Ron. Yeah, I, to the best of my knowledge. That's they... the thing. She said captured. Okay. Uh, that that would be the only the only thing I could think of to differentiate these. Does that mean though that uh, the lake used to have a river and the river no longer goes in, or there's a dam now, and that's why the guy's stuck there? You missed. I missed it. I was reading it. <laughs> what? So What's... could it be that this cryptid is captured in Lake Minnewanka because Lake Minnewanka used to let out to oh, the I ocean? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, That's they're not... saying like like Nessie's captured and in... yeah, yeah, or they built a dam and now he's stuck. It's not how I would interpret it, but uh... oh, you're overthinking it. Now we have to change our <laughs> maybe, maybe we should let us get away with this like Thanks, the carburetor Kyle. one. A kaleidoscope of butterflies. The coalition. Didn't you guys have this kind of question the other day when I wasn't playing? Where they had collective yeah, nouns. Yeah, we've had a couple of collect. I think Lee did a collective noun. Yeah. So one. Were any of these one, them? Well, is kaleidoscope that... of butterflies is correct because that was one of the questions on our cruise. After that, you're on your own. A menace I, of dinosaurs. That's that would be my guess. A gulp of what is that word? Cormorants. Com They're birds. Oh, the font is messing with me. I'm looking at my screen. And whenever they do an R and an M next to each other, it looks like just just a, like a giant M with an extra. Oh. Mm. I'm using that that font on there. Let me look. At are you using what I'm sharing, or are you still oh, looking, looking on, on the, the chat? My um, Google screen that I'm looking at. I. Oh. Yeah, so it's clearer on your screen. You're right. I'm looking on my third screen. Um, a menace of dinosaurs. That, I don't know why, but that would be okay. my guess. I've never heard that. Maybe yeah. That's right. I've never heard of any of these, but that one sounds the most invented. Yeah. I, like I said, the kaleidoscope of butterflies, I only know because that was our question on the on our trivia cruise. Yeah. Very good. I think we got them all, right? Yeah, no, we, yeah. answered them. we answered good them all. Good job, guys. Wow. See? I saw a comedian recently who had a pretty good joke along these lines. It was, you know, what do you call a group of crows a murder? What do you call this or that? And finally she says, what do you call a group of teenage Filipinos? And the joke was, a dance party. 
Okay. Got a bigger laugh in the room. <laughs> Get it. Dance party. Okay. Come on. Katniss, stop sorry, it. Sorry, sorry, Kyle. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> so what's so happening, ever... dudes? So you ever heard of it was Don McMillan, I think is the guy's name. Don McMillan? He's he's a comedian and he's an engineer comedian. Oh, what kind of comedian? Kind of it sounds stumbled. like a great combination. Oh, I stumbled onto him on uh you know, when you occasionally things just pop up on YouTube. Sure. And I'm trying to see if, if he's showing up on any of the ones that now one's here. To help you. But but it's basically it's a lot of nerd type jokes. Some of which I think uh, um, Vincent oh, would do love. Oh, don't Vincent. Please don't. Do uh, Vincent. Yeah, yeah, Don Mc, Don McMillan is his name. You you do a search on him. Oh yeah, he comes up. And he was he, in Airbud World of Pup. Okay. But yeah, he does. I, I he does motivational speaking at you know, uh, I guess probably more uh, scientific related companies and stuff. Dork but, or nerd. But some of the stuff he does in there, the 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 the, the, the jokes and stuff he does, like uh, Venn diagrams to explain basic concepts, it's really really funny. I see that he's he's in San Francisco and he's an engineer. Yeah, he's he's an engineer by trade, but a comedian, motivational speaker, I guess, on the side. All right. Okay, I'll put that on my list of things to look at. Up. This it's, is why I stay up so late on Thursdays. I I make all these little tabs open from all the stuff that I've got to check out later. Yeah. I told Mark about that movie, the one Paradise one. The Phantom he heard of the Paradise. It, I said, so I want to watch it. And he's like, why? He <laughs> says, <laughs> it's awful. I'm like, well, because now I know all, at least 10 things of trivia about it. So I got to yeah. watch it now. Hmm. The wrong we can't talk you to going into going to Psycon, huh? Uh, I think my wife would kill me if I'm not around for my birthday. I don't think she wants to go to Vegas for it. You could put off your birthday or have it early. No, no, no. this is my 70th. We're, we're going to do something. You could go to Vegas. <laughs> well, actually, we were talking about that in the previous um, breakout. Possibly next year, because there's a good chance we'll both be retired by then. So, um, you know, at which point we, we've both been to Vegas on our own. We've never been Nobody there together. Nobody celebrates their 71st birthday. 70th. 7-0. No, next year. Oh, next year. Yeah. Next year. Yeah, who, care. who cares about it once you've already hit the. Yeah. Well, once you got to that one, it, it's all over. I, I, yeah. I was 61 this year and I was like, oh. My oh, child. Care? Well, I just was thinking to myself, who cares? Yeah. Once you hit the number, you, you're already there. You know, big deal. Uh, well, I, we'll try to hold the fort down for you then, because well, Kyle's actually know... going to get a hotel room nearby this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got one at the last minute last time because he, you know, work reasons. I think he just couldn't yep. get, you weren't sure. So he had. I, he was like, I don't know. You were down like a mile or something, or yeah, not too bad. It's a good walk. I, I remember knows... I called you and I said, "Where are you? We're in a we're in Wendy's room and we're gossiping." And you're like. I'm wandering around the the boulevard or something. I said, well, we're gossiping. And you're like, I'll be right there. <laughs> that was know. so much fun. We had so much fun. Yeah. Well, there were more like, trivia people at Vegas for PsyCon than there were at trivia. Sure. Yeah, that's true. And we had, I think, 15 or 17 or something like that. And uh, and we were just in that room. Adrian was there. Yep. And we were in that room. And there's nowhere to sit they're just all over the beds and there's like one chair and people were sitting in ice chests and all we had all this alcohol in there and oh my god we laughed so much uh, adrian we're mm -hmm. talking about the time that um i went into windows and i said <laughs> we're gonna have a gossip everybody get into the gossip nobody can record what i'm gonna say but let's <laughs> spill the beans <laughs> and and i told and i called kyle because he didn't have facebook his facebook wasn't working that's right, because you'd been locked out. Yeah, so I said, I don't know how to get I got a hold of I got a hold of you somehow. Did I, I text called you? him. Well, now he has it again. Okay. But Sounds I called him. 
I called him on the phone. I said, you know what? I think I have his actual phone number, believe it or not. I think there's a, there's a number on my phone. I called it and he's like, oh yeah, yeah. We're, I'm out wandering around. I'm like, well, we're in Wendy's room, just gossiping. And he's like, I'll be right here. So if I close, uh, sorry to interrupt, but if I close the room, do we get two minutes or one minute? Two. Two. Okay. His last time it was one minute. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm close. Okay, but go yeah, ahead. that was fun. That was so much fun, and everybody had to swear to secrecy what we said in there. Was, I gotta come up with some more gossip this year. Who's gonna have the party room this year? Because he's got Heather, and I think they're staying with Kathy Smith. Somebody else is staying, or is Robin? St- who's staying in Robin's room? Adrian, who's in your room? Um, possibly if my husband might be coming. Actually, <gasps> you're gonna bring your husband maybe oh, that'd be nice yeah well he, I've never he, met him. oh yeah i have i've met him that's right right back when the day when you guys came to when i was quiet and shy, shy and, <laughs> and, and your husband was greg was at my talk but workshop yep. and he was just very shy everybody was shy you're yep. like hi susan i'm one of your gsw editors and i sat in the, I'm front stand the corner now i mm-hmm. sat front row for your workshop you sure did but oh did you hear about uh um abajit what? What about him? His book? Yeah. So that's the story and the facts, and I'm sticking to it. Nice guy. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Very it was fun interviewing him. Uh... See what right. people miss whenever they're not at, at trivia? We were having a little gossip session in our room, but you <laughs> watch it on the video. We stopped the video. All right, everybody ready? Yeah, that yep. was fun. Sure. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm doing a PowerPoint again, just because then you can see the real answers. And I did this. Hopefully it works because I actually did it during trivia tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's a, she's a real word. Oh, look at it. Hey, as long as you're clear. Oh, wow. And I, I, you guys liked my last slide so much last time that I went really cheesy with these this time. So you're going to have okay. fun. Be real clear with the letters, Adrian, because we just wrote down our letters. Okay. Yeah. And I, they ha- it should have the letters with each of them. Hopefully I haven't forgotten any because, you know, I did this <laughs> while I was playing trivia. So, and, and I did it to get the <laughs> All right, so science or fiction. Here's the first one. Oh wow, that is nice. You made this so, while we were sitting here playing trivia. <laughs> so I'm going to tell my team I was right. Oh, <laughs> I, okay. I know. I told you. I know. I told the you. answer to the first one, believe it or not, euthanasia was the doctor, the personal physician of Sarah Winchester. I knew I'd heard it somewhere. Oh, yeah. sure. I and knew I I'd heard it somewhere. Her page. Yeah, because I worked on her page. <laughs> That's where I heard it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's actually because you Wikipedia. edited the Wikipedia page for euthanasia. I did. And I, did. I came in and I messed around and changed. Yes. I actually edited that. Oh, that's it. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my God. No wonder I remember here. I've edited so many pages. I can't even imagine. So the gold digging ant is actually a cryptid. It's in lore. It's in folklore. It's not a real thing. And it was supposed to be as big as what, like a dog or something. Like, an there was even... the size of a dog? Yeah, or oh, a fox. If you had yeah. given us that part of the clue, I would have known. Yeah. It was... <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. So I had to make it realistic. So there you go. It is C, which is false. Next one. For Freud. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, you, Peggy should be here. Should be should be so upset at you. It is C that he treat actually never treated them with opioids, etc. He was actually very progressive for his time. That's what everybody else did. He actually treated them by talking to them. So he actually did some good. He didn't do the the surgeries, etc. He's holding the cigar. Uh huh. You know, it's hard to believe. That's, a, that's actually a clitoris. <laughs> yeah. it's just a cigar. <clears throat> we see giggling happening now oh you know what <laughs> we didn't notice question c on oh man yeah oh, there we go so number three for the thanksgiving this was ca- i did this category before as i said mm-hmm. and the fake one is this one 
That, oh, oh, you, you are that. mean. That's evil. It, it has nothing to do with berries. It's a way of preparing meat, which is actually quite disgusting because they oh, bury yeah, yeah, the yeah. ground <laughs> until it ferments that and move. then it freezes over winter and then it's ready for consumption the following year. So there you how go. How gross. No. So see it's how it's ready for immediate expulsion. <laughs> Next one for trains. Lots of discussion about this because we all know that the longest train is the Trans-Siberian. The key word here is the straight railroad. And I even uh, emphasized it when I said it. Faith picked up on that. Good for oh, her. Man. So the longest stretch of railway track is actually in Australia. And it is 297 miles or 487 kilometers straight with no bends or curves. And I was on the train in the Swiss Alps. I've been on that. Yeah, so you knew that one. So the answer is A? A. Yes. A, okay. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it is A. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the next is... one, my good friend Mary. It actually is there lots of discussion about this one, and most of you had it correct. It is a myth that Puff the Magic Dragon was actually about marijuana. It was not about marijuana. And here's a little bit of history about it. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. I got that off Snopes. All right, Sarah. There's Sally. There's Sally. Sally, so yes, she did go by Sally all her life. It was not Sarah. So the answer is B. There is no evidence that the medium even existed. And family uh -oh. staff knew Winchester <clears throat> was not superstition superstitious at all she was not a superstitious woman uh, by all accounts so they've been lying to us when you go through yep. the yep oh, yeah. <laughs> they, that's yep. what they we tell you when you go when people. you go through the oh gee they, okay. they've done their best to try and find that coombs that coons guy and apparently somebody wrote about it in the 1960s and it has been in the lore ever since, but there's no evidence that that guy even existed. They've looked at all the uh, directories. They had very detailed directories in the Boston area for psychics and mediums. And this person does not appear on any of the lists, even around that time. Like they tried to to look into it as much as possible. And you guys, See, hopefully it's we'll like they have all... a financial interest in telling you that story. Yes, yeah. and hopefully Adrian will be telling you so, the story. So all those, icon. so all those tour guides lie to us every time we go there. I think they—they well, they probably don't know they're lying. Yeah, they, they don't know, know they're yeah. lying. They're told that this is true. They're told wow. that it's real. Okay. We're gonna have a meet up there, Lee, eventually, so you can yes. come. So the next one for photography, the fake one was C. Yes. All right. I made it up. <laughs> Yeah, There's no such good. person, as far as I know, Sophia Korb. I made that up. Oh and but the, the only thing is, it's possible. It absolutely is. Because possible. it's a long exposure. It yeah. is. Nobody's Everything is exactly moving fast. Right. It's going to disappear. If it's moving kind of slow, yep. it's going to start fading out. Absolutely. It's totally possible. But, but I but just it wouldn't be happen. famous enough to be on the trivia. <laughs> I, I mean, it's possible that some person took a picture at Windsor Castle in 1875. But... <laughs> <laughs> they don't let women near a camp. The but that's Mary Todd Lincoln. And, yeah. and that is Mary. I just thought I'd put this up just so in case you wanted to see. This is Mumler's picture, this very famous picture with uh, with Lincoln in the background, with Mary Todd in the front. You can see how it looks pretty realistic. And you can see how Mumler really did fool people. He did a pretty mm -hmm. good job for the time. It's not. He too looks bad. naked. He does. Uh, he does. <laughs> see, I don't think he looks naked. <laughs> Well, aren't ghosts naked? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> More pervy when you think of him doing it that way. <laughs> Why'd you have to mention that? All right, we'll go on to haunted houses. Yeah. Lots of discussion about this one, but I must have made it up because Wuhan wasn't even known beforehand. <laughs> I knew about Wuhan before so the pandemic I. because I did the haunted house page, and yeah. this is that A is true. A, I knew for sure. Oh, I was so hoping A was true. I just think it's wonderful. <laughs> yes, it is true. <laughs> and the one that is false was the Paris. Disneyland. It's actually Shanghai oh, because oh, in Paris they we don't. Put, oh, that's mean. They don't actually have a huge culture of a fear of ghosts in Paris. That was a complete lie. I and, love the fact that C is true. <laughs> yes, 
us see was true. Isn't that funny? I love that. <laughs> that one was true. You got us. You got us, Adrian. We knew uh, it was correct, but that was it. I got I got it wrong. Oh and, no. But I got it wrong for the right reasons, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I changed the place and I changed the kind of building. Uh, even though I heard, I think it was Karen who was saying they actually did build a European style, ca style castle. I'm like, oops, uh oh. <laughs> well, not a castle, but European style. But what I wasn't sure of, I didn't know Parisians to have a fear of ghosts and hauntings. Yes, yeah, uh, that's that makes the thing. sense now. Yeah, yeah, they don't have that fear like like sorry. the like the Chinese do. That's that's why the Wuhan thing was correct is because they have such a fear of ghosts that they built this fake haunted house to train police officers. So wait a minute, what's the answer? B? The answer, sorry, was B. Yes, B. B is in Bob. <laughs> the next one, uh, the cryptics and folklore. Folklore. These I've used, some of these on previous ones, like the Gilly Goo I've used before. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other two, I guess I haven't done the other ones at all. I never one, heard of Big Muddy Monster. It's true. I, I, a I, have, monster. Yeah. I couldn't f f believe that that was a thing. It's on the a a Sasquatch page in Wikipedia. Mm. The big muddy monster. The, <laughs> the river, the river along there is called the Big Muddy. Ah, I think it's that a makes part sense. of the Mississippi. It's not uh, that the it's not that the monster's muddy. Right. <laughs> J yeah, Jamie. That makes sense, Aaron. I mean, he might one be. One-eyed, one-horned, flying this. purple people eater. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> And believe it or not, the merman. Oh, I was going to put the picture up here. I'll have to maybe you'll you look it up. Look up the hey, merman hey. of Minnewaka. So D I remember that picture. Yes, the crasher squirrel <laughs> is not a cryptid. <laughs> it's an actual squirrel. And yeah. here is the photo that made it go viral. It's called. It was called that, and it was taken at I believe it's Lake Minnewanka. Actually, is where this is, and. It went viral because they <laughs> did set their, their camera up on timer and then this squirrel photobombed. Their <laughs> That's hilarious because everything is right in proportion. I agree with that because we met a very defensive chipmunk in <laughs> that was trying to eat a potato chip and got pissed off at me when I was like, no, you're not going to eat it. And it almost attacked me. So. It spoke um, English? I, it, it, it just it got was... very defensive. Very, very defensive of its resources. And so I decided <laughs> not to get bit. Well, and we were, we were on C, it says that it was captured a cryptid. And we were like, wait yeah. a minute, does it mean it was yeah. captured or does it mean that it was? Like, it was trapped in there. It was cap they they claimed to have captured it. You can actually see the skeleton of it in one of the shops. In yes, we've seen the Lake Minnewanka monster. It's like this big. And it, it, they, what they did is they took the skeleton of an ape with the skeleton of a fish and put them together. And that's the Lake Minnewanka. It also has, I think, the legs of an ostrich. Oh, yeah. There's, <laughs> that's what its arms are supposed to that's be. And it's on that one for sure. It, it, you could like, you could, we could, you could literally hold it in your arms. And I don't see how anyone could believe that it could eat a person when you see it at the BAMP trading post. A very little person. Yeah. It's, it's like a, it's, it's the size of a small child. Yeah, it's not very big and it's really creepy. Just Google it. You'll see the picture of it. It's quite, quite disgusting and um, quite horrific. <laughs> and Ben Radford didn't know about it until I told him about it. So oh. <laughs> you yeah. Oh. I did. And by the way, the Crasher Squirrel has its own Wikipedia page. Oh, God. <laughs> Can he biddle a Wikipedia page, but the Crasher Squirrel? The Crasher on. Squirrel, Jeez. yeah. That's where I got I, this. I like, from. I like that the photo is, is focused on the squirrel. Yes. The couple in the background are out of focus. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's probably an autofocus. Yeah. yeah, 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 and it jumped in, and it automatically went to That's the hilarious. Computer. They were probably sitting there going, "Oh my god, any moment now, any moment exactly, could have jumped." And the last one, the collective nouns. I think some of a lot of you reason this out. The dinosaur one C is the one that's a problem. It yeah, is a right. herd or a pack of dinosaurs, and that's it. That was excellent you can PowerPoint a, too. You can pick up a pack of dinosaurs at the at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> It should be a gold bloom. They come in a little plastic bag. Gold bloom of dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, Jeff from Goldblum. The movie. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum from the movie. You can start that meme, Kyle. Start it on your podcast. Maybe catch on. Take that off. 
Very good. Very good, Adrian. Thank you so much for doing that for us, especially since you had to do it from a doctor's chair almost. And yeah, why, why was it last that PowerPoint minute? PowerPoint was excellent. Hmm? Thank you. Why was it last minute? Because Bill couldn't do it. He texted me and I didn't okay. see the note for a little bit. And he okay. says, I can't make it. So I put him on for next week. So before we get to the final, Carl, bonus, uh, Bill, Peggy, Rob, and Carl are on next week. I need a bonus for next week. Okay. I have to leave everybody. Oh, so. okay. Deborah's got Can it. I visit. I visit. I was going. But I, yeah. How about the top 10 things found in Uber cars? That's <laughs> actually a really good one. But that would have been a good one. Except, except right. that we just yeah. got the list. Yeah, except now okay, we, now so we know. Well, no one will remember. So. Mm. Just wait a couple of weeks and we'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll by then. Oh, and I'll put the answers in the chat. I have oh, I gotta do one scores, thing I huh? forgot to do, so I'll do that very quickly. That hey, looks, re that looks realistic. <laughs> All right, so we are, where are we at? Oh my goodness. We got some spread. The 14th Amendment is a, oh, 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 I have this for you guys. Let's see if this pulls up nicely. Uh, this is, I recorded find your, this. Find your video. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes, but we didn't yeah. hear it. That oh, he, oh I thing. didn't hear shit. Well, then, then that made no point. That was stupid. <laughs> I didn't. That's well, what I thought. you know what? I first tried to share it because I was sharing the screen, but I didn't think of putting the. Thanks, Romero, for putting that lovely picture in the chat. Yes. <laughs> that was a wonderfully expressed. Those are my those clip. are my knees and my legs to scale to give you an idea. Like <laughs> those are my legs and knees. <laughs> To the size of the monster. <laughs> no, but it sounds like a wonderful idea. Now we don't yeah. see it, Susan. We hear it. We now I have the it. now we have the sound, but we have your background. <laughs> you can do it, Susan. Too many do milk duds. Okay, so Seriously. you gotta be quiet. It's only four seconds long. Okay, here we go. It's the longest four seconds I've ever seen. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> No, but it sounds like a wonderful idea. Okay, now you saw it. Okay. What did he say? I don't know what I saw. <laughs> you couldn't see what it? What did he say? We saw he it, but I we couldn't it. understand. I he saw said, it, I just don't know what it was. <laughs> it was James Randi saying, yeah. it sounds like a wonderful idea. He was he was doing a, he was doing an impression of um, some famous celebrity that you guys all know. His name is... Um, Milk duck. Um, no, you know him. It's some famous, famous, like uh, Boris Karloff or something like oh, that. Oh, Vincent Price. Vincent Price. That's who it was. He was talking about a time he was talking to Vincent Price, and and he told oh. Vincent Price something, and Vincent Price goes, "Ooh, that sounds like a wonderful idea." So I got St. Louis native Vincent Price. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Another trivia piece that you've ruined now, Carl. That we could have had. Oh, well, okay, maybe I'm priming you for a future famous St. Louisans round. Well, we've already had oh. Louis. Remember? Okay. Louis, but not famous people from You never Louis. have enough St. Louis. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. Okay, what do we got? I'm clicking. Which, which, who are you asking for? The 14th Amendment is a wonderful thing. You guys can't see this. Four. It's all out of focus. What? How could it be out of focus? Fine. I don't know. Fine to me. Yeah, it looks yeah, fine. It's fine to me. Okay, now I just really? refreshed. Now right, I have to go way down. Hold on, everybody. I refreshed. Oh my gosh, we've had 170. Yay! Yeah, I know. Okay. Um. Then the next one would be coming to a theater near you. Frozen Three, starring Mitch McConnell. Oh, that God. That's man. such a great name team, by the way. That I'm on. <laughs> it I is. It's Five. Okay. And then we had this one, which is Hurricanes, Wildfires, and Kidney Stones. Oh, my. Nine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Then next up is YouTube streaming. It's a Rico night in Georgia. Devil went down to Georgia and he was looking for a soul to steal. <laughs> I think we had six. six. Yeah. yeah. Six. Somebody hasn't made up anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Mitch's uh -uh. Butch. What do you got? Come back, kids. Eight. 
Ooh, well done, Pete. Dang. Dang what did, you. What did uh, the first team, what was their score? My my spreadsheet was so blurry I could not read anything on your really we had we had four. Can you see four? that? No, nope. it's all blurry. Hmm. Is that weird? Uh, Is it only you? Weird that you're only having the problem. I think you're gonna I have know. to watch the video later, Janine, because it's <laughs> Janine, do you and have it, to and they come up blurry again? No, it'll come up on my. Oh well, the whole video might be blurry for you. I don't. Janine, know. do you have any lens cleaning wipes for your glasses? Would that help? <laughs> that looks blurry to me now. <laughs> Are you maybe having a Mitch McConnell moment? The screen is just fine. It was just the spreadsheet that was all blurry. Nobody else. No. No. Nope. That is Janine. so weird. Did you freeze? No, she was talking, so she must have been okay. No. Adrian, no. please look at your the message I sent you. Okay, so we're ready up, Carl. Well, before I go, I just want to show you what may be the cousin of Crasher Squirrel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that may be Crasher Squirrel's cousin. Oh, how cute. They're so cute. I, I call that Taunting Squirrel. Do you keep squirrel. the squirrel? Do you keep nuts and stuff right there by the thing so that they'll? Now, you know, if you look closely, you can see like that glass door is really dirty. All those spots are like dots for my cat's noses. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just in one day, you clean it every day, and so you guys who follow Carl on Facebook, you know what that mat, that little rug right there means, yeah. right? For the anybody, ninja cat. Anybody who doesn't follow. Carl with a K on Facebook, you should because he's constantly putting pictures of the cat that keeps hiding itself under that piece of carpet. It's always the same cat, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's always Phoebe. Right here. Kitty, kitty. Phoebe goes, are you talking about me? All right. So put, put up a picture of one of your ninja cats. Or uh, I can do that after the bonus. Okay. Before I give the answers. 13 past U.S. presidents. Uh. Have okay. served only one full term, four years only. Name any ten. Huh. I thought of this category after your last one. I would think this is coming next, and single I did the research. Single term. I'm going to single term presidents. A full four year term. Yep. Shit. One full term, four years. What was it? What was the last one you did? Hmm? Everybody's got to the rooms they're supposed to be. Carl was the only one in here for a while. I was going, oh, you think Carl's there because I was fixing something. He said, oh, good, Carl's there. It's, Janine won't by, be by herself, but I guess you would be, huh? <laughs> I would have been by myself. That's okay, right. So let's just. Okay, so we Jimmy. have Jimmy Carter and Trump. Those are the easy ones. I got it. Uh, oh, wait, Lyndon Johnson. Um, did uh, part George, of Kennedy George W. Bush oh yeah George uh, the first George Bush okay George W. Bush or no H. Bush Bush. yeah H. W. George H. W. yeah okay yes. and Trump Trump and Jimmy Carter. Carter um going back further um did Johnson. Truman? Not Johnson. Well, no, Johnson served out part of Kennedy's. Yeah, that's true. So Sorry. that wouldn't be. Who was the guy um, who took over after Lincoln? That was, um, oh, but then he would have served part of Lincoln, so that doesn't count. <laughs> um, that's Jackson. Yeah, and so, yeah, he would have served a little bit more. Grover Cleveland? Oh, McKinley, but he was killed. McKinley was killed, so he didn't no, do a full term. Assassinated. We're talking about people who only got elected once. Only got elected once. 
Caspian should be here. He would have these roll them off his tongue. Yeah, where's Caspian when we need Teddy Roosevelt? He's in another another state. I think he did two terms, didn't he? Teddy? Yeah, yeah. Teddy Roosevelt, because because that was back Very when you could do multiple terms because because FDR did three. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, who else was one time? So like Pearson or Arthur or Hoover only one year because he was so awful. What about Wilson? He got Woodrow? sick. Woodrow Wilson, did he do too? I don't think he did. I think I think Hoover only got one. I'm gonna put that down because and we can put Wilson. But I thought Wilson stayed. Well, let me see. Taft? Should he just do one term? I think Taft only did one term. And because he was he was a Supreme Court justice, I think. Before. After that. Yeah. After that. And he followed Teddy Roosevelt. And Teddy Roosevelt was upset and ran against him actually on an independent party but i don't think i don't think he was reelected but he went to the supreme years. court after that <clears throat> pierce all these all these ones that we don't know very well well taft wilson and hoover we do so um but hoover had such um are you sure Hoover was just one? Well, there was 13 of these. So there's only been 45 or something. And several people were assassinated. So they're out. So, they're out. Yeah. So Monroe. What about, um, oh, John Adams' son, John Quincy. You know that's a John that's a, that's a possibility. It just feels like the John the Adams were in in for so long because of his father and son, right? You know, I God, I feel bad because I and should then know we, these. Then we get into the all of these that I don't like. Who was the one that was elected, then not, and then reelected? Nixon. Cleveland. So Nixon did two different terms, but there was no, no, no. He ran, and was one after the oh, other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He ran. Was okay, that's right. Wise. Um, and then there was a space, and then he ran again on one. Okay. I'm thinking Cleveland was the one that was Cleveland. I think died, didn't he? Maybe. Ohio's had so many, so many ones. Um, Grover Cleveland, was he the one that was assassinated? Or was that? McKinley. McKinley was assassinated. But How many you got so far? We've got three, for sure. four, five, six, seven, eight that we're toying with. But we have, four, we have four more that on our maybe list well i have five on our maybe list <laughs> and i have three for sure it's hard to remember oh, i have i have taft up there on our for sure oh i have them on our maybe I'm sure about taft i'm it's pretty sure there's 13 taft. there's only been 46 presidents so there's, there's only one category i can have left but there's only eight presidents who have served more than four but less than eight years yeah and so if we take, so if there's 46 presidents and you take out people who've been assassinated and or came in during to 46 40, presidents or 46 presidencies, presidents. 46 presidencies, because there was a split guy. Yeah. Okay. So that's 45 and then 45 different presidents. And then there are some that were assassinated, so they wouldn't be on this list. And there were some that filled in for the assassinated person so they wouldn't be on this list got some good reasoning there yeah so there's probably 
how many people have been assassinated? Like four? Lincoln, McKinley, JFK. And Nixon left early. So, and there was another one, I think. So let's say five of them yeah, so Ford, left Ford. early out of their term. And then that means five people took over early. So that's 10 of the 45 who can't be. So now we're down to 35. And of those 35, you're saying there's 13. You're And, and you're talking about four full years and then not reelected, right? Four years, no more, no less. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So in, in their entire life. Out Ford. So we're at 27, right? Okay. Choice 27. Or did I say 17? What did I say? <laughs> I don't know because I'm not 13. I'm not okay. So there's not a lot of choices that there, way. I think. I'm thinking it's the ones that I don't remember very well. <laughs> yeah, but then, that's the, then you go to the middle, you go to the middle, those middle years. So uh, Truman was president, president when I was born. Anything that deals with presidency, I'm embarrassed if I don't know, because I really enjoyed learning about this stuff. And I've spent so much time yeah, in I did. president's homes. I did in too, Ohio, but I can't. There was, I went through like four homes in Ohio and one of them was an assassinated and see they all blur in my mind one was assassinated one was one term who is it who was before who was before um fdr oh. that was hoover right yeah hoover got us out of the oh no yeah, it was Hoover. I get Hoover and Wilson mixed up. Wilson was the one that Wilson was the on, right? president yeah. of Princeton. Okay, Jefferson. And it was World War One. Trying to go over it in my mind. Oh. Very difficult to avoid taking part in all the discussions when you go from room to room. Oh yeah, true. I bet it is. Like, you say, <laughs> no, I can't say anything. Can't say anything. I, I said Caspian should be here. Oh yeah, yeah we, he I would be like, here just, but, we, but which, Janine which, and I wouldn't even get a chance. It would just be like blah 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 blah. He'd just give us the year. Blow us out of the water yeah. here. He'd get a ton. Um, he would love this. <laughs> okay, I gotta think. Let me think. John, who was president before? Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Who was between Woodrow Wilson okay. and <laughs> after was before that? Oh, it's probably what? killing Carl here. Um, after was before that. Taft was it was McKinley, oh, oh. Teddy Roosevelt, and Taft. McKinley Taft. died. He was assassinated, right? McKinley was assassinated. Okay, oh, there was the one that got sick from standing out there in the rain. Well, then he died. Too long. That's true. He died. Yeah, but I can't think who that was. Now. Who was the bachelor what? president? There was a guy who was a bachelor. I don't think he made it long. Well, we better drop in these. Well, so give me the names three, that you four, have. Five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight. So George H. Bush. Right. H. W. H. -W. Yeah. Wait, wait. George H. W. The first. This is the first one. George H. W. The first one. Mm -hmm. And he's. As long as you clarify which is who you're talking about, I won't be particularly pedantic about the exact. But he was the one yeah. that only had four years. Yep. Not yep. George W. He followed Reagan. Which okay, one, I thought we the have second Jimmy one Carter. Was the one that, wasn't the second one that only got one term? No. Reagan's vice president the was the second one. Reagan's vice president George H. W. Bush got one term, and W. 
got two terms and he got us into the endless war. Okay, so George H.W. and then Trump mm -hmm. and Carter. Okay, and right. then those are for sure. Then Taft. Hoover, Taft, Taft, Wilson, Pierce, Taft. Uh, John Hoover. Quincy. Yeah. Get your cat's butt out of the screen there. Do you have Tyler? Oh, oh, what about Tyler? Well, didn't Tyler I don't even take over after? Well, maybe let's put Tyler. I I think I thought of that earlier. He's the one whose wife died during um when he was becoming president, and then he got another wife. Let me think. Dang, they're unknown. I can't even think of their names because they were. Who is that? Ohio gone. So do you think oh, well, you Wilson was one too. term? Mm -hmm. Do you think Wilson was one term? I've got him on the list because we got to have something here. We need two more. Okay. Or one more. Well, I have enough. I Maybe mean, who do you have is the 10th? Okay, I have Jimmy Carter, Trump, George H. W. Bush, Taft, Hoover, Tyler, Wilson, kind of. And then on our other list, we have Pierce, John Quincy Adams. That's nine. Yeah. You said and, you have and I, I we're missing no. we need one more. It's that gray area where things were they're just so long ago and what was happening Tip that you Tip don't canoe and tyler too um maybe tyler only did have one year one term God, dang. what about pierce i have pierce on i here. only put pierce in there because i can't remember anything All okay right. we Maybe better put a warning okay we better put pierce and we're I missing one um, okay Yeah, Harris there and Taft. Taft doesn't count. We, we need Taft. one more, Susan. He said Harris. John Harris. Just said Harris. Harrison. Said Harrison. Who was that? I don't think. Was there a Harrison? I think there's or a Harris. Harrison. Harrison. Ask John. He just yelled it. Janine. Ask John. I can't hear. Hear it, John. What? What did you say, Harrison? Yeah. Yeah. Let's put him Let's on. Let's put there, Harrison I can't down because here. because I don't. I'm I'm going for these ones that we don't know. The other one I think is Arthur. Arthur who? Was that his last name? That was yes. <laughs> Take somebody off and put Arthur on because I I don't even remember him. Take off uh, Wilson. Well, take off. Take off. Um, who's the most likely? Adams. Taft or Tyler? Adams. Tyler. Take off Tyler and put on and um, put on Arthur. Okay. Is that all right? So I've got George H. W. Bush, Trump, and Carter, Hoover. Wilson, Taft, Pierce, 10 seconds, John Quincy, Arthur, and Harrison. Okay. So Whatever. we might have tanked the team. We got 10. Hey, Ron, if you don't forget, I'm going to give you a call, real quick call after this. You're going to call you me? What? Ron, telling Ron, I'm going to give you a quick call when when this is over. I just have to tell you something. Tell us That's all. it. You're going to about your win? Family, you family, 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 family business. I'm going to ask if you want to support Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> now, a little family business, that's all. Ooh. Hey, I got an offer for you. We went to you're, you're You're spilling the beans. Okay, that was fun, Carl, but um, do you need an It was not fun. <laughs> I don't know. It was more fun talking about after we got our answers.
right, so I, I promised to show a picture of Ninja Cat. Oh, stealthily yeah. hiding. <laughs> you guys really follow. You should follow Carl with a K on Facebook because this is comes up all the time. It's hilarious. And have you yet to see him do this? Because you told I, me before. I, I never see her do it. She's always just already there when I come across. I've never seen her crawl under that thing. Set up a, put a camera a ring on cam. it. Set up a ring cam. Probably have to be careful so you don't step on her. Yeah. That's the cat is. All me. right. So we will draw the answers out to increase anticipation. <laughs> The earliest president to serve only four years, John Adams. Is that not Quincy? Hold on. Wait a minute. We're going in order here. Well, which one is he? That's John, well, Adams. John, John Adams, Adams is his name. Then he was followed by John Quincy Adams. Oh, so both of them were only four years. Yep. <laughs> it just felt like they were in for a long time because the last name is there for a while. And then Martin Van Buren. Oh, Van Buren. And James K. Oh. Polk. I have already forgotten these people. How dare After you? It's him. only been a few hundred years. Everybody's favorite character from MASH, Franklin Pierce. Oh, we got him. All right. Whoa. James Buchanan. Oh, another forgotten one. Poor guys. <laughs> I mean, sad. Rutherford B. Hayes. Mm -hmm. I think he's the whole I think he's the Ohio one. I was trying to think of his name. Benjamin Harrison. Yes! Tell tell John. Good job. Good job, John. William H. Taft. Yes. Every time yeah, I you would have thought him, this guy cleaned taps. up in the election, but Herbert Hoover. Yeah. Janine. All right. We're getting into the easier <laughs> ones now. Yeah. Jimmy Carter, not a great president, but a great person. I loved him. Don't use the past tense. He's still alive. He's oh, the oldest. But he was the George H. W. Bush. I the loved elder him. of the Bushes. I loved him as president. I'm not trying to get rid of him. Watch I your, him. Watch your language. Watch I your love language. him. He is still a thriving man. And Donald J. Trump. You, you liked George H. W. Bush, the elder. No, I was saying I was saying I, I had love to pick Jimmy between Carter. him and 45. Oh, okay. We're going with HW. Yeah, I know. I don't like HW, but I'd take him over Trump any day. Oh, I know. Good old days with and, George and, W. And, and for, for George Herbert Walker Bush, I will accept any variation where you're clearly indicating the older of the two Bushes. Okay. I I had one of those moments I was thinking, wait, did we have the younger one for eight years, or did we have the younger one only for four years? I couldn't think of it. Oh, uh, we had the we had the younger one for eight. Well, Janine insisted it was the years. older one that had only had the four years. But man, that I had that moment where you're like, wait, which one? John Adams or John Quincy Adams? Both. And there is or John the Milk Dud question Adams. and answers in the chat if you care to download it. Oh, Thank wow. You, Kyle. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> it's contagious. Karen's caught now it you're, now. Now you're oh. doing it, man. Why is that? Because I don't, there's no reason. There is no reason, but I'm just, just, just wrong. Happy. Just wrong. Of just, me. just something that happens in my brain. I, I have so much trouble. Milk Duds. <laughs> milk Duds, yeah. Hey, 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 with we need to find someone named Carlisle no to play. <laughs> well, when <laughs> son, my oldest son was born, I called my brother and said, hey, we just had the baby. We're going to name him Kyle. And he said, Carl? Why would you name him Carl? We don't even like that guy, Carl. Because we brought we met a friend named Carl. I said, no, Kyle. He goes, oh, okay then. <laughs> See? There must be something. It's like that. It's like that. He heard Carl, and I said, Kyle. It's that it's that thing where it goes like, um, is it saying, Wah? or is it saying, Wah? you know those those things you hear it one way, then you hear it the other way. Those little sounds. No. Yeah. The words they call words. Su oh, Susan. Susan and Yanny. Yanny. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
Susan, before we do, can I can I just uh, for just a couple minutes, uh, for a few seconds share the screen before we do the scores? Yeah, I guess. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just. I I don't think you guys have posted this one before, and I don't think I'm going to because I can't find it. Hang on. What is this? <laughs> well, <laughs> Um, hang on. All right. So let's. Oh, uh, yes, it's very funny. Uh, here. Speaking of squirrels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, I've seen this as funny. Oh, that is oh, the baking <laughs> its own murder or something. Yeah. <laughs> drama, drama squirrel. Yeah. Drama squirrel. And, and somebody, is somebody standing squirrel. there watching this happen? That's a so obviously, squirrel. this is a pet squirrel he's trained. It's like Rocky. <laughs> oh my god again he's filming what? for a movie he's <laughs> <laughs> practicing for an insurance scam <laughs> I think it looks like a rug it does he's just so so, <laughs> so the spot on the floor see the little light on the floor do you think that the guy's trained his squirrel look to no hands where the squirrel is? No idea. Because he's got a cage, so it's obviously a tame squirrel. And and the guy's mm. standing right there, so the, obviously the squirrel's okay with it. Yeah. It's like, oh, did you get so it, Dad? Funny. Did you get it? <laughs> I can do it again. <laughs> I'm waiting for my treat. <laughs> did, I do it? did I do it right? <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, uh, if you uh, ever get a chance to see it, there is a British production that is it's called Daylight Robbery, and it's about people trying to defeat squirrels. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have a video yeah. of it. And Some then people, yes. at the end, they yeah, showed the, the one bird feeder that was made out of metal and was a counterbalance that the, the squirrels would be not could not handle. And then there was Daylight Robbery 2 that started with the squirrel who defeated the one that's Daylight 1 they could, that was undefeatable. They're hysterically funny. Yeah, I have a video of it from back when it first aired on PBS. And uh, there's, yeah, there's two of them, and it's it's in the backyard in England. What's it called? Daylight, Daylight Robbery. Robbery. And Daylight, Daylight Robbery, Robbery 1 and Daylight Robbery 2. They make these elaborate obstacle courses and train <laughs> the squirrels. It takes a long time. And they finally... Oh, they, master they don't learning. train them. The squirrels figure it out. Yeah, yeah they, they, the they, they, they by, by, not let them. Yeah, they figure them out by. They they, they put the, the bird feeders Thank up you. on poles and they and they uh, grease them so they can't hang on. They're, yeah, trial and error. They learn. They learn how to do it. Squirrels are big, elaborate course, like please. ten or fifteen different. I things. know. Or I'm trying to, but they're talking about squirrels, so I got distracted. Get it? Squirrel. Uh, squirrel. Squirrels are always squirrel. distracting. <laughs> Among the things I love about Las Vegas is there are no squirrels. Our bird oh. feeders are safe. Hey, I looked up Car Carl Car Carly with a K, and there's nobody who exists with that name. So I'm just letting you know somebody should name their child Carlissa. Carl Carlisle. Carlisle. No. Belinda at all. K A Carlisle. L E. That's not Carlisle. All right, so let's go over here. Number one, the Fourteenth Amendment mm -hmm. is a wonderful thing. We had seven. Seven. It's very respectable. Not enough, though. Um, coming to a theater. <laughs> no, we weren't. We figured that we even had a ten, or would be in last place. Frozen Three, starring Mitch McConnell. Five. Ooh, somebody. Oh, too many Canadians over there. Yep. All right. <laughs> <Too many. laughs> it's a Rico night in Georgia. I think we had eight. Good, good number. Yep. Uh, hurricanes, wildfires, and kidney stones. Oh my! Nine. Oh, oh. So Mitch's glitch. It was just Janine and I. How did we do, Janine? Eight. Eight. Nice. Ah. Very oh. well done. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So really close, did. Jane. So close. Yes. Yeah, Congratulations, so far. Susan. You pulled that one out. I pulled out a what? You pulled that win out because Kyle wasn't on the team. Well, Carl wasn't. Congratulations. Carl doesn't always have to be on the team. No, but he wasn't on that round. You pulled I it know. out. I know. Congratulations. Well, John. And John gave us Harrison. I'd like my team to notice that we ended up in the tie for last place. 
No, 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 we didn't. I would like to say I knew some answers. We didn't <laughs> take fifth place. We tied for fourth. We don't have to call it last place. We tied for fourth. We tied for fourth. That's right. What team? What team is Rob on? Was he on? Uh, Rob was. He was on, he was on the our first team. one. The one that tied he was on for our fourth. Team. All right, so it's about where he belongs. Okay. All right, if you're going to call me, Alan, call me on the cell number I gave you in there. Call me anytime. Yeah. Okay. Good night, guys. Not only did we win, Susan, but we, but we won with the, with the, number of the universe. Oh this yeah. Good. Well done. Oh, 42. Pictures of food all over my floor when you oh. see pictures of Ninja Cat. Why is that block on the bottom there? It's a big black block. Hmm. Oh, it's a Zoom screen, your controls. Yeah. She, I, I don't know why she insists on eating like this. Is this the oh same ninja cat? Yes, that's adorable. Yeah. Does she she always be like very that? Yeah, she gets she, food all over the floor. She's a raccoon does she, cat. Wait, does she always eat with her hands? Pause. Pretty much. So pause, Janine. That's... Give her a fork <laughs> next time. No. <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> yeah, so she needs so Deborah's cat mm -hmm. is Not only that, but staring like this. What, like once, this. Give her once, she, sticks. once she has spilled <laughs> all the food out of her bowl under the floor, she'll move on to her sister's bowl and do the same thing until both bowls are on all over the floor. They need chopsticks. Chopsticks. <laughs> get a squirrel. Get a squirrel. I would get a bigger bowl, a huge bowl, and put why, a little bit of Why food do you there. have a sister and a brother? Uh, I mean, oh, why do you have two bowls? Deborah's kitty, God. Oh, look at hmm? Deborah's kitty. Like, oh, I am loving this. Look at my master taking care of me here. <laughs> look at right there. <laughs> Hello. A pretty kitty, Deborah. Yeah, thank you. He has many toes. Big paws. Big Whoa. paws. He has what? extra toes. Extra toes. He does. He has oh, extra toes. He could, he could out ninja Carl's cat. I'm probably, although he Does wouldn't Carl's be. Carl's cat had that many toes. He he likes pretty much everybody, so he probably wouldn't ninja anybody. He's pretty, he's pretty friendly. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really like being on camera, though. He was he was loving it a second ago. Well, I was rubbing his chin. He, he loves that. Here's another time. <laughs> Move that thing at the bottom. That's just lazy. <laughs> That's just oh. really funny that how he uses his hands. I, I've known of cats that did that with water. I've never seen yeah, them do it with Yeah, they make the water, food. make sure the water looks like it's moving. They want to see if the water is there. But I've seen the cats who will only like, they'll drink the water off their feet. They won't like stick their face in it. Does that, that's just dry food though, right, Carl? Yeah. Hope it doesn't Does, just wet food that way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when I used to feed her wet food, she ate it the same damn way and it made a mess. Oh my God, that would really. So she be doesn't mess. get no wet food. Well, Unless she doesn't get wet food because she's on a special diet now. Oh. Um, you going to give her that Azimpa? She's on a special oh. prescription cat food diet. Oh. All right, y'all. Y'all. See you later. Thank you for all the fun. Bye, yeah. guys. Thank you, guys. Night, Have a good everybody. night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.